worth it The game of where somebody else takes you out of the frame And put your name to shame, cover up your face You can't run the race, the pace is too fast It just won't last Another early stream where I kill my viewership because nobody knows I'm live and I don't tweet. I don't do anything. Uh, fuck. <sighs> it's like just porn. <laughs> Imagine just porn on the screen. <laughs> no, I'm taking your questions seriously, guys. I'm here to better. Hey, one in the chat if I bettered your life. Okay. One in the chat if you know how to deal with every problem on earth. What it? One in the chat if you're smarter than Jordan Peterson. Listening to me. One in the chat for MAGA and one in the chat if you hate women and one in the chat if you're on my team with everything. Who's winning the World Cup? Hmm. Morocco. And that's about it. Dunkel. <laughs> Dunkel is bringing the trophy and uh, doing an eight hour stream on Dunkel. <laughs> John's not a troll anymore. He doesn't do that. Oh, fuck. He's done a one-week hit piece on me. <laughs> Fucking bite his ankle off. <laughs> Why bulk the bear? That's what a bear sounds like. You know. This is all Dunkle's going to be hearing. <laughs>
something about weed, man. But I'm not.
grateful. And
Make me feel like soda popping when he had that blonde. Remember? <laughs> was I holding in jokes, really? That was pretty unhinged. You were abused in front of your fans by her. <laughs> well, I've never dated a girl who didn't do that to me. They're always like, who's this fucking bitch trying to fuck you? I'm John Zerka. Of course there's women. What the fuck? They all want me, bro. You know what's the saddest part is when they start trying to compete like a man. They go, actually, I can get dick. It's like any girl can get dick, bro. It's not, it's not impressive. And then they say, oh, that was a mistake. I'll try to warn you. No, I'm going to get manic in a few hours. I'm just waking up. Look, John about to kill himself in a video game. Dude, you're not a Twitch channel. You don't have to say in a video game. <laughs> yeah, Bill Ark was like always hung over streams. Very lazy shit. But that kind of turns me off because, like, if I bring another girl on stream, like, I don't want to just be around men all my life. You know what I mean? Will I get shit on if I bring another girl on stream? No, I knew that arc was funny when I started drinking alcohol for the first time. You know, I was like, that is cope. That's not me. I do other things. Yeah, Sabrina and I are super cool. I kind of feel bad, though, what happened to her with all the dunkle and... Just about a bunch of embarrassing shit she got dragged into for no reason. And I was like kecking because I'm used to it. But like. What did Bill mean when she said you do a lot of coke? Uh, beats me. It's a fucking woman, bro. They don't. They're fucking retarded. I don't know. Does I, I don't know what she meant. I, that's We need the Rosetta Stone. <laughs> We need the Rosetta Stone to figure that one. Figure that out? I don't know, man. I just, it, was, it was totally off script, bro. I mean on script. Ah! <laughs> and yeah, I was on Molly. I remember my first Molly in Texas. I was like, man, I've been good for years. I'm not going to drink alcohol. Let's try a Molly. And I told you guys the story. Like, I don't lie. I went to that party. I told you guys the story with Haas and me being fucking on the ground and stuff. And then uh, that's the first time I texted her and uh, explains a lot, though. The connection and all that. Yeah. Not on the ground like that. Like, I don't know. It was some strong Molly. You know when you don't do Molly for years and then it's like, boom? It was like that. <clears throat> Man, you guys are so, like, you catastrophize shit. Thank God Bill Ark is over. You're making it, you're making it a con catastrophe, dude. Like, it's not that bad, dude. You're just doing that. No, he says, I'm going to die. What does that mean? Drop dead, bitch. No, it wasn't that bad, dude. She said you're a drug addict. Yeah, I mean, she says a lot of crazy shit when she's mad. 
the worst thing was at Panda's house when she's like, that's rape. And she read it out. <laughs> Who was at Panda's when we broke up? <laughs> and it happened live because of stupid, her stupid friends instigating it. Chick Princess and 11K and all those people like, right? And she was reading her chat and someone in her chat said, that's rape. And we're watching it with 1,200 viewers. And she reads it out as she's crying. She goes, that's rape. And 1,200 people, including me, were like, oh, John Zirka's a rapist now. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I knew it's, I knew she can make up lies, but what the fuck is going on right now? And when I call her, when we talk after the stream, she goes, I didn't say you, were, you raped me. I was like, yes, you did. And she said, no, I read it in chat. Someone said it was rape. I was like, nobody fucking understands that. You got to go live and clear my name. And she's like, well, nobody cares, John. Who cares? It's over. Like, nobody. And you know how women are? They're like, yeah, it's over. Who cares? You can only go to prison for life. It's okay. And that was the weirdest thing that happened. Because, like, that was the first time an influencer heard the word rape and laughed. Everyone else would have panicked. But for me, I was so shocked. It was like comedy. And... Yeah. I wish I wasn't wrathful, you know? I wish it was like, oh, okay, you want to go to a Halloween party? Let's just end it. But in front of Panda, I think Dangler was there in the garage. I'm fucking just not screaming. I'm saying the worst shit. Like, I'm going balls deep in another bitch. And she's like fucking crying. And I could just hear the devil going, yes, yes, leave God. You know when I'm angry and I'm... That's why I always check myself. I go, am I being too mean to Dunkel? Because I don't want to get too angry because I start to... Uh, like, there's this weird version of me that I don't want ever leaking. Because when it leaks, it stays around for a long time. You know? I used to handle it with hands on the street. Right? And I swear to God, that's how I used to deal with it. But on Twitch, you can't. So you just blah, 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 blah. Or with a girl, you can't. So it's not like you could fight a girl. So I would just say cruel shit. <sighs> you know why I think you guys are wrong, though? I was traveling regardless post-lockdowns. I needed to breathe. Imagine it was another e-girl. You guys would have been even more mad. Wouldn't you? Like, who would I have taken that you guys would have been like, okay, this is a fun trip? You guys would have been pissed. No, not no. Give me a fucking name. Don't say no. No, it has to be a girl. It can't be a guy. No, no, it's got to be a girl I'm attracted to, bro. No, 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 no. She, she didn't cry because chat, chat said she should pay. What you guys were doing in Texas was spamming in chat when I didn't have mods. You're too hot for her. And you don't do that to a fucking girl. Like, Zerka, you're too hot for her, too hot for her. Because eventually they just start spiraling in their head. And my dumbass would be like this. Just hung over. I'd be like, huh. That was fucking cruel. That first Texas stream was so cruel what you guys did. <laughs> what are you talking about you know it's never going to be okay every time a streamer does something to the girl the chat hates the girl have you noticed when have they ever loved the girl this is that soda popping thing Hmm. 
No, it's going to piss me off because for the next, anytime I do this now live, it's going to be like you guys holding it in. Because if you tell me, you'll piss me off. No, I don't blame chat for being honest. I blame them for having fun and saying they never did. They had some fun. Mm, because chat knew she's a traitor since the beginning. The, the, don't don't make don't say that. Okay, because I, I started that war with the fucking blondes. If I don't learn my lesson, bro, the next time it will be someone saying, actually, John used to stab me with a fucking fork. You know, if I don't learn my lesson, like, right now, no wars, bro. No wars. War with men. Yeah, gaming streams? Oh, I want to bring that back. So many people who just totally made me the devil that week when I was in LA, right? You know, the one person who had my back throughout the whole thing was Panda and even Heal Mike. <clears throat> Everyone else was like, uh, John, is what they're saying about you true? I'm like, no, just wait 24 hours until they say it's fucking bullshit. And then they'd wait 24 hours, and then they'd say it's bullshit, then they'd say something else, and then people would be like, what about this new stuff? And I'm like, oh my god, dude. I'll look you in the eyes, bro, I'll tell you. No, Panda called me. He's like, who are we fighting? He's like, you're not following? He's like, no. I'm like, wow, what a friend. <laughs> I love people like that. The worst part was when the, um, the Saudis called me. And I'm like, yo, we're going to war. Pack your shit. And he's like, let's fucking go. And, uh, yeah. Like, everyone in my city knows Dunkel's face right now. They're all tuning in. They're like, we don't watch your content, but when you're at war, we like it. And your enemies are our enemies. So I don't think Dunkel's allowed to come to Vancouver anymore. He cannot, he's not allowed in Van City, right? No, Slicker is Iraqi. Dunkel's the gayest straight man I ever saw. You got it backwards. He's the straightest gay man you've ever seen. <laughs> man, if you guys watched the old podcast stuff of me biting my tongue, never roasting Dunkel, you'd say I'm a saint. And now I'm just like letting it all go. I feel like I went on no fap with Dunkel. Now I just bust all over him. <clears throat> Why are your teeth so white? Because they cost more than your car. Dunkel ain't... Okay. <laughs> Damn, why you held your tongue? True friends tell people what they need to hear. Well, we weren't friends. We were just podcast people. By the way, if you've spent a lot of time with me on podcasts, you are not my friend. Stop telling people you're my friend. Stop telling people you know me offline. Stop pretending. If I had steak with you, you're not my friend. Okay? That's ridiculous. I had steak with Alibro. 
Is Alibro my friend? My only friend is Steven because we have so much dirt on each other. We have to be, you know, when we join calls, you can hear it. Like we have to be friends. <laughs> See, if you know a lot of girls, you get a lot of dirt on Steven, you know, and a lot of celebrities too. That's because you fucked Melina. I swear to God, I've never had anything, not even a hug, kiss. Nothing. Maybe one of these. Hey, what's up? But can't do a buddy's wife. That's weird. Even open relationship. I cannot do it. Cannot bring myself to do it. Yeah, I'll click the, on that in a sec. Let me just run the intro while we still got yelling energy. Now, I'll kiss someone after a BJ if they're my, like, partner. But if it's just me made a, I made a mistake and I was 23 and drunk, then no. But, well, now, you know, like, now it's only going to be partners. I cannot do this fucking hookup shit. You're either building a family channel with me or you're not. You're either my pay pig or you're not. <laughs> it's either me controlling all the finances and you becoming famous off my name, okay? We're going to make a family channel with the next wife. Oh, fuck my wife. That's not even her name. Who the hell is Brianna? That's my daughter's name. Remember when I said I would name my daughter that and everyone chat spammed whore name? <laughs> Trailer trash whore name, John. Whore name. It's like, jeez, bro. I like it rhymes with my mom's name. What are you doing? Now, as soon as I turn 30, we're going to have the pregnancy arc. I'll be like, yo, Chad, look how fat this bitch got. <laughs> look how big her stomach is. So you guys know I'm growing up on Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, no, I have two kids. But it's dangerous to talk about children live. If you go to war. Look at you with the questions that are get, that get me fucking slaughtered, bro. Stop that. The war is over. Stop that. I had someone say you were only in her chat to get at Dunkle. That's not true. I didn't know she knew Dunkle. That's why you could see my eyes go like this. Content. Like I'm vile, but I'm not that vile where I'm like, who has Dunkle talked to? Not like that. I'd probably do that if I was mad enough though. Just not this time. And 
Bill still in love with you? She will call. Dude, it's Twitch. There's no such thing as love. It's it's infatuation. I knew it was love when I saw the orgasm look like this. <laughs> I was like, ah, 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 what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on? I talk so much shit, but I, I'm, I'm joking. I joke about my personals, bro, my personal life, because they joke about mine. Look at this guy. Is it love or ball of cocaine? It, it, I don't do that, man. I don't do coke right now. Do I look like someone who does cocaine? Molly? Do I look like that guy? I don't go to fucking raves, bro. Do I look like one of those guys? Like, really, dude? Sounds like you're coping. Are you calling me, like, based until I go on vacation and then just say, Fuck it! Fuck it! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go. Fuck it, man. It's time to be. She wants you to block Sabrina. You hurt her really bad when you went for a classy girl. She went to a trashy gay dude. Okay, your name is Shalom Goyim. I don't trust you. Everything you say is wrong. I'm not even entertaining that, dude. That's bait. And it was heartbreaking to hear someone say they made a mistake when it's really me starting the war. It's like, man, it's such an avoidable mistake. And, you know. But you know how girls think? They think like reputation doesn't matter until they're like fucking 40 and alcoholics. And it's like, yeah, reputation matters. You should be guarding yourself a little. You know, even your grandparents tell you, don't let the town talk bad about you. I think that's the only reason I dated you is because you guarded your reputation. Why switch up? Not the only reason. That's the best reason. That is the greatest reason to date someone. Well, not the greatest, but it's a big one. <clears throat> Someone said the real her came out. That's not true because look at look at the past. She was never like that on live. It was always cryptic. That's I got called a bad father, and now I feel like a bad... Now I can't even have kids. I was like, you know, look look what happened to that daughter. Totally, totally, like, unforgettable. And part of me blames myself even more because I tuned in, and I fell for it. Like, you don't have to leave. You can keep watching us. But really, I shouldn't have tuned in because if you think about it, the only reason I tuned in is to show people I'm not a coward. Like, hey, I don't hide things. But it's like, how many times do I have to prove myself? I think I'm done looking real. I think I can just ignore shit now. I don't have to always be, hey, guys, this is what's going on in my life. The fear of being called a phony makes me into a psycho. It's like, who cares? I have like Holden Caulfield syndrome. <coughs> I hate that about me. That fear got me unpartnered. All that, all the problems in my life is trying to look real. And it's like, to who? Who am I trying to look real to, man? Like, I am I that insecure that I got to like platform every second of my life to just to prove something to one dude watching? Like, nobody really cares. You really try to save her, but please stop blaming yourself. Bro. They admit they made a mistake. If you went back in time, would you have done that stream with the blondes and stuff like that? Or that YouTube video? And platformed it right 
during like a tearful ending. No, you wouldn't have done it. Nobody here would have done it except my fucking dumb ass because I was fucking hungover and pissed uh, at their family attacking me. You know what's funny though? That's the first family who didn't like me. Every other parent has loved me and I want to leak names so badly right now. I want to leak some e-girls so bad. But I'm not going to. And that's when I realized, I'm like, yeah, that, that one is definitely not my fault. It's only my fault when I'm angry. But it's like, stop getting me angry, bro. You were doing fine before that. Oh, yeah, dad doesn't like me. Well, dads usually like me a lot. But not that guy. And you know, my dumbass said, yeah, your parents are in the right. And then she went and did that. And I'm like, where are your parents? I thought they're in the right. That's when I realized, oh shit. If someone's extremely liberal, no matter how much their parents are in their life living with them, they're not listening. You know what I mean? What the fuck? You didn't even flirt with those blondes? You don't understand, dude. I When she was crying in Panda, I was like, what the fuck are you doing to this girl? I said, I'm going balls deep in a younger bitch. Fuck you. Um, just because I hated that energy. You know? Bill, we're not talking about you. We're talking about my life mistakes. Like, one in the chat, if I've made horrific mistakes... All of them live. Or do you think I'm a perfect person, Jill? If I'm a perfect person, don't put one. And Bill, tell the chat I I wasn't doing some uh, psycho shit. Tell them I actually cared. Tell them that. And not like to make me look cool for other people. There's no one here, really. It's just my chat, me, you. Tell them I actually cared like a good person. Like, tell them I'm not this atheist Dunkle said I was. Yeah, you got to get on my stream. We're going to have you on today. You're going to tell them how good I was. And Dunkle's watching this. So go get ready and tell the world how good I was. And no fucking drug talk. Here. Here, we're going to call you and uh, just remember I'm at war. Don't make it worse for Dunkel. <clears throat> I don't know about mod, bro. Okay, join the call. On Discord. No, you're not getting mod, bro. Join the fucking Discord. <laughs> no shot. Okay, then tell Dunko to wake up. I need him. Join the Discord so I can ask you something. Ew, what a monster of a person. K, I'm leaking? What the fuck? Dude, you said no more drama. This is me shitting on myself. You can join in on the shitting on me, but damn. I know how to call. I'm calling on Discord, not fucking phone. Go to your PC. Okay. What are you talking about me. Do you Check have this out. Check this do? out. Dunkle's watching. No, do you have nothing better to do? <laughs> and tell Texas no. Tell Dunkle. He's watching. I this. don't care. I get messages that you're talking about me. Okay, tell Dunkle 
that I'm a good person. Mm, you want to see how? Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> go off stream and go off stream and talk to me. <laughs> Tell Dunkle. You know what? Fuck this shit. We're going back to war. Like, there's the, no content here. We're going back to <laughs> fucking war. You're either with them and Dunkel or you're with me. I'm kidding. No war. What was I saying? Jill, stop, bro. I was defending your fucking name when they said th that your arc was bad. I said your arc is good. It's not a bad arch at all. Why didn't I just start with that? I don't know why I have to meme first. Everything gets lost in memes. It's like, fuck. Okay. At this point, this is psychotic, bro. Wait, cam up, Jill. Yo, can you cam up? You're tapping a fucking bitch to me. Yo, cam up. How about you tell them to shut the fuck up? Hey, chat, Sorry, shut the fuck hide. up. We got content. Shut the fuck up, chat. One's no, in the I'm chat. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I, I'm not coming on until they say sorry. <laughs> It's a fucking chat, bro. I don't care. You're calling me bro? Well, you're not calling me bro last night. I was asleep last night. No, you were not. Yes, I was. That's why I said sorry for falling asleep. <clears throat> we'll talk about before that. Okay, but you said last night. You want to act so cool. It's so funny. Yo, you're actually scary. Are you you're, scared? Yeah, Are you scared right you're, now? You're actually Frieza, dude. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. It's just Twitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just Twitch, but you got to talk about me because you have no content. All it is we're is going... me and Dunkle. No, we're going through every single arc. Two people you want to go balls deep in. Dude, who taught You're you to so talk like that? You're so fucking annoying. You, did I teach you to talk like that? Balls deep and shit? Who are you? I don't even know who you are. You're just some <laughs> random. <laughs> Don't talk like that. You don't talk like that. Here, let me, like, be you for a second. Oh, you smile every time I text you. <laughs> you're, you look so alive only read, when I text you. You're the, smiling. Oh, my gosh. Read the, read the part where you started sending nudes out of the blue. Of course not. <laughs> look at this fucking thing. <laughs> Expose yourself right now. Uh, let's talk about how you Bro. baited me onto a fucking call. So... Mm. I didn't bait you. You know what I was. You know what this you call is about. You did bait me. No, you no. did bait me. All, all you all, did bait me. All memes aside, you know what this call is about. This call. Fuck no! I don't care about what your shut call up, is about. Man. This you shut call, the fuck up. This call is about. Is John Zerka a good person? No, he's not, and I am way better than you. Like shut I, up. That's not the question. The question is... There is no question with you. You're literally a muskrat head ass looking ass bitch. Oh my god. Hold on. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Listen. What? Listen to me. Do you want me to do... Um, video call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show yourself. <laughs> it's literally you. Dude, you I don't understand you're how you like guys are so mean. No, we're not mean. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> don't do that. What? Are you drunk? Mm -hmm. Why would I be drunk on a Tuesday night talking to you? If I was drunk, I would not be talking to you. I'd be talking to someone that's not fucking annoying. <laughs> it's a humiliation ritual. 
Yo, cam up. We want to. That's see an you. old fucking joke. You're an old, crusty. You're an old crustacean. Why do you call? Okay, me? hold why you on. Call me? I'm why, trying. Why do you call me dad for seven months? That was kind of weird. I never. Dad, I called you cr crusty old man. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Let's put you on the screen. Um, okay. Now add Dunkle to this call. Okay, Dunko, we need you here. So, Jill, Dunko said that I was pretty much abusing you. Yes! See, you guys coordinated this shit, man. I swear to God. No! I hate you! I just am down bad. So I talk to you because I'm in like... Yikes. yikes. Why? I need my hair up. What do you mean, yikes? I'm saying like, you and Dunko are totally smearing my name. Well, he's, he's pretty much, you know, doing it himself. And you have a choice now, right? This is your path you're going to walk. It's either John Zerka is evil or... He banned me and Tat! Unban me! John! What? I'm banned me. I don't think you're banned. No, I am. Okay, unban her. So I, well, I, I, you know, you're going to have to choose, though. Am I an evil person or are you unbanned? <laughs> you want to play that game, do you? Come on, evil is a strong word and you're letting Dunkel win. I'm literally going to never talk to you again if you don't unban me. Okay, you're literally... Okay, I'm just gonna start reading. Um... Don't be cringe, bro. Then I'm fucking banned me. The fact that you're like... Who has banned you? How can they ban you? I didn't even say get banned. I know, and I'm telling Mods. you... Mods, who banned her? There, Diminished City removed it. You're just tripping. Are you joining the path of Dunkel and the, the homosexual barber path? You used to be a barber. Are you joining that path? Care. I think both of you guys are extremely gay. Mm. So you're choosing that path. I choose no path. I think that you... You didn't even <laughs> say I look cute, so I think I have to leave. Why? I'm so done. I'm... What do you think of Dunkel? I don't care about Dunkel. I, I just think like... What did you mean by he's gay, John? Well, who else have I called gay? Every single person ever. No, no, no. You. no, no. You were worried that he's around me and he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna suck me off. <laughs> mm -mm. I, yeah, I'm I such a narcissist. That. I'll be like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm fucking joke. <laughs> Here's the crazy part is like you talk about him more than anyone. I'm obsessed with him. Did you see what he said about me? He said that I no. He said I brigaded those girls and that I'm a a phony and blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he's in chat. Mm-hmm. Dunko, why don't you join the call? Um, so... Yeah, I mean... It's just cringe. Like, I can't believe you're like this. And I can't believe... You're just... You, you're giving me, like, huge toilet bowl vibes and, like, Havelina vibes right now. And it's... Just... It's not good. Should I laugh? You're mad. Yeah, he's in chat. Why do you care? It's literally like, like it's a ch like a dunkle is dunkle and a chatter like. Mm, oh. I don't know. <laughs>
That's, that's why you're that's, in the call. That's why you're in the call. That's right. He is a chatter. Well, not saying he's a chatter, but he started off kind of like as a chatter. But you're I'm also fine. such a chatter head ass. Why do you look like that? Oh, your dark ass room. No, not back together. We're just figuring out if Jill is the enemy or not right now. Is she with Dunkle or what's going on? Because you're going to have to choose. Anyone! You have to choose. I... You have to choose right now in front of everyone. You have to choose. Is the man attacking me your friend? <clears throat> I don't have any friends because I'm not gay. Can I have a lot of friends, but... Ugh. What? Decide. Okay, it... Decide now. I. What am I getting out of it? Like nothing. Yikes. What do you mean yikes? You're like this too, all the time. I don't get oh, things you, out of it. You. You. Okay. So you thought I would come on here being like, "Oh, John. Like I want to suck your cock." Nobody like, said no. that. Nobody. What yeah, the that's fuck? literally. <laughs> What you That's where your mind is going. Oh my, um, yeah. yeah, and honestly, I don't give a fuck about your drama. I am here for kicks, and like, honestly, you're such an L. Decide. Are you on the the 100 viewer Andy side or ours? Well, it's not about views. Also, you were like, you're a 100 viewer Andy. No, I'm not. And also... Okay, you're 500. I, you're 500. I, I, I made you, okay? I made you. I, I'm not What in love. the fuck are you saying you made me for? Don't ever do that. First of all... Now you've crossed the fucking line. <laughs> Raj made me. No. Mold made you. Actually, no, a swamp made you. Because your dad acts like an ogre. You know what's funny Never is saw... everyone on this website thinks I'm like this horrible guy to date now. I mean, I don't recommend, but... What the fuck? <laughs> You're so <laughs> fake, bro. Wait, sorry. Here, let me, let me just, like, act... <clears throat> Yeah, no, you're, like, the best I ever had. I really, like, I miss you sometimes. You don't like, have to lie. You can just say I'm, like, kind of normal guy. I miss, I I'm miss you so guy. much. I'm, like a, I'm a plumber. I'm a normal guy. I miss getting, like, in 40 fights a day with you. I think that's what yeah, I How miss. many of those fights did you start? Wow. <laughs> Are you serious? You're live yeah. saying that. I'm sweet as fuck. Wow. I wouldn't even do that. Zero? Okay, one out of every ten. Easy. Yikes, Jillian. Don't call me Jillian! Don't call me Jillian. You're taking no. one out of ten? Done. Like, at least in the last, like, whatever, like, recent, it's all you. Okay, but I'm not talking about one month. I'm talking about the whole thing. Do you remember the beginning? I never fought with you. I just ignored. No. No, you said I wish it live. you ignored. You already said it live. You ignored me for other things, not fights. You engaged in fights for sure. What do you get out of this? Get what? By like saying this about me. I mean, I don't really care. I know I do. That, mean? that sounds like a personal issue. <laughs> You're like so fucking childish, bro. Are you serious? Well, I have to be like completely honest. I don't. Uh, Say I, I'm a good yeah. guy, Jill. Uh, wow. I mean, I, I liked Mexico and. What the fuck? 
Jill, how many times did I stop you from crying? You caused all of it. Shut the fuck up. 100 times. 100 times minimum. You know, like you, you cause it and it's such a, an insane, like painful feeling, but no, then you like, grab, you... then you grab out your hands like God and you pull me back out and then I'm like sobbing and I'm like, oh my gosh, John. And then like, it's just like really highs and nobody, lows, highs yeah, and lows. But nobody, nobody cries a hundred times a month. So that has to be your fault. No, I haven't cried at all. Actually, ever since we broke up, I've only cried three no, no. times. And one of them was because of you recently. Okay. No, no. How many times did you cry for a dumb shit that had nothing to do with me that I fixed? Oh. Never? You... I don't know, like, if you're senile. Wow. But this is three the... times is a lot. I cried three times when I was dating him a week. At least. No more. And, and... It was always over some retarded misunderstanding. Like, I'd make a joke you didn't like. Mm, yeah. I mean, he, he well, would be like, you cried over talking a about fucking Jill, you bitches. Cried, yeah, you cried over a hooker joke. Yeah, because I don't deserve a guy who's going to make a hooker joke. Like, that's not for me. Well, you knew who I was. You knew who I was and you tried to change me. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? I said, get the fuck out of that pool. You so did That's your... not. It's not about the pool. I was. I was doing the pool way less even before you. I wasn't even doing the pool. What did I try to change? You didn't think, I, bro. I was funny and hilarious and happy all the time, and then you made me fucking not talk to anyone you isolated me oh you made God. me literally hate my fucking life you made me sad you bullied me every fucking day um i mean i just was a different person jill you're a bully yeah you made me like that i was fucking nice to you until you started being fucking psychotic to me well, you bully everyone though <clears throat> no i don't i'm nice you can ask most people i am nice You know Dunkle's gonna react to this shit? <clears throat> you just gave him a lot of ammo. <coughs> well, no, I didn't. Also, yeah, you like did. you not true. And like also the stuff that you typed, I didn't like read it last night. I read it today. <sighs> and like what the fuck are you on, bro? Like actually Jill, you've chosen like, you've chosen Dunkle. No, I'm not I haven't chosen actually no, I don't choose Dunkle. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh <laughs> All right, I don't choose anyone. All right, all right, all right. You don't choose anyone, so you're not a part of this war, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to keep you out of it and keep my brother out of it, Dunkle. I don't know why you had his photo up for that long. And the war Well, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I wouldn't have ever talked to uh gotten baited if Dunkle didn't have my picture on his screen. I could have been having a lot of a peaceful time. So I think having people's pictures up on screen is actually a bait and not good for anyone. I try to tell him, yeah. So don't have people's pictures up. Yeah, why did Dunkle snake you like that? I would have never clicked. I would have never intertwined or whatever. I would have never even talked to you. Never click. That's the spirit. Never click. Never watch my streams. Never watch his streams. You're like okay, don't tell me what to, don't tell me what to do. No, I'm telling you what to do. Never click. Never watch Dunkle. Never watch I'm, me. And you'll no. have a peaceful life. You'll have a peaceful don't, life. Don't. You're not telling me what to do. Period. Bruh. No. No. You, no. You took orders for seven months. You used to be a legend. Never. I am not taking orders from a <laughs> crusty dude who can't fucking... What? You can't do shit! Okay. Um, okay. Check this out. <clears throat> Here's what's going to happen. Okay. No, I don't want to hear what's going to happen. You Everyone really in this to... chat is going to pray for this girl. Okay. Don't fucking pray for me. I don't want your crusty ass fucking viewers. How to look even 
talking about me. They're literally cringe. They're literally cringe. Did you see what Dunkel Bjorn said? He said that's Dunkel's alt. He said oh, I'm not what? wasting. He said I'm not wasting a prayer. How can Dunkel say that? He called you a. Oh shit. You know who cares? You. That's it. I could never care about any of these people. Like, at all. Aren't they your best friends? <laughs> Aren't these hundred viewers your best friends? Do I associate myself with them? No. Well, they put your picture on the screen, so they clearly associate with you. Because of you. Yeah. I associated myself with you, and now I'm associated with them. It's not the other way around. Bitch, you say what now? Fucking brew. All right. Well, you suck. She's panicking. Panicking for Why are you panicking, Miss PVJ? <laughs> I'm so worried right now. I'm panicking. Yeah, I don't like that your chat's just fucking rude head ass. If they only knew, like, bro, like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, she's not that bad. It's just, she's just this new character now. I'm not a new character. I just don't like you. Mm, kind of different. Hey, if there's nothing different about it, really? I just... Yeah, you're saying there's nothing different about you anymore? Ooga booga. I mean, yeah, I'm, like, happier, but, uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't have to be, like, sweet or anything on here. You guys, you and Dunkle should just kiss, because you guys are kind of... Yay. This is a joke to her, chat. This war is just a mm. meme. That's not cool, Jill. This is a war and it's a meme to you. I think I'm, I'm making it better. I'm literally on your screen. True. Have you ever been diagnosed with autism? I'm asking Dunkel in the chat. Oh. Why doesn't he just apologize? Why does he want this war to keep going? <laughs> okay. Well, I am getting... Oh. I want to troll. But you're not in a very troll mood, are you? No, no, troll away, troll away. I, uh, I need filler for 20 more minutes, so troll. I have been filler for 20 minutes. What? You have never been filler. Uh, oh. Bro, so I, I missed filler. a bunch of streams because of you. Like, you own me. I missed a bunch of streams. I also missed, um, I don't know, like, brushing my teeth and shit because of you. Like, I also, like, smoked, like, 40 packs because of you. Like, what else? What else? You you don't like this color, do you, huh? It's fine. Are you mad at me? Just disappointed. Oh, because you thought it was going to be like, Go, John! Go, John! To the dude that, you know, ruined my fucking life! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> like, I'm just not a spiteful person. If you were like, a, You said ruined your life. That's huge, what you're saying. And I mean it. However, whoa, what's up? Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, 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 Ruined whoa. Ruined life, bro? You're too serious right now. Uh, I don't. I, I have like a special hatred for you. But I am so. Uh, I don't really take stuff very seriously. That's I don't. How can That's you why hate, I'm like. How can you hate, mm, how can you hate Santa? No, but do you like my yeah? What is that, What is the scrotum at the top? Uh, the do you, do you want me to draw you? Do you want me to draw you? Yeah, quickly. What are you doing? Quickly, you got something better out to do. Okay, bye. Two. <laughs> Get your filler back in here. It's a filler arc.
You see what I mean? You see what I mean? They self-leak when they say stuff like, you ruined my life. And then they say, I'm not taking it serious. They're self-leaking. So, this is what happens. If I ever go live and say, hey, I was a bad guy for five weeks, they'll say, actually, you were Hitler. You know what I mean? Not cool. I got trust issues now. Stop fucking talking about me! Stop fucking talking! I'm being so fucking for real. Stop talking about me. Enough. No, don't tell me what to do. Stop fucking talking to me. I don't like you. Just draw just... me. No, I'm being nice to you because I pity your orphan ass. Yo, I... what the fuck? Don't leak <laughs> that I'm an orphan. Why are you leaking that? You literally are a fucking furball of hell. Let's talk about... Can I just leak you or not? Not anything recent, but can I just, like, make fun of you or no? Well, can okay, you... Okay, never can mind. You, can never you, mind, I won't. Yo, can you mix in some truth, too? Because this seven months of total verbal abuse narrative is so cruel to me. We've agreed it's, I... it's five weeks. It's not I funny. hate you. I, truthfully, I really do. On a serious note, I seriously fucking hate you. But that doesn't mean I don't want to, you know, like hate love, you know? Jill, hate love relationship. Jill, stop. Do you... Don't tell me to fucking stop. You, th you, do you have any <clears throat> God in your life, Jill? I'm like, you realize I'm giving you such content right now, right? Jill, do you pray? Dear Allah, can you please get this fucking fur head ass, buffalo head ass looking ass why bitch did, the fuck you, away from why me? Why don't you explain your drawings? <sighs> okay. Well, not anymore because you said that uh, you hate all of my drawings. No, those ones are good. I like the top right the most. <laughs> That's so funny. Are you MK Ultra? Like, why, why me, bro? I don't like you. I just heard that you're talking shit. But um, whoever said that lied. No, I, I came was, in. The chat was I spamming came in. enough. The chat was spamming. The enough, arc you're not. was the worst. That the Bill arc was the worst, and I said no, it wasn't. That's what I said. No, it was the worst. It easily was the worst arc of my life. Admit, admit it. It was the worst arc of your life as well. I mean, you've... Arc, I, it, arc, bro, arc means seven months of the worst. That's what an arc is. It's not a f five weeks. It was the most toxic, abusive, fucking shithole fucking relationship anyone has ever seen. And it was live because you don't know what to keep online and offline. So, Me? besides the lives, shut the fuck up. Besides the lives, it was pretty bad. Like, as a real relationship, it was not good. Like, on a serious note. And whose fault we, was it? We had ups and downs, ups and downs. But live, when everything was live, it was bad. Like, I know you guys hate me, but it was bad live. Like, you, we would press live, and it was just bad. Everything was, I'm a bitch, John's bullying me. That was the content. There was never any cute couple content. It was never cute. It was never good. It was fucked. The whole thing was fucked. And it should have ended a lot earlier. It was always mean. Bruh. Hey, why is Toppy telling me to go lay concrete? <laughs> this is scary. Um, what? Oh, are you offended by that? I'm being actually I, serious. Like I actually am. I, I mean, the here's here's the line. It's like, me and John, we don't trust each other, but we have, like, okay, a, you an attraction. What? You know what? What? I just realized something. One of us is mature here. No, I'm, I'm not too mature, but I can be mature. I don't like it. I want to be a child when I'm with you. If I took it seriously, I wouldn't. Okay, 
Listen, this is really about Dunkel, okay? I thought you were going to say some nice shit about me. What a, I fell for that. <coughs> Whatever. Yeah, and now you're going to be so mad later. Wait, you want me to suck no, your I'm dick gonna, live? I'm not going to be mad. No, you don't have to be nice. You can just be fair, like me. All right, I'll say this. You have took me to nice places, and Oh my god, you... bro. I'm talking about like you, person. You petted my head. You petted my head. Oh lord. I like the RP. Dude, I'm saying nice. Nice, John. Why are you acting like I'm not a jolly guy, bro? Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. I got this. I got this. I love to FaceTime with him because he compliments me for, like, a long time and he says everything about me it's thank love bombing you. obviously thank and you thank you why don't you start shut the with fuck that up. Shut the you fuck started up. with that so you're saying i'm a sweet guy no it's all fucking fake because once you what I, oh, oh 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 okay so he starts off oh chill i love everything about you like you're so cute and <laughs> what the fuck and yeah, everything. get the get the yeah everything, bitch, everything, and you say that all the time. You're like, oh, what guy well, can not ever this. like? I don't love like, this. Uh, you're gaslighting. Yeah, you don't love this right now. You're gaslighting. Not, this, is, this is not gaslighting. You've gaslit me into a corner, and you know what's funny? I woke up in the morning and I said, "What if I'm just an evil guy?" Yeah. Really? I mean, I don't think. Like, I think you have, like, mental illness. I think we're both, like, very, like, oh my strong God. personalities. I have mental illness, too? We we both have extremely strong personalities. Oh, explain me this. How come no it's one... It's not a good man. How come no one else I dated had your problems? You didn't... Uh, I mean, I I don't believe that. First of all, a lot Second of these all, a lot of these girls were gonna come out to make you look foolish, and I said, don't do it. I only had oh, problems. Yeah, I, with, I, I, had I problems believe with, that. I you don't. I believe that. Really? You don't believe that? Absolutely not. No, I don't. Wow. You're the first somebody, person to make. If somebody wants either. to come out about it, they don't really ask a person first. They kind of just be like, "This is what happened. This, this, this." You don't think any girl I've dated thinks this is psychotic? I mean, honestly, I hated the whole thing with you. It, I mean, Ooh. yeah, no. I, I don't okay, know fine, if, like... Fine. You know what? Fine. Stick to that narrative. I'm evil. Whatever. Dunkle's gonna see this evil. Your boy, Dunkle. Okay, did you want to draw something, or should we start the stream? Um, I just feel like you're mean. Obviously, I play like kind of like also into the schizo, but that's that's the relationship of it. It's not like a a good stable one, that's for sure. Didn't you uh get pushed out of a car by your last boyfriend? Uh, didn't you drag me out of many bathrooms? In closets. You still going with this lie? Not a lie. <laughs> Your mom said it's trash when we're in the Uber. No. No, she didn't. You want to talk about... Want to talk about, wanna talk I, about I wanna your say, mom saying... You want to talk about every Uber that you're like, oh, she doesn't shit. She's constipated. She's eight days constipated. Okay, this my bad. My bad. I shouldn't have No, just... no, no. You All right, my bad. I take that back. Over. I take that back. But, in every single hold on. Uber, did your mom? No, in the say, last oh Uber, I was not crying, and everyone was like, "Grab your shit, grab your shit." And okay. uh, John was just like, "You're such a fucking bitch!" Like literally in the Uber, and I was like, "No, Haas was in the Uber, bro." Yeah. And I and what kept, I so I turned kept, in front of Haas and I said, you "She's such a fucking bitch." It back. You kept laying it back. You didn't say like. You're no, I made a bitch. joke. You were like, I made a joke. No, you're like you're the type to do that. You're the type to do that. like you were laying. To me back why, like, why your mom I, why why did i was stop being like i was like praying that you would stop in the okay, Uber, why you why your mom in the going. in san diego by the pirate ship why your mom say no john she says she's very feels always felt very safe with you no that I'm didn't also, happen that that did a swear on swear on your family that didn't happen i can call her right now like now. obviously now that she hates me 
Yeah, what I, I, never I was supposed you. to. So uh, let me get this straight. I was supposed to record you secretly to just you, to clear you probably my fucking do. Name? You probably do fucking record me. Wow, dude, I'm, I'm, my trust is broken with you, streamer people, man. That's streamer so people. weird. You said that. What is weird about it? I don't know. If you were a guy, you would get why I'm tight about this. That's so No, fucking... I'm tired. No. No, you're not taking my one quality from me. What? Now you did never felt protected either? Jeez. Okay, first of all, People first like, of all, I'm in Mexico, never... you were You're never what? In Mexico what? In Mexico what? I threw you in, in the Mexico... ocean? Okay, in Mexico, literally a guy grabbed me and you were not watching. You were like talking to one of those people and a guy grabbed me and I told you and you were like, what do you mean? I'm like, you don't watch me. And I was Jill, right next to you. I was, and then you were not next to me. You were behind no, no, no. me. You were behind I me. I was right next to you. You just turned around and when to talk you, to a guy. You told me 10 minutes after the promoter gave me the tickets. No. You, okay, you, told, me you, told, me you, you told me when we crossed the street. You told me when we crossed the street. That's I, ridiculous, bro. Ow, stop. Yeah. You told me when I got the tickets from the promoter and we went into Coco Bongo. Bro, and also, like, a TwitchCon, like... No, I'm done. This is fucking stupid. This is so... Oh, because you're stupid. getting called out. Mm -hmm. Dude, you're trying to make it sound like a dude grabbed you a second mm -hmm. after I grabbed tickets. You just you don't you don't look at me and also you were like if you're two if you're three steps ahead of me or three steps wherever you're a hooker. You're um a her a hooker, right? So I have to just stand by like bro, I can't yes, even walk. You do. You do. You I mean to. three yeah, steps, yeah. think about it, three steps. Okay, check this out. And you're right, you're telling the truth. Anyone who takes more you than threw three a steps fucking from selfie me a stick at me and said, what? "Pick it up," because you got mad that I, me and Eleven K were not right next to you. you. Said, listen, listen to you lie. You said threw it at you, but on your own stream, you said I just dropped the stick. You didn't drop it. You threw it like this at the ground. But why did you word it like I threw it at you? Why do you keep doing that? Look at I. You did. You threw it at us, like <laughs> on the ground. You threw it, not like at me, but you threw it. But you, do you see me. do you see how you're wording shit and people are believing you? Yes, because there was people there. Oh my gosh. So did I throw I'm a selfie coping. stick at you? And honestly, the fact that you like your child's like this fucking disgusting is gross. Like here, let's go emote only mode. Let me ask you something. Did, did I throw a selfie stick at you? You threw it towards me at the ground and yelled, <laughs> pick it up, bitch, or something like that. You said pick it you said fucking pick it up or something. I mean, we can get 11K on the call. Like, it's Of course, nice. that fucking dumb bitch is going to fucking go slander me. She's been lying about me for her whole life. She, that's no. all you guys do is whisper about me at TwitchCon. It's very cringe. Like, two little fangirls. You I think, you think she's going to ever tell the fucking truth? What? Is she going to say I, is she gonna say I, I threw a selfie you? stick at you? Honestly, probably, yeah. Or at the floor, yeah. Like a little baby. Are you mad now? I don't know. It's like if my family ever saw this, they'd be like, so you're throwing objects at women? I mean, your brother definitely would probably not be surprised. Yeah, my brother would just believe you. <laughs> my brother's a therapist, dude. I know. And like, what do you think he'd say about pretty, you? He's chill. Bro, he's. Oh, well, I don't understand him because he was like. You guys should never talk again, right? And I was like, okay, help me do these things. Help me to separate, right? And then uh, out of fucking nowhere, I get a text from him being like, John, blah, 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 this, please contact him. And I was like, you know my Wait, mental that's, state. That's after your Why? hit piece. That's after you talked about me. No, that was before the hit piece, actually. That was before. That was before. I'm being so for real. Do you remember when I was tweeting, responding to your live stream? I wish I didn't tweet respond. You know? That's where I fucked up. All this could have been avoided. And guess what? You're not even humiliated. That's what's scary. I am. I just don't care about you. To the extent of like... You don't care about your own image? Uh, I'm not really like... 
with Imagine you, I went so. live and said, hey, nobody date this girl. She's crazy. She's not crazy. Like, I'm... I... I don't want to date anyone on Twitch, so I don't really give a fuck. No, but if I went live telling people, yo, this bitch is fucking crazy, you wouldn't like that. You do that all the time. You're doing that right no, now. No, you jumped in chat when I was defending you. You were not defending I said the Bill You were not defending guy. me. <sighs> Bro. Okay, rewatch the stream then, okay? Are you going to draw something or... Then say sorry. For what? For being mean to me. Dude, you're smiling because you don't believe it. No, I, I just, here's the thing. It's like, yes, it was traumatic, the whole thing. But I can't, I don't really hold grudges. Thank you. Me neither. Also, okay. like. And now fist yeah! bump. Yeah. No, 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 no. Fist Let bump. me say this. Part. It's over. Let me, no, get the fuck I'm on Twitch. I can't even say the shit I want to say. Stop. I said, <laughs> guys, uh, us, we're both, like, very spicy and crazy, but we, like, feed off of it. So, as much as he's insane, can, uh, I Can you say like we're, we were not spicy before we met? We're, before we were normal? Say that. I was normal. That's kind of normal. true. Yeah. No, that's, that's actually pretty true. There you go. Say that. Uh, me and him are just get really... We're really aggressive people together. So, but we kind of feed off of it, not going to lie. And, like, it, it makes up for some spicy situations. But, okay. uh, yeah. yeah. So, truce, you don't have to be a part of the Dunkle thing. Fist bump. It's I'm never fucking be a part of your, 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 your Fist bump, ass. cyber fist don't. bump me. We're, we're truce for life. You don't have to defend no. my name, but you don't have to, like... Are you gonna be bitching at me later or no? No, no, no. I don't care. I don't care. But uh, Dunkle. I don't care. I don't care. With, I'm not stopping with Dunkle. Okay. Well, guess what? That's fine because I don't give a fuck about that. Okay. But like, I can't believe like you're it? just. Are we trucing it right now? We're never... say something nice. Say something nice to me. You're a terrific artist. No, 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 no. That... Say something like. Okay. Say I something love, more. I love the better. picture of zombie top right. Don't do any more like compliments about my drawing. Okay. Something nice about you. Uh... For six months, you were sweet. No, 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 no. How more shallow. More shallow. Oh, shallow. Um, let's see. Uh... <laughs> so long for it. Well, I'm thinking of something premium. Um. <sighs> You were great on the couch in LA. And you weren't. Really? Then why'd you do this? <laughs> <laughs> was that your favorite time of your life? It's all you can <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I that was the one time I needed an exorcist. But you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy though? Is like I keep getting people who hit me up and say there's nothing more degenerate than fighting with someone you know in person for that long. We're being degenerates, right? Um, we we're haven't never, been fighting. We're never we, being Oh, degenerates. me and you we're, haven't been fighting. We are a fucking truce, and we're never talking shit about mm. each other. Truce for life. Dude, you sound kind of like... <laughs> Dude, <clears throat> I'm what? so trying to hold it together, bro. Truce. Uh, um, okay. okay. Hey, and guess what? I love the spiders. The whole time, I oh I fucking loved the spiders. <laughs> I know that you didn't. I loved the spiders. That was the best shit ever. You're such a fucking liar. You didn't even say anything. You cool. are Link. You are Link. That's don't say I am Link. You're sup I'm supposed to be. I I'm sorry for being Ganon. <laughs> yeah. You are Ganon. Okay, why don't you explain those drawings? Is that zombie? No, zombie's not on here. Um, this is Nightbot. What? You can't draw a dick on <laughs> Twitch. That's not a dick. It's literally another person. <laughs> okay. What's the bottom <laughs> right? What's the ostrich thing? So <laughs> 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 that thing, that no. kind of looks like you. It's got your pelvic uh, issue. It's 
It's got my old teeth. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It has your fur. Um, and my um. <laughs> It's not that funny. It's funny because I drew it. I, I've been laughing about. I actually like this one the best. Yeah. This one. Yeah, the snail. It, <laughs> it has um a beautiful shell. LGB. X Y Z. But yep, you didn't say anything nice, so I just. We're good now, right? No. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good? We are never humiliating each other again. First one to do it. That's not, it, that's not what I give a fuck about. No, no, no. Listen. The first one to humiliate each other is a fake. It's fake. Yeah. The first one is fake as fuck. Okay? Chat. You whoever, were literally no. talking about me. Re yeah. Rewatch the stream. I wasn't shitting on you. I uh, never watched your stream at ours. Don't you have alts? <laughs> I haven't been on an alt. Remember when you used to watch my streams through an alt named Epstein? Oops. Shut the fuck up. Don't say that. No, they figured out it was you when you were spamming. I know, but now I'm going to have to change the fucking name. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Chat, first one to talk shit about the other on Twitch is No, you make, you make a rule that they stop being fucking mean to me because I have sacrificed myself for months for you. Dealing with you, I don't need to deal with his chat. Ew, they're, fucking gross. They're gonna, hearts in the chat, they're going to be so sweet. And because you know my community is wholesome. Oh, they're not. I hate your community. Everybody on Twitch hates your community. Dunkle likes them. I don't fucking care about this. These people, I will never actually be IRL anything. That's why I don't care about them. Mm. You shouldn't care about them. They don't affect your actual life. Why do you give a fuck? Makes no sense. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. I should just let it go with Dunkel. Well, why do you care about a dude who's so... Uh, I mean, I, c congrats on Dunkel being Dunkel, but, like, why do you care about a dude so insignificant in your life? This is a blip in your life. Even this is a blip in your life. True. <laughs> but, like, That's don't, don't, true. don't let this affect you. True. You're stressing. You're losing your... I don't know. You're losing everything over a full-grown man. Why? Why? True. 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 You Sometimes you get in your the war war. Yeah. If you want to do it for content, just know that's for content. But I swear you be getting like actually mad over it, which mm. that you don't need that. True. 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 Same. 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 Why are you doing that? Cause you're just so cute. I. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. This is like split you. personality disorder, bro. <laughs> and I'm also li I'm live. I'm being fun and cute. I I do this on my stream all the time. I'm yeah, not this I'm exciting uh, offline. Okay, let's be real. Truce for life. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a truce when you stop being such a crusty ass bitch. Okay, um. What the fuck mm. does that mean, bro? Bro, truce. Don't burp here. Mm. Don't ever burp here, okay? I'm drinking Coke. You're not snorting it? Mm, no, I'm getting arrested with it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why did you tell him that script? How about you shut the fuck up? Tell them it's a script. The whole thing's a script. I mean, a lot of it's not a script, but I keck about it because what am I going to do? Fucking cry about it? No. I mean, fuck you for that. Fuck that for that. Whatever. I'm not salty because... I mean, I am mad, but like, I'm going to keck about it. I feel like you don't like when I keck about it, but I'm going to... 
Kind of keck about it. Don't say keck. I'm trying to have a serious conversation, bro. Oh, yeah, because I'm the person to do that with, bro. I tried to be serious with you for so long, and then I realized it wasn't worth it. Just like how you still are so serious about wars with people. Like, nothing should be taken that seriously, in my opinion. It's 626 energy. You're 626 energy. I am 626. Lilo, Lilo. But, <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I... <laughs> Whatever. Best friend. Don't fucking call me your friend, head out. I'm not your friend. Bro. We are not doing this. You can doing either... what? Listen. What? Filler words stalling for content. <laughs> okay. Alright, you... just make sure. Are this... so beautiful. Ho ho ho. <laughs> you are so beautiful. <laughs> no matter you... what. No, it... wrong song. Wrong song to me. Can't you see? And then it's like, oh, are that. you singing? I don't know. Are you song. singing Angelina? I think it's Christina. You are beautiful. No matter in every single way. Yes. Because muskrats can't shave their back. That's you. <laughs> the fuck, bro? You know what's crazy? Is what's, what's so crazy? You're a knife in me. You're a knife. <laughs> clip that. My lawyer has to clip that. Listen. I am the one that has a lawyer because of you. <laughs> Yeah, didn't your lawyer scam $2,000 from you when he talked to me? No, I needed him. Badly. Well, I you, still you, talk to him. You got mad when he scammed you. Oh, no, that was not a scam. And that was cheap for a lawyer, too. Why didn't you just listen to me that day where I said I got this? Yeah, because then I would have... Been, oh, I'm not doing this shit online. I'll actually get mad. Man, if you'd listen, you'd be $2,000 up. Mmm, cry. Bro, I look like a gamer. Like, how do you feel wearing these? Like, you look like a gamer. No, like I a don't. gamer. You look yeah, like you a gamer. Yeah, you do. You are a gamer. You play yeah, VR. You want to play it? I know. I still have um a clip or two from that. You're so fucking boring. You're like, let me go fly these planes. I'm like, I'm trying to go troll people. You suck. That was the best <gasps> server. Oh my God. Your server sucked. You, I, the, I didn't bring you to any of my servers. You're boring ass VR character. This is how we can solve it. You and I should fight each other. Mm. Glove <laughs> up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you take Dunkle's spot. <laughs> yeah, I know you want that. <laughs> Cause I'm afraid of him. What did he say to you at TwitchCon? He said John is afraid of me, and you said it was a joke. You were right, fucking there. Was he's I? like, watch. Yeah, he's like, it's a joke, and I'm like, that. He's like, say it, it's a joke, and I was like, and you're too fucking retarded to understand. When people are joking, your girlfriend of seven months is joking because you're so fucking dumb. If I'm dumb, you're in, you guys are in trouble. Oh, let me go make a documentary about fucking globalists. I'm so fucking smart. How about you just laugh a little bit and like enjoy life while you're alive? I'm the comedian. You guys I'm are not comedians. Okay. I'm laughing. I made I'm you, laughing. I made you, he, 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 I made he, you he. funny. No, 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 no. Take it back, 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 take it back. I was funny. Of, you were kind Why? of bland. You're kind oh, of get bland. the fuck out! Get the fuck out! You know that's such a fucking lie. You know that's a fucking lie. Do not take that one. Nah, you were funny. Yeah, damn right. I was the funniest 
out of everybody, okay? All right, well, uh, you streaming? No, nah, you're two hours, okay. Um, apologize. Apologize, what? <laughs> apologize oh, yeah, right apologize. now. 10, 9, Okay, eight. I'm so, I am so sorry that, is. uh, you, I want to say something, but I know it will just no, make don't, a don't. really getting... big fight. It's getting cringe? Yeah, no, I don't want, uh, I, I don't want to do any more of those. I, I, I am do any so more sorry. I am so sorry that you can't drink water and that's why you leak battery acid. Um, don't say that. That didn't make you look good. Uh, I mean, yeah, it doesn't make me look good because I'm the one that has to deal with it. No, no, you keep saying live, hey man, your nut tastes like battery acid. What drugs are you on? That doesn't make you look cool, bro. Don't say I'm that. I'm honest. I don't want to look cool. I, I'm on. I'm How honest. come before me you would want to look cool and now you don't care? Yeah, because I didn't want up. to be you any. Gave bro, up. bro, 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 shut the fuck up. Literally, you're like, that's my ex girlfriend. I'd be like, I never want this crusty ass student period near me. And now look at, now look at me. I had all the we're crusty friends near we don't, me. We don't need to this energy anymore. We're we're friends. Uh, if you're not gonna back it up, like we're not friends. Heart, heart, heart. Ew. What what color of heart? <laughs> uh gold that we be wise yeah 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 gold, gold. okay all right have a wonderful day miss pbj hey, shut the fuck up bitch I... oh no 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 hold on let me fix this what See what I mean? See what I mean, Chad? You see what I go through? Am I not a good fucking hu one in the chat if I'm a good human being, man? I'm a good human being. I fucked up. And I'm sorry it went that way. Humiliation ritual is over. Now it's just war. <laughs> get dunk Don't go start boxing. We've got nine days. Nine. And one more thing. Apology to Miss PBJ for all the bad that I did. Truce for life. It's over. Now, I'll never, ever, 
angrily say to someone, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that to you, blah, blah. None of that. It's all water under the bridge. What the fuck? No, she's not Chat's mom forever. She's Chat's stepmom. The power hungry stepmom. That's trying to take zombie. <laughs> Don't go blindfold a dating show. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Of course he's doing blind anyone who does anything blindfolded is not to be trusted. Oh, oh, okay. He's grabbing her. Yeah, she likes this guy. Definitely likes this guy. It's actually Dunkel. I can, this is this nose. I recognize this man. Oh, guys, <laughs> how was that? <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> I thought you were trolling me. <laughs> His first kiss. Looks, she's smiling. She's excited. She liked that guy. She is a pretty good kisser. Um, she has soft lips. She has a nice body. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I know. Bro, that's someone's mom. That. It was really good. No, stop it. It's so The weird. ultimate it's really liberal. Terrible, the way you went in for that second one. <laughs> so on a scale of one to ten, if we're going to rate him. Ten. Seven point five. Oh, what a capper. What is this? How did you find this? This guy's been on TV before with 30 viewers? <laughs> Where's Simon Cowell? Put me on, man. <clears throat> okay, sure. Nice. Yeah, Pete. There you go. Okay, boys, uh, I think I'll be live for a couple more hours and then start more packing and let's look at some spots in Miami. We'll, we'll pick it up in, um, in um, Texas. We'll do like a rating apartments thing without trying to get doxxed. Did, did, has anyone ever done that or? She'll stop. Oh, Zerka Shiny Teeth. Nice name. I like it. Shut the fuck up, bitch. This is who I am. <laughs> All right. What do we got first? All right, which one were we watching? What did you guys want to finish? Joe? I don't really care for Joe that much. Andrew Tate recently got veneers very similar to yours. Good. I don't like his old teeth at all. I'm just kind of fucking creepy. I think everyone should get them. <clears throat> now he just needs a jawline. <laughs> I'm a little too attractive now. Like, I might start doing streams off my phone just to flex them. How do you do FaceTime streams where I can just call any streamer and do a FaceTime recording? Is that possible? I think those streams would be way funnier. Like, people do that on Instagram. What's grilling? I don't even know what that is. Hmm. No shot! Myron, let Myron Gaines! Oh, shit. Oh, it's this fucking bitch, this feminist idiot. Let's go, Myron. Oh, shit, this is so cool. This is, this is to me, this is even better than Tate because Myron loves Vegeta. <laughs> Let a girl look at my phone. Why? Because I'm going to have other girls in there. 
hundred percent. Hi, I'm Simon Oz and I'm back. New season, new dates. And to be honest with you, I'm not impressed with the dating scene. I think 99% mid. I don't care what anyone says. She's mid. Go to a club, figure it out. Okay. Of the world's problems will be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. I've given some high scores. If females walked around life with their body counts on their foreheads, no one would ever talk to them again. <laughs> no, I'd be like, hello, used, used, used. You, how many guys fucked you over? Oh my god, you're like a walking train wreck. I thought we might as well do the date properly. Ah, oh, see, I like this. And I've definitely given some low scores. Mid. So, like, I'll just save you in character. Wait, wait till I'm on this show. Wait till I'm on this show after popping off on YouTube. They'll be like, put that red pill guy on. And I'll just get on with this hat. And I'll be like, maga, 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 men are better than women, maga. <clears throat> yeah, layers. With nice job. She doesn't want you, John. Hey. Question, question. This is a great chat, great energy. Jill, you fixed it, nice. The, one in the chat, if this woman would do anything for me. Like, why are we pretending like I'm not the king? I'm the king. I'm the king, dude. That's why people, I'm kind of the king. I'm not a mathematician. This is what I do. Oh my God. It's time to find a man that can tick all the boxes. Do you know what? There wasn't actually any red flags. Wow. Ryan Gaines, I'm here to You know how I know women love me? Because it's very hard to get piped while holding your breath. Right? They gotta hold their breath. They right? Because I just came out the ocean. I smell like oysters. Right? I smell like sea turtles and <laughs> I smell like some fucking <laughs> Let's go, Myron. Oh, he's looking pretty jacked. Go on a date, I think. Or a debate, I don't know. Someone put a bag over my head and told me to show up here and they just brought me here. Do you go on a lot of dates? Ooh. We're in England, so I can't invoke the fifth. Damn, what, 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 do, what do you guys say when you don't want to incriminate yourself here in England? No comment. Yeah, okay, no, com okay, no comment. <laughs> By that, I'm judging you're a one night kind of guy. Two to three. I try to keep my retention somewhat high. I need a good rating on... All Myron does is dog stupid bitches in Miami. What, what do you guys use here? TripAdvisor. You guys use TripAdvisor? It's a 1997? I, I hate when people act like, oh, John, how can you say that? The bitches who get dogged in Miami, LA, you know, these in, international cities, they want to be dogged. Like, they have no self-respect. They want to be dogged. It's kind of sad. So it's not like all on Myron. What the hell? Can Cheyenne ask you whatever she likes? Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing to hide unless it's like former government stuff. But other than that, I, I'll, I'll say whatever that I can disclose. Yeah. And finally, are you ready? I think so. I don't know. The dudes that kidnapped me and brought me here, they said it would be fun. I don't know. Oh, shit. Hey, what's up? How are you? Hello. Nice Fine. to meet you. Nice to meet Martin, you. Martin, pleasure to meet Myron. you. Are you going to give me a hug or what? Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Hug. <laughs> nice to nice meet you. you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Chilling. It's not oh, nice. Man. Thank you. I try. He made me hug him. I don't know why I've done that. <laughs> so, how are you? Chilling. Chilling? Doing well, yeah. yeah. It's not how you do it. You walk up and you just do this to her. Ooh, ooh, you look nice. And then she goes, oh, I don't know if I'm afraid. That's when you fucking just sit down and say, your father hates you. Just catch her off guard. Your father fucking hates you. <laughs> you know how I know? Because I'd hate you too. <laughs> no, okay, hold on. Cool. Is that cough syrup on the table? By yourself. I'm good, thank you. Good, it's a bit hot I'm in here. I'm good, thank you. Thank you, I'm good, I'm good. Why don't you learn the English language, bitch? Though, some hands are yeah, really it, like, is, it is warm, <laughs> I will say that. It's definitely yeah. warm, but it's called grilling, right? So. Oh, I like that. Attractive, but typical girl. So, Tim <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. She, she looks like one of those women who's got like another four months. 
<laughs> You're like smashing on the clock. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Four more months until this one crashes against the wall. I better enjoy this. <laughs> Yeah, clip is shipping, cancel me. I don't give a fuck. All she does is roast men. What about you, Myron? Uh, I'm a professional misogynist. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, loved by some, hated by many. Just yeah. on the internet. Yeah. Based? On the internet. Yeah, yeah, we're both on the internet. I've yeah, seen... It's a strange life. Yeah. <laughs> I've strange. seen some videos. You're not a fan of me, are you? Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of many things. Yeah? You just happen to be in there maybe a little bit. Why is that? We disagree on some things. I thought we might get on though. <laughs> That's why I'm like interested. Great, off to a great start. He hates me. I think it's very important to be able to articulate your views, and if you don't agree with someone, it doesn't mean you have to hate them. But exactly. you know, but I think being too agreeable. Is Holy shit, Dylan! You got that many hours watching me. Yo, who's got the most in this chat? There's a dude with a thousand. Um, top two percent, top one percent. Who's got the most? I think you think Tapia. Get his job. Very really? Bad, especially as a man. Because typically if a guy is too agreeable, you can't trust him. Really? True. Yeah. Why? Because all men want to get laid. And if you don't tell the truth and you're just being agreeable, well, he's trying to get laid and he's trying to lie as well. Mm. So. Well, at least a man actually admits all men are trying to get laid. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's absolutely pointless to have a female friend. No, no, it's not pointless to have a female friend. Based. Friend. Very pointless. 100%. Why would guys sit there and be friends with girls? It's pointless. Stupid. So you don't have any female friends? Absolutely not. It's a waste of time. How is it a waste of time? You know what's funny? I don't say it to look cool. I've never had a female friend until Twitch where it's like, oh, it's content. It's like, I'm, you know, I'm gaining. But yeah, I've never had one. It's a time. Also, because... but they, I was also in a weird position where they'd always do this when they got drunk around me. Like trying to kiss. And I'm like, you're a friend for a reason, bro. Women don't offer much utility to you as a guy. What makes you think that? Well, hmm. I mean, if you get in some kind of fight, she can't do nothing. What's she gonna do? She's gonna be like, oh my god. It's like, Why would then, you want a woman if anything, fight? she's a liability. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. But a woman would fight. Like, I'd fight a woman for you if you're my man. I don't want my girl to be involved in any type of physical confrontation. Really? That's, that's not her job. That's my job. So True. I look at it like, if I'm with a girl and I'm supposed to protect her and provide for her, etc., I want that to be my woman. I'm not gonna give that type of energy to like a friend. That's stupid. Why am I gonna put my life on the line for a girl that doesn't even suck my dick? Wait, but is that too much there? I don't, I think you should just. <laughs> this guy. All right. Head in the chat. Let's go. Be able to have a friendship with women though. Well. Well, firstly, it's not always like men versus women. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like having female friends will give you that balance to understand. Like there's actually nice, normal women out there that aren't just trying to sleep with you, like for your money or everything like that. We, we bring a lot of value. <laughs> I've interviewed almost 1600 women now at this point, And I would say, Without a shadow of a doubt, women are absolutely terrible at being uh, understanding what it takes to be attractive to women as a man. Mm. So their advice typically is not good at all. 1,600 women. Poor women. Men carry like a lot of like hurt and they push it on women. Okay. Hurt in what way? Yeah, I, I think it's because like, for example, this incel culture, which like respectfully, like your <laughs> podcast uh -huh. really brings to life. Mm -hmm. You're just projecting onto women unnecessarily. Because there's a lot of good women, like I myself would say I'm a good woman. I don't do anything wrong. I'm very loyal. I'm a kind woman. And a lot of men will make the assumptions because of podcasts like yours and people and men like you to then push that onto me. Wait, I'm how are you loyal if your show is about dating dudes? I don't even get it. I'm a loyal ass ho. You know, my whole show is about like meeting men and shit. And we've got to take it serious because it's like a big show this kind of woman, I'm a gold digger, and I'm this and that, and I'm not. Well, the reality is, would it be fair to say that most men, I mean, you said there's a whole insult culture, etc. Would it be fair to say that most guys are losers and don't, don't really measure up? I personally don't think that, but keep it I a thousand. know. No, but I'm saying, keep it no, a thousand. No, I personally don't. Like, genuinely, I don't. <laughs> okay. Like, I genuinely Being don't. Being politically correct. I'll keep it real since you don't want to. Most guys, I'll be honest, are fat, losers, and don't have leadership qualities. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for that. And most women, quite frankly, are terrible. They're whores, fat, rude, crass, whatever it may be. And most of them don't qualify for a relationship, and most guys don't qualify to be the leader of said relationships. I think it goes on both parts, okay? The men are weak, and the women, there's a bunch of issues there. So what we basically highlight on our podcast is you need to be the best version of yourself. And I think the thing is, is that guys are yearning for this because 
we've been lying to men for the better part of five to six decades about what being masculine and strong actually is. We've been demonizing it when in reality, guys need to become stronger. Because no woman wants a weak man even though girls say dumb shit like, oh, well, you know, I want you to be emotionally intelligent and get in tune with your feelings or whatever. It's all a lie. Oh, see. Okay. No, there's a, but I personally would like a man that's emotionally available and emotionally intelligent, but it's not me saying like... That she's lying. She's lying. Every time they get married, they're thinking of the guy who was cold. I wonder what it'd be like if I was with that guy. This guy's kind of a bitch. You know why guys get confused here? Is that when a man opens up to another man, the man feels it. So he goes, oh, that wasn't cringe, bro. Like, I understand what you're going through. Woman, The woman doesn't feel it. She doesn't understand at all, dude. That's why men are like, actually, you can open up. You can totally open up. I remember my homie once opened up to me and I didn't think he was cringe. Yeah, because you're a guy. You probably related to his problems, you fucking retard. But if you were a chick, you, it wouldn't be the same way, right? And then people are like, well, there's some chicks who don't find it corny. Yeah, that's like, we're not talking about less than 1% of the population, right? You just got to ask yourself, are they infiltrated by Masonic programming more than men? Yeah, they're 80% of the consumer market. Of course, they're brainwashed. You can trust a brainwashed person with your fucking life problems? Are you high? I want you crying all the time. So, do you know what I mean? I, I, it's true, though. Like, so I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, you have to give some room for men because, like, men's mental health is a serious, like, issue. We tell guys not to be vulnerable in front of your girl. You know, you, you go ahead, you're going to be vulnerable, you're going to shed a tear, whatever. You do that around other men to understand, you know, the male experience. Women don't understand the male experience at all. And it, it goes to show, like, when I said earlier, when you put the girl in a male perspective, I want you to pick up this girl. They always fall flat on their face because women are in a privileged position where they don't have to necessarily understand what it takes to attract a man because men come to them. For me, He's slaying as it. a partner, I would want to be able to give my man a safe space to be able to be vulnerable. And it's like, but not completely like, oh my God, cry all the time. Except when you give him a safe space, you feel unsafe. You just don't admit it. So it's good that you want to be like a nice person and stuff. You want to be like, oh, look at me. I'm, I'm his hero. But if it's weakening arousal, it's weakening him. It's stupid. It's like not worth it. But just so he knows, like, it's like things are okay. You know, like it's supposed to be a partnership. There, no, it's not. no, it's not supposed to be a partnership, you dumb liberal. If it was a partnership, you'd be fighting the Hamburglar and paying the bills. Partnership. Why That's another not? common lie in modern day dating. It's no, not but, a partnership. But I want whatsoever. a partnership, though. Question for you. If it was a partnership, every one of you would become lesbian. That's the truth. It's never been a partnership, not even once. Matter of fact, women push for I want a partnership when it's really men who should be pushing for it. <laughs> men should be begging. <laughs> they should be like, please, let's make it a little more even. <laughs> right? You don't even know what she's saying. They say stuff to look cool. Statistically, she's a liar, right? Do you want a man that's taller than you? Um, Idealistically yeah. speaking? I do probably because I like to wear heels. I like to be safe. Fantastic. Do you want a guy that's stronger than you? Yeah. Do you want a guy that makes more money than you? I'm not fussed about money. Okay. Liar. <clears throat> that's a scary one, right? What's scarier? Telling the truth there or lying? They're both whole answers. <laughs> You wanted to make at least your equivalent, if not preferably better. Remember, this is your ideal guy. Yeah. Okay. You want a guy that's more confident than yourself. Yeah. More experienced than yourself. Yeah. Okay. yeah so you don't want equal. He's like walking her down and he, he doesn't even realize what. He's like, he's taking the bitch for a stroll. She doesn't get it. You basically describe the superior. So you expect this guy to come in and have a partnership with you? Whatever he might excel on, I'll also add value in other ways. Nope. Nope. That's such lie. Because the things he excels on, that's the meat and potatoes. We don't care about your peas. We don't care how good you are at bringing the peas. You're cheating if you think that it's, you're going to do a partnership bringing peas to the fucking cookout. Hell no. Hell no. That potluck where you bring peas and expect the same amount of shit on your plate, get the fuck out of here. If we're the meat and potatoes, shut the fuck up. Stop asking for more. Your life is good as peas. Our lives suck. We got to work hard for fucking mash, uh, for, for the potatoes and the meat and the potato. I can't talk. <laughs> Sorry. Got to watch what I do now. Uh. 
Uh, John Zucker, I'm seeing a girl for one month. It's good, but she sometimes clearly ignores my messages and it's online. It's intentional, right? Question mark. What do you mean it's online? And if she's ignoring your messages, she's not ignoring your messages. She's talking to another guy. They don't just ignore for the sake of ignoring. They're pathetic. They're literally fucking desperate for attention. If you could give them the world of attention, they'll say, what about the moon and the sun? <clears throat> so, you, you know, for all of humanity, men have done everything they could to, uh, society has done everything they could to suppress female sexuality because it's that chaotic, Right. I mean, it's fun until they kill themselves. They're like, oh, my body count's so high and blah, blah, blah. That's not fun. It's fun until they become drunk fucking wine moms and hate their lives. You know what I mean? It's not always about being physically on the same, on par with that person just for certain requirements. Like, you can't birth a baby. You know, yeah, like that. but... So, so we complement each other in other ways, and so we're still equal in that sense. Men and women are not equal at all. At all. That's another fallacy that we have in modern day dating culture, which... Men are literally better than women in every single category. It's scary. Engineering. Philosophy. Art. St uh, fitness. Like, every single category. It's terrifying how much better men are. And that's the worst thing you can face as a woman, because you're already suffering from penis envy competing with your man blah 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 but a woman just needs to see her man as an extension like a sword the minute she sees him as a partner she's suffering but if she sees the man as an art uh, i'm as a, a partner then she's failing you know like if i was a girl i'd see my man as a gundam a metabot a pokemon i'd be like i'm with charizard yeah charizard burn that motherfucker yeah seismic toss that motherfucker but women don't. They go, I want to be a Charizard. Why? No, you don't. <clears throat> All right, hold on. Uh, Stella says, not in art, not psychology. Really? Well, who are the most famous psychologists no in of all time? Sigmund Freud, Carl Jung. These are men, okay? Men will always beat women in psychology. In art, Da Vinci, all the artists throughout history are men. Uh, fitness in some aspects... No, I doubt even yoga. Even cooking is gordo. You, you know, you can try and do this thing where you compete with men, but you have to realize I'm competing with those men too. I'm suffering too, right? I'm not fucking Da Vinci. So it's not like just you're suffering because they're better than you. If you feel inferior, you got to ask yourself, how does the average dude feel that has to compete with those guys for real? You know? You are so wrong. Look at your psycho hat. Okay, White Feather, let's get some magas in the chat for you. Let's traumatize your little bitch ass in your safe space. <clears throat> yeah, get drowned, bitch. Lead so many women astray. We're not the same. There's certain things that men can do that women can, that can't do and vice versa. And we're different. Name a successful woman quick. Bill Gates' wife post-divorce. Forgot the bitch name. Melinda. Got it. <laughs> different and we're designed to complement each other and... I don't believe in partnerships. I think men come in and lead, women follow. Um, and no, no. I It's not that you don't believe in partnerships, Myron. It's that they don't. If you kick your feet up on the date, if you kick your feet up and say, take me, take me out, she'll get pissed. Every guy wants to ride passenger. I want to ride shotgun. I don't want to take you to the fucking date. Matter of fact, I fucking hate going on dates. I'm going to sit at a restaurant and we both got to pretend like the waitress don't want to suck the skin off my fucking dick. Are you fucking kidding me? It's awkward. It's weird. It's like, you know, I'm like fucking sitting there like, what the fuck are we doing? I'm going to go home and watch some anime, bro. I'm going to go fucking watch some anime and, and keck in my Discord and at the whole server. Hey, guys. <laughs> what are you guys up to today? I find it funny because women typically want a man. And it, here's the thing. What you just described is what every girl wants but they think that they're gonna go into a relationship with a guy that's better than them in every single metric and it's gonna be an equal partnership or 50-50. It doesn't work that way. There's always a leader. There's well, it does. Eventually the man becomes equal if he shakes her hand for a partnership because she brings him all the way down to a, being a failure. <laughs> then they leave you. As soon as it's a full partnership, as soon as you've lost your business, everything, as soon as, you, as you're actually on her level, they fucking leave you. <laughs> That's what you wanted. You wanted me to miss work.
There's always a decider. And for it to work, the man's got to be in a leadership role, never the woman. I, I've always loved Myron. I always say Kevin Samuels, Myron. Um, Kev is number one. He was pro-family. Rest in peace to Kev. Women can't lead anything. Here we come. No, you can't. It creates too much pressure on you as a man then. Because if, if you want to be this like macho man, do you not think that's going to cause a lot of strain on a woman? Listen to what she said. It creates too much pressure as a man. Without pressure, is he still a man? She's trying to degen degenerate him into a boy, into like a loser. Without the pressure, you don't have the definition of a man anymore. It's too much pressure. Actually, the more pressure, the more of a man, okay? Yeah, I'm going into a war zone. They just fucking... All right, hold on. Relationship. Pressure creates diamonds. Because here's the thing. women no, are Diamonds are made under pressure is what you're trying to say. They're just a cherry on top. Like, you, you should have already built a cake by the time she comes into the picture. True. You know, you should have already conquered a boardroom or conquered uh, some kind of physical labor, or played uh, sports at some point in your life, uh, endured some kind of stress. Like, men need to go through pain. Men must become. Women are, men must become. Being a loser. You know, you know how great men are, chat? <clears throat> They'll make millions of dollars and still stick with one chick and start a family. A lot of them do that. You'd think at millions of dollars, they'd be like, time to hoe out. But a lot of them just say, nah, I'm still going to be a good person. I'm still going to. Even if they don't have a God or they don't have a holy book, they, a lot of them still go back to that life that they're, I don't want to say programmed into because there's no programming with God, motherfucker, right? One hole, one dick, that's it. Those are unacceptable. If you're broke, fat, or you don't got yourself together, that's your problem. Yeah, but then men like you would complain about women because you'd say, oh, they only come for like the glory of it like, and not the graph. So I'd rather be with someone that I'm building with. Oh, I've never, I've never, I've never said that women build. I actually say the contrary. I say women don't build; they move in. Yeah, but and don't I, you? And say I, no, no, they don't move in, and they don't build; they tear down. <laughs> and it comes from envying their partner. Knowledge that cold reality, one hundred percent. I tell guys they need to build the castle so that she can come in and you know put some. No, no. Up the whole point is to build a castle so strong that when she starts ripping bricks off, it's still warm inside. Okay. They're not going to build, and they're not going to sustain. They're going to take down. Here and there in your castle, but at the end of the day, you got to build the structure. Women aren't going to build it with you. Those days are done. Women but want women to do. Some simple. women do, though. Like, a lot of women do. Some? No, a few. Like, the ones I know. John Zirka, not every woman is a selfish destroyer. Right, but aren't we talking about... I know not every, but aren't we talking about the modern female? Like, let's look at the modern female. You need to have clout. Well, minimum a uh, minimum 250k to do good with them uh and you have to be socially available to so many other chicks for her to even get aroused dude they ask for a lot right and i don't think it's healthy to give advice for like a one percent type of woman like I, we're not going to the slums to find these you know we're, we're city people we live in the city we meet these kind of people and we've got to cope right if we did it your way, we'd be alone for five years looking for one. And uh, and ask a guy after 24 years old, being alone gets rough, you know. I did it for a long time, but when I look at it, I go, eh, it's not that healthy to be an incel. I am the best one in the chat. I'm the greatest incel there was. I, I got to go back to that. I would say a minority. A majority want a guy that comes pre-assembled. What, what is he talking about? So we got to go off of the... What do you mean? You didn't have an argument against him. Majority, not the minority. If I'm advising men how to, you know, operate in the dating marketplace, I can't tell them, look out for this 10% that wants to build with you. No, the reality is most women want you to come pre-assembled. And to be honest, the most attractive and youngest women that have the most options, they definitely want you to come pre-assembled. Women want winners. They sit at the finish line and pick the winners. Where did you grow up? I grew up in New Britain, Connecticut. Okay. Two hours north of New York City. So what was your upbringing like? Great. Parents were to... So what about a relationship that starts from a young age? Yeah, those are the best ones. I'd recommend get married to that one, but she's still going to be watching Kim Kardashian. And I wonder what my life would be like if I just answered my DMs. And then, you know, they ruin their lives and they go, what a bad idea. I sure miss my first boyfriend, my high school sweetheart. Right? You're battling globalists. You don't hate women. You hate globalists.
You know, if they didn't have that TV, they wouldn't be. I mean, how many guys would have trouble with a woman from the 1950s who just popped up out of a time machine, right? And she'd be like, hey, let's go get some cream sodas. Be like, okay, and then you'd suck her tits outside of a carnival, and she'd be happy, and she'd say, that's all you're getting for three months. And you'll say, wow, I respect you. You don't give, you don't give it me any ass? And she goes, no, I'm just hot, but I don't give it up until you're serious about me. And you're like, okay, I guess I'm serious about you because you're rare as fuck. And then you look at your phone at all the girls who will just give you ass in the first 10 seconds of meeting you, and you're like, there's no way I'm trading. I think I'll stick with the carnival bitch. Does that make sense? This is a fucking idiot. My mother was born in 1959. I'm saying a time traveler. I'm not saying to date your mom. I bet she got huge tits. You're not even talking to me right now. What are you talking about? A am I making sense to anyone or is the chat freezing for no reason? I'm not going to do this analysis stream. I'll just watch the video if we're going to do this. If you think women are different in the past, you haven't taken the black pill yet. You're a fucking moron. You think a Christian woman from the 1950s behaves like a modern day Christian of today? No, what's sad is not that a guy will lie to get her in the bedroom. What's sad is that she knows he's lying and still lets him hit because she's pathetic. She's defeated, right? She's like, I'm just having fun. Yeah, well, it's going to follow you for the rest of your life in your psyche. You can't just, del you can repress all you want. It's in your brain forever, my dude. And it comes back. You'll be like with your kids and it comes back in your head where you're getting railed by 10 dudes. And then you look at your children and your children can sense that their mom was a hoe. And then the kids don't feel confident and they shoot up schools and they become psychopaths. And, you know, single moms raise psychopaths. It's terrifying. You know, if you don't fix women in society, you don't fix society, period. Right. That the angle I attack the globalists with the most is the traditional sword. And I put it to the throat of the modern woman, metaphorically speaking. Because she's the zombie. I can't reach out to the globalists. I can't go to Epstein Island. Can't do that IRL stream. So I'm going to be like, hey, ladies, enough. And a lot of people think you get less bitches if you do it through Zerka's way. You get more. You get more. Right? I could scream, every bitch is a hoe on Twitch. And I'd still get them. It's not a scary position to go on my side. And the scariest thing is the messages I get that go, hey, Zerka, I'm just like you and I'm getting bitches now. And I go, that's why you're doing it? You don't believe in a family? You don't want to go to Walmart with a baddie? You don't want to go to Costco with a nice wife and kids? Well, I just play Valorant and I say base stuff so she likes me. Oh, wow. That is so... How old are you that you think like that? Together the whole time. Stable. I had a sister, brother. Um... Still, I mean, they're, they're still alive now. I said had. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, they're gone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I grew up, went, went to high, high school, played basketball in high school, played video games. Had Still have my childhood friends to this day. I, I'll Look at this. Wait, what do you think about abstinence? Can it reset her sexuality in a way? <laughs> if I believed in that, I would have been a happier person. <laughs> If I believed in that, I would never be yelling live again. I would never be angry again, Stella. If I believed in that, oh my God, my life would be perfect if I believed in that. <laughs> but can, but I see I see what you're saying. Can it reset her as in if she completely went abstinence after being a hoe for, right? Let's say she found God, like the Tila Tequila person. Can it reset her? Well, not Tila, but let's say an average girl who just whatever made mistakes. I, it's not going to reset her, but it's going to put her so much above the modern woman. It's scary, right? Because if she was always probably because you know, she was kind of fine looking and people got at her, right? But reset is a scary word. Like if I say that reset someone, that's like me stabbing someone and asking for forgiveness. Uh, 
doesn't work like that, right? Doesn't work like that, okay? I'm thinking about settling down with a Filipino woman. I like their attitude. Yeah, they're cool. They're great. Yeah. I could say so much good shit about those that that group of people cuz I know them very well. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Again, the cringe answer is correct. You guys have to go to these third world countries. You have to live there for a year and you got to meet one of these. You cannot do this. <laughs> you know, if you're going to do the western society stuff, just like farm it on your channel, but you know, when it's time to get serious, it's time to move. You got to move. And don't think it's a depressing thing to move. It's fun. You're going to enjoy it. It'll be probably the best year of your life is just getting ice cream and doing normal shit with a third world country girl, right? And you should see when you tell her, hey, I don't want you on Instagram, you should see how she'll laugh and just delete it. She's not going to panic. She's not going to be like, what about my other options? And she's not going to do any of that. You're going to be impressed. And what's crazy is they are way prettier outside of the U.S. Like, bro, I'm talking no makeup. Way prettier. Way fitter. Way better genetics. You will thank me. You will kiss me on the lips consensually. <clears throat> I think I should just show you guys one day. I think when I'm 30, I'll just move to one of these countries and show you guys what I mean. And you guys will be like, whoa, Zerka's having so much fun. And, you know, you guys will just get it. You guys will reset your mindsets. But I don't know. Chat, we'll answer Stella's question. Can you reset? Can you be abstinent after being a bit of a hoe? And reset yourself. Can you reset a traumatic psyche? Uh, I already answered it. I think no. I think your kids deserve better than that. For sure. I think the only exception I'd ever make is if she went on some pilgrimages and was like Mother Teresa. <laughs> right? If I just unveiled her with the, you know, headscarf thing. I was like, oh shit, you used to be a hoe? And now you're like Mother Teresa? Okay, I'll give you a chance. I think that's the only time I'd do that where people are like... You know, she saved a lot of lives and shit. That's less than 1%, dude. Even Adolf was faithful to one. These 304s are worse than Hitler in the dating market. What the? Adolf Hitler was a homosexual in Munich. That's why he was never seen with women. That's why he never talked to Ava. Like, do your research, dude. Anyone in high levels of power practice homosexual black magic, <laughs> okay? I would say I grew up like in a pretty good situation. We didn't grow up with money, right? We grew up fairly, you know, poor, low, you know, lower middle class. My parents struggled, especially in the beginning. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I, th I think it's important for young men to grow up like struggling. Yeah. I think it's, you, you, it builds character, you have to do it. I, my, Myron, I, one of the chat, if you like Myron, this is a weird example, but I've never seen an American girl boo cocky more than 30 dudes, but European South. What are you talking about, boo cocky? You spelled it wrong. I thought you were going to say something really based, but you just ruined it. Don't send me paragraphs like that. How will you raise a son with your mindset? I'm just curious to know. Uh, no TV for the son, only martial arts and horseback riding. That's it. That's it. And if he takes hockey, he has to fight. He can't just be like pucking around and shit. He's got to fight. Bill is missing link between monkeys and humans. Okay, dude, I'm not going to let you shit on friends, bro. Like you bring a lot of weird shit in my life. I don't even know you like that. I would raise my son to not be a victim. Uh, you know, I'm at a point now where uh, very successful financially, but my son would not see any of this money at all. Bro, what third world country would you go to? Hands down, Colombia. Colombia or Mexico? Hands down, but it's because I'm superficial. Like that look is, you know, 
I'm the kind of guy who stares. You know, if I'm dating someone, I just don't even watch TV. I just stare. I go, whoa, look at this. So hands down, Colombia or Mexico. I do very good in Sweden, but they're not my type. Uh, can't do an Asian country. I don't know why. Mm, no, they're not hoes. Even the hoes are not hoes. Like, you should compare body counts. You should compare third world hoes to these. Third world hoes? You'd marry. That's how different it is. You guys haven't traveled like I have, man. But I would go Barcelona, Spain. I'd meet someone there. Everyone there was couple energy. And as fucking gay as it sounds, um, couple is the only thing I care about. Not hookups, not this. Not, I, I like duos. I like duos through life. And not even, even before I had God, I always liked duos. I always liked two, just two on the Pokemon adventure, no extra. Duos are the best. In Colombia, John, there are prostitutes. Well, I didn't see them, bro. I meant I met normal people there. I didn't get to party, but I met them at the office at the dentist place, and I was impressed. I was like, "Yeah, they're very classy." Well, when I was in Barcelona, Spain, everyone had a girlfriend. Literally, everyone on the street. It was like Euro life. It wasn't that whole whole like, bro. I'm in America and Canada, bro. What the fuck do you mean? I'm lying. Think of what I'm comparing it to. Are you guys high? I'm in the West. Go to a Muslim country. I'm not trying to die, bro. Right? Imagine fucking trying to have coffee with someone in a Muslim country and 30 of our fucking family members come to slaughter you. <laughs> I'm not trying to die. Been there, done that. Although I got to say, no one hoes out harder than Muslims when they start abandoning faith. You ever met a fucking Armenian hoe? <laughs> oh no, they're Christians. Excuse me. Have you ever met an Iraqi hoe? Have you ever met an uh, uh, Iraqi hoe who ditched her family? They don't fuck around, bro. They want to be American bad. They, they, they go. Yeah, that, they become like hyper hoe. <laughs> yeah, they're competing. Yeah, but the greatest hoes will always be white chicks. Because uh, they, get, they get the most Masonic programming on earth. Because they had uh, uh, economic, they're from economically pro prosperous places. So that's why. I don't know. I'm a simple guy. So I don't think I would do any of that uh, travel the world. I think I would just go. Like when I'm old and my chat says, hey, it's time to like buckle down. I'll be like, okay, chat said it. So it must be true. And I'd probably do like a third world country like Colombia. Because they look like me. I want someone who looks like me. I like people who look like me. But uh, I was kind of, it was kind of weird in that place because I only saw 35 year old women. I didn't see anyone my age. You really think terminally online guys would be happy with some ESL low IQ third worlder? Okay, you have to be the dumbest white nationalist I've ever met. Because think of it like this. Third world country women have higher IQs than Western women. That's why they have different problems. Okay? They deal with poverty. They don't deal with... Um, like, you're really comparing a white woman's problems to a third world. That's crazy to me. Like a white woman is on the brink of suicide. Like her life is, they're the most depressed in the U.S. statistically. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but forget IQ. I'm, we're just talking about uh, body counts because that shows IQ. Like if a girl has more than a couple, then she's uh, needs serious therapy. But John, what about the guys? I'm not talking about men. Well, isn't it the same thing? Why? Are men and women the same? Oh, no, they're actually, they're like totally opposites. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to do that. If the world deleted from their brains, what about the guy? They'd fix all their problems. If women deleted that part of their brain that says, well, what about the man? Then they'd fix all their problems, but they're always competing with men. And it's like, 
super cringe. I would make him get it out the mud because um, like we discussed before, trust fund babies typically don't know what to do in life and how to, you know, they don't understand and appreciate the value of a dollar. And I thank my dad for instilling in that, me, uh, that in me early. I mean, my first job was at McDonald's and I got fired and I quickly learned that I didn't want to be in the service industry, but it made me appreciate people in the service industry. So what, what, what is this, by the way? So this is like a tonic wine. When I drink, I'm like a, quite a mellow person, chill, completely in the mood. You're not an angry drunk? No, I'm not actually. No? Okay, that's no. good. I'd be the worst angry drunk. Yeah, well, I could tell. So do you not drink? I don't, haram. So you, have you never drunk? I have. I definitely have. But Weird I edit. mean, it's not really conducive to my life goals at the moment, so I don't really drink like that. It's just more self-awareness, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as a guy, man, you, you can't afford to have things that clout your, you know, your inhibition or your ability to go out there and create and become a better version of yourself. And I think, like, that's why I'm really big on, like, not drinking, doing drugs, any of that stuff. you got to be focused. All the time. Hmm. Based. So how do you find dating, then, with the way that you are? I mean, when you understand uh, the code, it's, you know, plug and play. It's like, okay, d s deal with the girl, size her up, figure out what kind of chick she is, and then bam. You know, you, you already know kind of how to, how to move. You, so like, what's the you, you know what the problem is? Why men have so much trouble is that women look so cute that nobody realizes that underneath that is a monster. It's a disgusting monster ready to take everything you've worked for. And it's like, you have to ask yourself, am I being fooled? You, don't, you work at a nightclub, you see them lie and pull knives out, and you go, okay, so women are capable of this too. Now I understand. But if you never had one of those jobs where you see the worst, you just go your whole life going, well, she just fucked me up for no reason. No, dude. You got to sniff out the monsters. This one especially is a monster. This is a monstrosity. Code. Depends on the girl. Okay. You got to be able to adapt based on the woman that you're sitting across the table from. Yeah, I have the female codes in my sleeves. I know pretty much where, what they all are. Okay, so how are you adapting to me right now? You want me to be honest? Yeah, of course. Okay, I would I say... I want the code now and then I'll ask the code again by the end of it. Uh -oh. Yeah, I, I would say uh, recreational use only. No offense. So what's like the... How many codes is there? Well, it depends on the girl. You know, you, if you deal with a girl that's younger, that's in her prime years, well, you got to understand that she's more, you know, inclined to look for fun. If you're dealing with a girl that is in her mid-20s, a lot of times she might be pursuing, you know, it depends on the girl, but she might be pursuing some type of stability or some security, and you got to play at that angle. Or if you deal with a girl that's a little bit older, late 20s, 30s, and up, nine out of ten times she's going to want some type of security if she hasn't gotten it already. Code, it's not even that deep. Like, either you like them or not, you don't need to put them in categories. So See, look, they'll always go vague, right? That is, the, women love the fog of war. That's their only tool, is just vagueness, right? And men will be begging for clarity. They never want to, because clarity means you're a hoe. When the fog clears, you're a hoe. So they need the fog. You either like me or you don't. Actually, no, I want to know. I want to know. What's your body count? What's your body count, bro? What's your body count? I want to know your body count. What kind of woman do you want? Sorry. Me? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could, I could deal with whatever. My thing is, I need her to come into my life and be an asset and not a liability. Right. Most girls are liabilities, to be honest. Do you think? I think 100%. the right woman, though, could like really just compliment you and make you like progress in your life. Compliment me? I think I'd rather take it from my chat. Hey, chat, can you compliment me? So she's got no effect. She, she can't attract me anymore. Hey, I need some compliments. She's winning me over, dude. <laughs> Nice teeth. Oh, fuck you. You're rich as fuck, not yet. When I'm rich as fuck, it's game over for these bitches, right? So I'm going to be like, hey, ladies, I got to dog all of you. And they'll be like, why, John? I'll say, I'm doing it for my old self who got fucked over. <laughs> I'm, I'm a time traveler. And I'm doing it for when I was 20 years old and had nothing. Well, you got to train them. No, you haven't. In order to train someone, you need them to listen. I'm telling you, no woman is listening to you. What the fuck? Then why do they sound like us? Like, and which is probably the cutest thing. When a girl sounds like me, listens to my music, watches what I watch, 
politically as she's kind of waking up, that's the best, right? Like most girls come into your life, like, and if you don't know what you're doing, she's gonna come in as a liability, 100%. No, mm -hmm. you don't train them though. He's slaughtering this. You have to train it's them. It's like training a dog, you wouldn't do that. You have to train them, you have to, right? Some you train for temporary, some you train for marriage, but you have to, you just have to. That's why she, she sees you as Yoda, really. Here we go. I knew that was gonna be no, but it's true though. It's, it's not training. It's not something like, once again, it's just seeing this person as your equal. I can't wait to be on the show. So I'm not going to ever be waiting for it. Like, well, you got to train them. And then I'm waiting for her to say, like a dog. I'm just going to be like, well, you got to train them like a dog. Arf, arf, arf. Arf, arf, arf. Like a dog. I'm just going to come at her with that energy. I'll be like, you're not twisting my words because I'll twist them first. <laughs> okay, but showing the person respect. It's not training. So I what the fuck? You can respect the disciple, right? You should enter a dojo. I look at it like if I'm going to have a girlfriend and she's going to be my girl and she's going to have my title, well, she's got to be trained to rise up to a certain level because I'm going to make her into an asset. Buy me a bag, do this, blah, blah, blah. Take me on trips, whatever, when they haven't earned Only buy them a bag and nice things if they're in a cage. That's it, okay? If they're not in a cage, don't get them anything, okay? Like when she says, John, I want to be Mrs. Zirka. I go, but it comes with a cage, are you sure? And then the cage is coming down like this. Just like WWE. It's coming down like this. And then as the cage is coming down, I say, baby girl, you're the chick, right? You're the bird. Stay right there and the cage will, will completely protect you. Leave if you don't want to be mine. And then as the cage is coming down, bang! She goes, grabs the bars. Okay, I'm your girlfriend now. Now what? And now through the bars, I hand her the Louis Vuitton bag. I say, here you go. Right? And she goes, oh my God. I go, yo, we're flying out soon. Right? Get pretty in that cage. We're flying first class. We're getting the fuck out of here. She goes, oh my God, this is so awesome. Right? That's how you do it. Earned it. So you got to detrain those bad behaviors out of that girl and make her an asset into your life versus a liability. Most guys don't understand their value. They bring her into their life. They give her everything. She hasn't earned it. She doesn't respect him. Mm -hmm. She's walking all over him. She starts mm -hmm. to dictate the relationship. You're not getting sex tonight, blah, blah, blah. I've never gotten that, right? Shout out to every girl. Shout out to Bill. Shout out to everyone. I've never gotten that. You don't get no pussy tonight. Because when you look like me, you would like, are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure? But yeah, I feel so bad for men who go through that. Where it's like, imagine your wife says, "You won't get no box tonight." Right? What do you What do you say to that? <laughs> what's What's the game there? I'll just fuck my dog, bro. <laughs> I feel so bad for men, dude. Like, just be six five, bro. Just be a fucking titan. Oh, oh, stay. So rude. Obviously, this is your experience, so I can't argue that. But there's. I mean, this is this is this is biology. Women are hardwired to extract resources from men. It's been that way since the beginning of time. Biology rules everything, guys. They could sit there and say, "Oh, but I'm doing this and my truth." Blah blah blah. Biology rules you. There's one truth. There's no such. There's the cage behind. That's the bird cage. You got to put the girl in. That's your crush. You got to text your crush. Just send her a picture of this and say, "I want you in this cage." and see how she reacts. That's exactly what I'm talking about, where it's hanging, right? And she just waits all day for you to come home to pipe. And don't go inside the cage, they're very dangerous. Pipe through the bars, just like this, right? And they get feisty, you're just like, whoa, take a few steps back and be like, I'll come back when you're chilling. Such thing is my truth, female, typical, blah, 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 trash. No, but I kind of feel like from my experience, if I've gone into, if I'm going into someone's life, I would want to add value. So I wouldn't really. Bitch, you like fucking how old and still single? You're doing a whole show and you can't get it, get the job done. And everyone you meet on the show is the worst possible partner for you. It's brilliant. It's actually brilliant how this show is designed to ruin her life. Everyone wants to date you now. What? You've been on how many public dates? <laughs> yeah if, if women understood how important reputation is they'd understand why no guy throws rings at them take things and i kind of feel when you what did you just say two seconds ago you said in my experience yeah, i my come experience. in and i add it value yeah that's you 
majority of women come in, meet the guy. Okay, what can I get from this guy? Okay, this guy's a simp. I'll just take him out on dinner dates. He could pay. I'm never going to smash him. Another guy, this guy's hot. You know, I can. That's a hooker. If a woman has ever gone just for lobster dinner with no, with no intention of smashing or, or seeing the guy again, that's literally a hooker that the, it's trade, right? Let's say they just smash one time and they don't know, ever want to smash again, but they're smashing for a lobster dinner. That's literally a hooker. Like you're literally engaging in prostitution. Smash him, I can hang out with him. This guy, he has some utility. He's a plumber. Okay, he can do no, my No, don't fall for it, bro. Give her the lobster and say, go home with that, bitch. Don't ever fall for prostitution because God is watching you. And God is like, what the fuck? I mean, I'll give him a BJ once. Girls put guys in roles. It's your job as the man to make sure that you're the top guy and you got the main role where you're not investing too much and she's investing more in you. Girls only respect men that they invest in. The girl always has to like the guy more than she likes him. No, I think it works better the other way around. When the guy likes the girl more? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> what the fuck? Doesn't that make sense? Because women want a man that's better than them. So how do I look if I'm better than you and I'm sitting here chasing after you? Doesn't make sense. Women only respect men that they chase. It doesn't work the other way around. Based right. as fuck so based and it's not even attractive if you're chasing a girl that's the worst sex of your life but if she's like daddy daddy don't leave me daddy daddy pin me against the wall daddy daddy just take me don't ever leave me i need you now now you guys are having fun once again with this like new wave of women we don't want to keep fighting for a man that's, if he's going to treat you like an option See, here's the thing. We can say that women are changing, whatever, but we're all slaves to our biology. Women are 100% okay with sharing men. It's been that way since the beginning of time. It's, I would say it's True. even more apparent now. With Instagram, dating apps, etc., a minority of men are getting a majority of the women. I don't recommend that she shares you, obviously, trad pilled. But if she's, like, fucking up and still in your life, you should just warn her. Be like, hey, if you fuck up big time, you're, you have to share me or get the fuck up. But... Is that really marriage? Is that setting you up for marriage? No. It's still a waste of time, but you're going to waste your time in a million ways, right? So I'd say only be satanic if they're satanic. And uh, if you're being satanic in other ways. But the real answer is just get a fucking wife and get your life together. Once you have a wife, you can focus on career for real. And women are okay with that. I mean, walk into a nightclub. Walk into a nightclub, it's probably one of the most carnal representations of human nature. All the women are sitting in one section mm -hmm. with a bunch of the, the guys that have the highest... Fat old dudes on yachts, right? Most hot chicks in clubs pull out pubes out of their mouth. Ugh, God, I had to suck his dick. Becky, I had to suck the fat, ugly guy's dick. And it's so sad because they'll be looking at the bouncers all jacked up and fucking nice fucking jawlines. And they're like, I'm in heat. I want him to pull my hair. I want him to call me a piece of shit. But they can't because he's making $15 an hour. So they have to go with the fat old guy at the club. And they're like, look, I took a better Instagram photo. I'm on a yacht. And really what a yacht means is use me world. No one, you know how little girls get married after one yacht photo? nobody will ever marry. they have never once been married and it's always to a cuck which isn't a real marriage if they get married it's to a cuck <clears throat> if i ever see one yacht photo i don't care if it's her yacht if i see one yacht photo i say holy shit the devil is working through this woman stay the fuck away from her and it's kind of pathetic you know well, I fucked an ugly dude. I fucked an old dude because, uh, because, um, uh, oh, queen, what the fuck? You're MAGA? Canadian. I fucked an old dude because uh, I, 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 I just wanted to go out. I'm just a whore to go out. Uh, don't you hoes get tired of going out? <laughs> Yikes. And there's no real examples of women having fun at home with their man. Do they watch Kim Kardashian and shit? And they go, oh, that's what life is? Look, you could have billions of dollars and still be miserable. Look at Kanye. Right? He don't even have his kids and wife because of this liberalism.
What if her dad owns it though? Owns the yacht? You're coping because she told you she told you that and you're coping. It's my dad's yacht. It's her daddy's yacht. And this is gonna sound like I'm lying, but I swear to God, I'd rather be a broke Chad than a billionaire fat ugly dude. There's some aura you have as a Chad when you walk in rooms. You just feel great. You're like the construction worker guy. It feels awesome, dude. But the the DJ Khaled is my favorite life crowd. I never understand them. I'm like, have you never been a Chad? You know, it's fucking great. It's actually awesome. It's perceived status in that social setting versus all the other guys are out there in general admission struggling. So, Women always gravitate towards the best guys and they're willing to share those guys. So what's your type? My type. Mm -hmm. Fit, feminine, friendly. And fertile. That's really good. He's really good, man. He's smashing this out of the park. I give him a 9, nine out of 10 in Red Pill. He's really good. I give 9.5 to Kevin Samuels. I give Andrew Tate an 8.5. Unless he's not being comedic. When he's like Muslim, I like it. Uh, very few Red Pillars that I would ever rate that high. I just love that Myron doesn't have sex work in his career. That's like, cleans it up for me. Yeah. Something. Submissive. And coachable. Yeah, and coachable. To be what? trained. You gotta train women, man. I, I know that sounds terrible. He's still talking. Yeah, because you're not. You're boring. Women don't like it when they get criticized. If I go on a podcast and I say, you know what? Guys, you need to stop being bums. You need to get your money on point, not being fat POSs, etc. They actually admire and respect that. People are in the, flame, in the chat, flame emojis, whatever. I go on rants on the guys all the time. I'm sweating, going crazy. It's like I'm delivering a, a preach. I think she's trying to grill me, but what she doesn't know is I'm a black belt in this. I've dealt with 10 girls like her at the same time on my podcast, so she gonna take an L. <laughs> Women rarely get held accountable for their poor decisions. Men do, though. Men have to live in reality. Women are afforded the privilege of living, being delusional. So when a guy criticizes a woman, oh my God, right? If you don't believe me, think about it. If a dude's fat, we just call him fat. You're a loser, huh? If a woman's fat, love your curves, girl. You go. She's rude and obnoxious. Oh, you know what? They just can't handle you. You're strong and independent, fierce. Now hold up, pause. If they're fat and curvy, that's not the worst thing in the world, but it's never the case. It's always a fat chick calling herself curvy. And it's like, bitch, curvy means we're talking about your shape when you're standing straight looking right at me we're not talking about ro your roles are curvy <laughs> no one's ever said <laughs> we've never said that dude <laughs> oh my god yeah curvy curvy is yeah curvy is like the greatest thing they could have like that man what what minute was i on someone ha someone give me that if the woman is equal to the guy, well, who's going to make the final decision? Nothing gets their value. Men must earn their value. Women no, but I kind of feel like from my experience, if, I've gone into, if I'm going into someone's life, I would want to add value, so I wouldn't really take things, and I kind of feel when you... What did you just say two seconds ago? You said, in my experience, yeah, in my I come experience. in and I add value. Yeah. That's you. Majority women... Where was I? Damn. Going back 500 years. The problem is this. Women are confused about what men actually want. They think... The count matters, ladies. If you're a hoe... Such a negative term, but womanizers are actually necessarily, how do I say this, sugar babies that are all his success, she benefits from that. Saying in general, a lot of men get irritated like nowadays, like the commanding officers on the battlefield, you're not till you're serious, you know, because men like to play the field for a very long time. You like to go to the gym at this time. I'm gonna make sure different so no. woman's fat, love your curves, girl. There it is. You go. She's rude and obnoxious. Oh, you know what? They just can't handle you. You're strong and independent, fierce. We have all these terms to cover up female inadequacies, but we don't have these same terms for men. I think it just a lot of it comes from like narcissistic behavior from men and misogynistic Women are far views. more narcissistic than men are. No, women can be, so I'm not, I'm not disputing that. Far but, more I, but I kind of feel like with men that attain a certain level of status and power, you, it gives you the opportunity to try and... To, to dominate. And, Big and difference though. No, but, no, but this is Men like, earn narcissism. Men do not earn a right to be narcissistic. Like, just shut up. Notice how she said, um, they dominate. When they're powerful, they dominate, and that's a problem. You mean the most attractive quality, the most arousing quality? 
quality is a problem all of a sudden. This guy's dominating. He's just beating the shit out of everyone, making millions of dollars and just winning every lawsuit. And he's just win, 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 win. Dominates every part of his life. And then she goes, you know what? You can't dom me by ordering me around. What? Do they go to someone who's not dominating? <laughs> Men earn confidence and arrogance. Women don't. Women are born with their value. Men must earn their value. So if a man's arrogant, more than likely he's probably accomplished something. <laughs> When a woman's arrogant, nine out of ten times, she hasn't accomplished anything. She just has a bunch of DMs. See, this is the, the problem that a lot of modern-day women have. They lack critical thinking skills. <sighs> women tend to go off of their feelings versus what's real. They go off the... When he says feelings, he's saying short-term. Women think short-term, blue pill. Men think... Smart men think red pill, long-term. Right? Everything short-term is depression and anxiety wrapped up into a present. Everything. Anything black belt and long-term is going to guard you. Feels and not the reals. What a girl is supposed to do is come into a man's life, see where he's deficient. Okay, I noticed that you like to go to the gym at this time. I'm going to make sure that you have a protein shake with as many grams of protein as you need. Just get a PI. I'm going to make sure that's done, and I'm a deductive problem solver. I'm able to be observant, because that's women's gift, is being observant of social situations. That's why women are socially superior to men. Oh, you're, I thought you were going to say that's sexist. Okay. No, it's never sexist not. when a guy mentions something about a woman that's positive. So a woman's <laughs> job is to use that social calibration that they have that they're superior to men in and be able to be like, okay, this guy is deficient in this and deficient in this, etc. Let me come in, compliment, make this guy operate. He's already operating at 95%. I'm going to get him to 102 and when you're at a high level already, that extra two, three, four, five percent is what helps you beat the competition. This guy's dangerous. Women will do that. A lot of women will give you that life. They will give you that balance. They will compliment you, but yeah. they're not going to just do it until you're serious. You know, because men like to play the field for a very long time. When you're with a guy of value, you got to understand that he has the leverage, not you. You're applying to be his girlfriend. I wear the highway, baby, because at the end of the day, when you can replace a girl, that's when she respects you. It's on the woman to prove. True, and it's true. It's true. It's true. And it's not really to like look cool. It's if you can replace someone in an instant, right? And women love to say, I can do that too. Yeah, no shit. And guys will smash a toaster. Like it's, you're not looking hot doing this. If you can replace her in a second, you're showing the least desperation in her life. Meaning she feels safe. But if she's your only woman that you can contact, now she feels <laughs> terrified. Thank you, 300. She feels terrified if you don't have other girls. She feels terrified. She's like, what are you going to do to me? Am I your only girl? Blah, blah, blah. But if you have like a billion DMs, then she goes, oh, this guy isn't going to do anything bad. He's just going to move the fuck on. But if it's your only girl from 7 billion people on earth, it's just her. Now she feels scared and her anxiety spiked. And this is why they like players, right? They feel more safe with players, even though a lot of players are barriques. Prove to me that she's worthy of a relationship. That's where a lot of girls make a mistake. They'll sit there and say, I'm good. I'm loyal. Blah, 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 blah. I, I want to, you know, see how you do before you get promoted. I'm not going to give a girl the position of a secretary or underboss, right? Or second in charge of my company unless she's been vetted. She's got to work her way up. The problem is that we give women CEO jobs when they haven't proven themselves and they don't, don't respect the job. Who is listening to this man? So you're, you, here's the thing, you're looking at equality from a human perspective. I'm not saying that men are better than, than women from a human perspective. I'm saying that men are leaders, so therefore we cannot be equal. They actually are better than women in a, in, from a human perspective because the men who are not are in prison already. So we're just talking about civilians who are not in the pen. Yeah, they do, you know, they live more righteous lives. Equal. When you're on the battlefield, right, and the lieutenant or whoever the, the commanding officer is on the battlefield, you're not equal to him as, you know, a regular soldier. He is the leader. You're not equal, but there's a reason. There's a hierarchy to dictate order. If the woman is equal to the guy, well, who's going to make the final decision? Nothing gets done by a committee. There always has to be one leader in charge. There's a reason why there's a president, there's a CEO, etc. Both people can't be alphas, as they say. The problem is this. Women are confused about what men actually want. They think 
a CEO, a boss, a business owner, an uh, ambitious, uh, competitive woman. Mm. We don't give a shit about none of that stuff. Men don't care about that. And I would argue the more money a man makes, the less he cares about his woman's ability to earn money. Men and women are not the same. Women basically become the very men that they want to attract. Yeah, but the thing is, right, so men, mm -hmm. like, I find that men will say that they like women that have ambition to start. It's, it's what makes... It's a lie to get laid. No, it, I wouldn't say it's even a lie. It's a lie to like, get it's laid. Like, it's not, because for me, like, whenever... Yeah, ambition is unattractive. No guy ever wants an ambitious girl. <clears throat> I, like, I've dated and stuff like that. A lot of men say they like the fact that I am ambitious, that I have a They want to get laid. No, but I'm saying, in general, a lot of men get... Lady, you're single still, right? You're fighting the clock, bro. <clears throat> irritated like nowadays like so you're so you're dating all these women and you're gonna say all these women do this is they do nothing and they expect but that's the qualities that a traditional woman would bring she'd want a man to do things for her so but here's the thing she compliments that man's life hmm. so do you want a relationship monogamous so how many girlfriends do you want i mean as many as i can i mean i probably have four wives i think i could do four this man wants four wives he's going back 500 years what? But you always talk about how traditional roles are outdated. You can do whatever you want. You can be in an open. You could just do anything now. But now the four wives is just oh it's 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 outdated. Or excuse me, it's it's just ancient. Four wives is the way to go. Because if one acts stupid, you can go ahead and get another one. Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah. No guy wants to be a I'm ag I'm against this. I want to be in a duo. I know I'm crazy, right? I've had so many chicks in my life that I realized one at a time is literally the peace of mind I'm looking for. It's scary. I put me on a lie detector and ask me this question, right? Put me on a lie detector and ask me this question. The only people who cannot understand my way of thinking is guys with no DMs. And I'm not saying I never indulged. I fucked up. Bad. And I, man. Most guys that are monogamous are monogamous. Do you want your kids to be short or tall? Well, if they're short, I'm throwing them out with the bathwater. They're going to be like that fucked up looking Spartan, like the betrays Leonidas. What do you mean? If you're not tall as a man, I instantly hate you. I look at you like, because here's what it is. When you talk to a genius, your first feeling you have as a human and philosophers i think schopenhauer talked about this uh, plato a lot of them i don't know if plato talked about this but I, I some greek dude um if you talk to a genius you feel inferior if you talk to a tall guy you feel inferior that's why i don't like short people is because uh they feel inferior talking to taller people you know what i mean and i don't think short people should be able to vote at all because they want to burn the world down right i'm the only tall guy who shares that opinion burn baby burn so then why do you hate tall women i don't hate tall women i'd say that as a joke because there's no such thing as a tall woman like 5'11 isn't that tall compared to me but in my past i've never been with one so you know i just go with what i've gone in my past and i'm like oh i guess i don't like them Men under 5'10 should have no rights. Okay, that's pushing it. Right? They can still, they can still, they can be like, uh, I'm not getting banned. <laughs> uh, this one said, I think tall women are masculine. No, not all of them. Uh, no, no, if, if the perfect woman will always be 5'7. That's the greatest build they could have. But if it's 5'7 skinny, no. 5'7 fat, no. We're talking about five seven fit and genetically spicy. Like they got some curves and shit. Yeah, yeah. RNG says nice. My girlfriend is five seven. You know what? She should come on my podcast. It's RNG. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. But you want tall sons? Yeah, but let's be honest. Like, like. I'm just going to show them so much love that they will grow tall. Like people who didn't grow tall never felt loved. That's the truth. They felt away from God. Right? But the tall people are closer to the heavens. Yeah. Monogamous out of force. 
Have you ever stolen somebody's girl? Nope, never, not even once. That's actually cruel and evil. I've never done that, and I never will. If I lined up 100 dudes and I said, listen, man, you can keep your girlfriend, right, while you simultaneously smash these girls and she's not going to care, he's going to take it every time. Most guys have to kind of concede to what their girl wants. This stupid quote, happy wife, happy life. I think that's the dumbest quote ever. I mean, it's a good quote. Absolutely not. I like that quote. It's not that bad. Why? Because a woman's job is to please the man, not the other way around. A woman's I'm job is to please each other. Women are pleased by being with the best man. See, I hate the anti-trad pill stuff. Sometimes I hate when they talk about, like, multiple. In, in the area. That, the, women are pleased by you being the best. Hey, everyone in this chat needs to start watching Twilight Zone. If you don't want to be the dude with a top hat and a suit and tie that goes like, Honey, I'm home. And she's literally fucking spread out like a crab. Ready to fucking smash. Then, uh then what the fuck do you want out of life if you don't want Twilight Zone? Right? You don't want to light a cigarette in black and white? ...version of yourself. As a man gains more status, success, income, etc., the woman wins. She's, uh, mm -hmm. All his success, she benefits from that. It's not the same. When a woman makes more money, earns more status, etc., and she starts to outgrow her man, she's going to look for a better man. Men and women are not the same. No, but so, women, we are emotional beings. Like, we will stay with Which the man. Which is a problem. They're no, erratic. But, no, but we will stay with the man. Like, if a man loves us and is loyal, we will stay. Really? Is that why women initiate an overwhelming amount of the breakups? Because they're emotional and they're loyal? No. no women are the list, most disloyal creatures that we have. Yeah, but I feel like you're... Comp Which is okay. Yeah, but no, it's not okay. They're going to burn in hell. So do you like the whole sugar... Is it called grilling? Because she just gets her psyche grilled. She just gets reminded every date why she's failing. And people are like, why do you love laughing at women failing, John? I don't love laughing at them in the first month. After five years of them failing, that's when it gets funny. It's like, you're not learning your lesson? It's like if I kept walking through windows. First month, you'd feel bad for me. And then after five years, you'd be like, okay, fuck this guy. Baby kind of lifestyle. Man look after the woman. Uh -huh. That's you. No, not at all. But that sounds like it. Like, not you want to be this provider. So mm -hmm. that sounds like it. Well, here's the thing. But then you moan about women for doing that. So, you know, if you I don't show moan. that you I provide... Accept, I accept that women are, are um, hypergamous creatures that want to get their needs met through men. I accept this reality, and I've accepted it a long time ago. I'm a firm believer that men need to be men. Men, men need to lead. Women follow. Men pay for dates. Men should provide. Men should be breadwinners. I think women working should be elective. I don't think it should be mandatory. This guy is definitely a sugar daddy. I tell guys all the time, go on sugar sites and use them to, to date because there's a lot of girls on there that aren't necessarily, how do I say this, sugar babies that are just looking to be taken care of and paid an allowance. There's a good amount of girls on there that make their own money or, and or just want to deal with a guy that it has his stuff together. Let's be honest, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, these t traditional dating apps, they fail 90 plus percent of men and the stats show that. How you meet a woman matters a lot more than meeting the woman. What I mean by that is that women place a lot of importance in the context under which they meet you. It's my job as a man to not get finessed. Did, did you ever get finessed? Because I find, kind of feel like you run this every girl flag take, so hard. Like, what's, every guy's what's taking the else. I wouldn't be in a position to be able to give this information if I didn't take plenty of else. L listen, he's definitely been finessed before and now he's like, come back with a vengeance. You cannot be in a relationship with a woman without getting finessed, you fucking idiot. Even when your life goes great with them, you're still getting finessed. They're still, if they're dating you, it means they're telling the world, you are better than me. That's why I want you to be publicly mine. That's what they're telling the world. That's why it gets so nasty for them later in life. <laughs> hey, I'll be, it'll be interesting to see what like your experience with London women are. Okay, can I be, they're not as hot as the girls in Miami. I'll just be honest. Yeah. True. Um, you know, but Miami is an anomaly. Like we got the most attractive girls, you know, per capita. Like yeah, and, dude. They remember when people are trying to convince me that LA has the most attractive. We'll go to Rodeo and see some sevens with fucking plastic surgery. And we, I, bro, my stomach was turning on Rodeo. I said, "What the fuck?" Went to Bootsy's nightclub. My stomach was turning. And yeah. Any some place in the world, like if you could compete, like maybe with Colombia, Brazil, etc. But yeah, I mean, Miami's an anomaly. Yeah, British girls are not as hot as Miami girls. I mean, but eh, it is what it is. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I'll, I'll 
try to womanize here and see what happens. But my standards have went up. What he's saying by my, my when he says Miami, he's really just saying Latino. That's what he's saying, not the wild Latino. He's saying that uh, genetic market. That's what he's talking about. Like people don't. A lot of people are just thinking Miami means like fake hoe, but he's talking about like a spicier look. That's what he's saying. And most of them are mixed too. So you can have like... I think most men like Latina girls. I think that's like a no-brainer, right? He says petite over Latina. Well, I'm talking about a petite Latina. So try try that. I think one in the chat if that's what you're into. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? That's not good. That's a good thing. See, it's such a negative term, but womanizers are actually the best guys. Yeah. <laughs> Womanize. I hope you meet some women from South. Really? They know what's a trap. Like, women leak. He, look, right when he says that, she's laughing and loving it. That's not good. That's a good thing. See, it's such a negative term, but womanizers are actually the best guys. Three, two, one, into falling in love with them. Yeah. <laughs> look, at that, look at that. Wasn't that cute? He's like, he's... he's you're leaking, lady. He's winning. Womanize. I hope you meet some woman from South. Really? They know what's attractive. They know how to take her on. Is he wrong? What is your longest relationship? A year and a half, but I knew her in high school, so... Uh, I guess a year and a half. I don't really count the second... Up until the second mark, because I was so fucking degenerate. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was so fucking not in it. And she was so dumb because I was like, I'm going to like become the most popular guy in my city, actually. And she's like, okay, John, you work in sales. Like, you're not going to be shit. And then I became the most popular dude and my Instagram was popping and shit. And she freaked the fuck out. She's like, holy fuck, how did you get every single bitch? I'm like, I decided to be the cool guy now. I'm done gaming. And she freaked the fuck out. And um. Uh, and then she came back, and I'm like, oh, are you coming back now? Are you coming back now that I'm the king? And, but I love Duo so much, I'm like, okay, I'll take you back. And uh, big mistake. But she was cool, you know? Yeah, she kept me from getting stabbed many times. There's so many parties I missed where people hate, some dudes hated me. But she would just pick me up and be like, don't go to that. Let's go back and uh, watch some... Naruto or whatever the fuck I used to do I used to just smoke weed and watch anime when I'm done work and go to her place and uh, and I'd be like <laughs> tying up bags and you know like oh getting my drugs ready and shit and be like my little my little drug dealer face and uh, yeah and she would just never look at the table right because she wouldn't accept that her guy is a drug dealer right because she's like you're above that that's temporary I'm like yeah it's temporary <laughs> And so she wouldn't look at the table. She she hated drugs and stuff. And I would just be like fucking, you know, doing all that <laughs> degenerate shit. And it's weird because Dunkel and people who call me out are like, John is the most degenerate. You know what he did in his past? That's the whole point of my channel. The, the whole point of my channel is how much I've changed. Guys, I hope you meet some women from South. Really? They know what's attractive. They know how to take a girl on a date. They know how to treat a woman well, etc. It's the weirdos that you guys don't want. The womanizers are the ones you guys want. The misogynists. Those guys. True. Yeah. I would argue sexism benefits women. Really? 100%. Why is that? Because with sexism, it adds a whole other standard and a whole other league for women. I mean, if there wasn't sexism, there wouldn't be a WNBA or a female MLS or we wouldn't have different standards for you know, female police officers or female firefighters, etc. I mean, actually in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, female firefighters can fail the test and still get the job versus a man would never be able to do that. I can't think of anything sexist that benefits men, besides maybe being able to sleep with a lot of girls and being respected, but that's tough to do. This is ridiculous. Let's see with those. Great argument. Women. 100%, very difficult. I do agree, like it's a lot harder for men to get sex, but I kind of, I don't understand like why there's so much obsession with like this body count and everything and the double standard. Do you have an it's gross okay that's why when felicia is being a hoe and she pisses you off because she took your lipstick you go oh she's such a fucking hoe she's getting piped by so many guys you do it too you call the bitch a hoe too why the fuck is it weird when we call them right the difference is we can actually have kids with them we've got a reason to call them a hoe. you guys do it all the time
issue that men have an issue with a woman's body count yeah. or do you have an issue with men wanting a lot of sex? A bit of both really because I kind of feel like you get mad okay. if a woman is sleeping with multiple men. Yeah, rightfully but so. But then if you do the same. Men and women aren't the same. Well, how about this? Let's say me and you. It's not that men and women are not the same. It's that they're literal opposites. The psyche is opposite. A male brain is active. A woman brain is passive. A male brain is solar. A woman brain is lunar. Sun and moon. Read Freemasonry and you'll see how obsessed they are with the duality of the masculine and feminine. You'll see how obsessed they are with bringing, uh, deleting that from your conscious mind to damage society and subvert nihilists. they the ruling class is obsessed with this dynamic. This is the only dynamic that exists in humanity or in everything, really, right? With animals, with everything. We're dating, right? Hypothetically. And you find out that I might have done some gay porn in the past to make some money. <laughs> what would happen? Keep it a thousand. Years. What would happen? Yeah. I feel like... You would break up with me. That's the truth. You would leave me. If you found out well because i would assume that you were gay and okay. then i'm your secret to cover up that's a woman's greatest fear the worst thing i've ever seen my friend go through is she found out her man did some stuff with dudes at a party and i've never seen someone need more therapy in my life and she's in um orange county and i've never in my life seen a woman more destroyed it was like whoa you know, she's like, I wish he was cheating with girls. I was like, really? She's like, yeah, it would never have hurt. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, it wouldn't have hurt if I compared it to this. I was like, jeez. Your gay But my identity. past matters, right? No, but it's past. not necessarily like the fact that it's your past that matters. It's just the fact that you aren't being But it was the, it, it was unattractive. That's how men feel about women that have a, a past. Men are interested in a woman's past. Women are interested in a man's future. Body count matters, ladies. If you're a hoe... You are a hoe by definition. And men are not hoes, we are hoe makers. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. So do you, would you not be with a woman for her family background or whatever like that? Because I kind of feel when you do your background check, that those things are really important when you're dating someone because you kind of want to understand their mindset. Yeah, there's always exceptions to the rule, but in general, um, girls that come from broken homes typically tend to have very bad habits. Uh, girls that don't have a father in their life typically tend to have bad habits. Is this all? No, but a majority of women that don't have these things in place typically don't end up being uh, good women in general. They don't have rudimentary basics. Um, or if they have trauma in their life, whatever. You know, trauma destroys women, but it builds men. This guy is insane. Like, I actually think he believes his own bullshit. So as a guy, it's your job to find He's a spitting. girl that isn't... Yeah, he's going to sound terrible. And hopefully don't get cancer from me saying this. Tarnished. Tarnished. Yeah. It's not really fair to say tarnished. Yeah, well, I mean... Because, like, a lot of people do hold themselves accountable and do the work and personal development. Women? Well, yes, we do. So before you want to... Dad, you find it funny. Why does he keep laughing at me? Most girls don't hold them... <laughs> Why is there a thousand people laughing at you? ...themselves accountable whatsoever. Most girls rarely self-approve, if ever. Most girls think, I'm... Whoa, that's so true. ...special. I'm perfect the way that I am. I'm a princess. I deserve the world. And unfortunately, reality kind of... Most women think taking a more hoe-like pick is self-improvement because they got a few more likes. No, self-improvement is that you get a fucking kids and a dog and a man. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm special. I'm perfect the way that I am. I'm a princess. I deserve the world. And unfortunately, reality kind of smacks them in the face because they can't keep a guy long term. They just get used for sex. And once modern women, day women understand that you actually have to compete, you actually have to show up to that job interview for that prestigious law firm in a suit and actually be ready to do the work, you're never going to be able to keep a job. Or well, modern day women are so dumb that they get used by rappers and they brag about being used. Hey, how is this come, dumpster? <laughs> he didn't even know my. He didn't even know my name. He was all fucked up, and yeah, he's itchy. He had every STD, but. I always wonder, I'm like, a rapper? I know if I was a chick, I wouldn't fall for that dumb part. That, that's the dumbest part, right? John, where do I go for advice when my mother and father don't know the truth? The advice is in your gut. You know, your gut gives you bad... Your gut gives you stomach-turning advice because it's true. 
if your if your stomach doesn't like the advice, or excuse me, if you don't like what your gut is telling you, your gut is gut punching you, bro. It's telling you the truth. This chick is fire, though. You need to get out more, bro. Her per, her liberal personality alone makes her a one out of ten. The only thing I disagree with is more than one woman. I enjoy my wife. There's always temptation, but you fight. Oh, my God. Look at hearts in the chat for this dude. Man, imagine she saw you say that. That's You're a king. Arkillo, you're a king, dude. I love that. You walk with God. That devil's temptation ain't shit to you. You be complimenting her behind her back. That's so, that is so base, dude. Sheesh. Don't let us down. In this case, keep a guy. Right. Have you ever suffered with mental health? No, no, thankfully. Really? If I'm going through something, I'm able to just like kind of use it as motivation to. Okay, I don't trust anyone who says that. Anyone who says I've never struggled with mental health, I would say it too because I'm worried how people are like, oh, you're. It turns out you're actually a psychopath, John. You're actually a psychopath. But any man who says to me they haven't struggled with mental health, I go, didn't we just talk about traumas making men? And is it a trauma if you get over it right away? Not really. The trauma is everlasting. That's a bad answer. for. That's Myron's first bad answer. Push myself through that that time period. So how do you deal with it? Through fitness, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's a big one. I was a Division One athlete in college and I rode. It's a very painful sport for anyone that does it. So if you can do a, you know, 2,000 meter race or a 6,000 meter race, then you can deal with a lot of other stuff, you know, like, yeah. yeah. Makes you mentally tough. Mentally tough. Do you what made you realize the real reality we live in? My, my greatest red pill was when the nicest dude in town that I worked with, my best friend, my work best friend, who got me a job, was stabbed to death. And every single drug dealing, dirty bouncer that gets into street fights, every single one of them, we all looked at each other like, whoa, the nice guy stabbed to death? I got his jersey, bro. It's not cap. I'm telling you, the greatest red pill for me was, whoa. There's me, like, <laughs> fighting on the street. And not, that didn't happen to any of the bad guys, all the villains in town. It happened to the, the one that's like, live with his mom, you know, did everything with the parents, business with the parents, everything. Like, the greatest guy in town. And then I kept seeing this, where the nice guy gets fucking skinned alive and i'm thinking to myself that has to be the scariest red pill that to breathe you need to be a shark that's scary dude because then a lot of people just become satanic that was my cope i was like oh i'm just gonna be satanic stupid cope <clears throat> it's actually harder to walk with god than be satanic you know people are like oh he's satanic he went through shit no satanic is cope Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm, almost done. Find that you always have to be tough. Yeah, you can't afford to not be as a man. Because the difference is this. When a woman cries on a man's shoulder, that man doesn't lose attraction and respect for that woman. However, if a man cries on a woman's shoulder, she's inevitably going to lose respect for that man. She might not at that moment. She might be there like, I got you, whatever. But there's something... Uh, revolting from a female perspective there's something attractive about a chick crying because hold on <laughs> hold on hold on let me fix this okay no no it's not i'm not going to talk about that fake news no no here's what i'm trying to say okay that fake news about me being hard it was real news it was just worded fake because just like how she said today, you threw a selfie stick at me and then she changed it to, oh, you just dropped it. 
angrily or some shit. Here's my crush in a bikini in Mexico on top of me being comforted and crying <laughs> doing this against my bod for like 10 minutes straight. So that's why I was stiff. This isn't like me in a suit and tie on the across the room going, yeah, yeah, I want to see more tears. No, it's every time I'm comforting, it would be rubbing action. Okay? It's not like I search up tiered, I go on the hub and go, uh, chicks crying. I don't do that. Another thing, when I have a crush, I like all forms. Angry, crying, all of it. All of it is attractive. So don't ever do that to me. Two, why crying is kind of cute is because I grew up around hookers and strippers who never cried. Ever. <laughs> That's how they talk. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That fucking pussy. That's how they spoke. So I was like, what the fuck? That's a woman? So anytime I saw uh, tears, I was like, oh, it's not a hooker. It's not a stripper. It's not a masculine. That's the only thing that I liked. Anyways. To see their man crying. Now, you might not be someone that's like that, but I've had so many women on my podcast say, I thought I can accept it, but when you cried in front of me, it just changed. No. And, and the reason why is because like there's this visceral like switch in a woman's head. It's like, this guy's crying in front of me, showing weakness. Damn. This guy can't protect me and provide for me, right? Even if it's not true, even if it's like a moment of weakness, it can show something that like, oh, this guy isn't there. Cause like women are designed to look for survival value in men. Men are designed to look for replication value in women. Yeah, I think it's like, I think it's unfair to like completely rule that out. Cause I feel like it's fair for a man to be able to do that. You are allowed to have a moment of weakness. Life isn't fair. But okay, life's not fair. But I think you should be allowed your moment of weakness. And I kind of feel like from a woman's perspective, it will be then how you then deal with that. I think you know, we should end world hunger. I also think that we shouldn't have nuclear weapons geez. and people shouldn't be dying needlessly, etc. But I can't operate in should, couldn't, would. I operate on what is. And what is is that women are inherently unattracted to weak men and crying and showing vulnerability is a component to that. No. So you wouldn't cry in front of me. She doesn't realize that her opinion is 40 years old. That for thousands of years her opinion was wrong. And no, just because it's 2022 doesn't mean the opinion is updated and it's correct. We have the highest purchasing power, but the highest anxiety, depression, and grief. I don't think I trust your liberal opinion of, hey, you can cry on my shoulder and you'll be fine. It's not a trap. It's not drying me up like a cactus. Absolutely not, never. You would never see that. <laughs> have you ever been in love? To a woman? Yeah. <laughs> I've had love for women, but I don't think... Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a man, in a man's best interest to be in love with a woman. Mm. If a man is in love, it's the devil. Period. Point blank every time. Because if love for a man is important, explain the divorce rate. There has to be... You are not with each other for love. Because when you're out of love, you're fucked. You're with each other, so you don't grow old alone or even worse you don't grow you grow old you grow old with someone you don't respect that's even more terrifying actually it's not alone is the worst case for everyone men and women like deep down men's biggest fear is to be alone women too john holy crap you have done too much truth what do you mean too much what i have to turn yeah okay you know what hey it's been great, guys. I've done too much truth today. So I guess I have to turn the fucking stream off because that fucking retard in chat QB. says I'm done. What do you mean too much truth? One in the chat. Join. idiot but I you lose control like, so i feel like um everything from your standpoint on women is gonna change the moment you like meet the right woman <laughs> yeah 
That's cute, but no. I mean, uh, I, I have, <laughs> I've had love for women, but I'm never going to fall in love with a woman. Because what? when you fall in love with a woman, what happens is you start to lose grounding and you start to lose that rational thought. A lot of the stupid things that men do is because of love. Pause. There is no greater feeling than being in love. Just like heroin. That's how dangerous it is for dudes. For women, oh, they're loyal, they raise their kids, it's great. But for men, uh, I think I'll stop going to the gym. I think I'll st I'm think i just going to be a slob. I'm just, baby, baby, I'm 500 pounds and I'm fat. I can't breathe and I'm just so in love. And yes, I'm in love with you. Just stay with me and watch anime. And then your life goes to shit. And then she starts panicking. She goes, this guy can't save me. He can't protect me. Right? That's why anytime you feel like you're falling in love, back to doggy. Always doggy. Get out of that missionaries for cucks, bro. You're not you're not the pope. You're not the missionary, bro. I've never done that. I think I've done that like once or twice in my life. I know why guys do missionaries. Like they date a lot of girls with no ass. Like if you're dating a girl with no ass, that's like dating a fucking What are you doing in life, dude? If they got no ass, what are you doing paying for the bills, buying dinner and shit, right? Her favorite words should be turn around, right? You should know what her ass looks like more than her fucking face, right? When you see her face, you go, oh, it's a foreigner. Like, oh, oh, right, you're my girlfriend. That's how much you should be staring at that ass. You should be surprised when you see the face. You go, did you turn around? Did you start talking to me? What the fuck? I'm not used to this. Like every conversation you should have is with her ass right here. What if it's Zendaya? Yeah, what if it's like the least attractive person on earth, Zendaya? Then then what? Then what? Yeah, I'm not those fucking Zoomers who pretend. <laughs> this is our man's channel. We got hair on our back and ass. <laughs> We're real men here, dude. Right? We're real men. We let our belly hang out when we drink beer here. We don't, we don't care about Zendaya's, okay? We're such real men here that we watch Kim and hate her, but we're like, damn, if I could just have one night. I don't know. <laughs> so you're scared to be vulnerable? No. And it, let yourself go and be in love? Like you're gonna block yourself from like emotion and to feel for something that could be To, really to be out, oh, we beat women in GTA, we are not the same. Look at this gamer, dude. Tipia, what are you doing? Now you have a one year sub badge saying that shit. For you. <clears throat> because you're scared to be vulnerable. No, because I understand that men and women are different, and men love women far differently than women love men. Men love women for real. Women love men. True. Women love men for real. No, they don't. Yeah, no. In my experience, a lot of them would rob a bank or stab someone for me. So I don't know what he means by this. But. Most guys would, like, do anything for their wife. True. Women love men under the premise that they provide value. True. Men love women idealistically. Women tend to love men more from an opportunistic standpoint. Yes. You don't. No. I've, all men, can I just say, all men say they don't, and they actually do. I really don't. You've never done it in your life. No, I, I've done it in my life. So, yes. But the last time I did it was 2014. I remember specifically. What? Yeah. <laughs> 2014, let's go. <laughs> Let me think. I can't remember. I know I have not. I think I've done it once. I've gotten complimented, but I didn't do it all the way. You know what I mean? But I can't remember who, so maybe it didn't happen. I'm not even trying to look cool. Yeah, never again. Why? Female vaginas are disgusting. <laughs> here, here, here's the real answer, all right? I'll give, <laughs> I'll give you something. No, there's some beautiful ones. Eh, eh, well, I get what he's saying. I've said this on podcast, but I'm not trying to like... <laughs> I'm not going to double down because... Uh, some look pretty, you know, those girlfriends that I've had is like, oh, you look nice. But he's right about that. Um, if you eat the box, let me ask you something. How many men who went through divorces ate the box? 
Like, really think about it. Yeah, women don't care. They don't care. Matter of fact, most drug dealers who just get head keep their wives. Like, dirty, rotten men keep their wives. But box eaters don't keep them. They're just renting. No, no, no. Do you eat vagina? Exactly. <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> How can you not love this man? <laughs> Look at her. Look at her, bro. Oh my god, Joe Toe Rogan. Look at her. I don't know. You eat vagina? <laughs> oh, look at her face. I knew he'd do better than everyone else. I called it again. Yeah. No, how do I change this fucking filter? Always gotta be the funny guy. You don't? No. I've, all men, can I just say, all men say they don't, and they actually do. I really don't. You've never done it in your life? No, I, I've done it in my life. So yes. But the last time I did it was 2014. I remember specifically. What? Yeah, never again. Why? Female vaginas are disgusting. No, they're not. Do you eat vagina? Exactly. Point proven. <laughs> now, chat, would you eat it up if it was a, they had their V-card, and you have them for life? Like, no other people interrupt your relationship. Like, you, you, you know you're going through the gates of heaven with her. Would you eat that? Still no, right? You don't have to be as extreme as me. I'm not punishing right now. I'm not punishing anyone. Okay, we got some yeses. Still think it's feminine, right? It's like if you spend too much time on a titty. A little feminine, you know. Like get get the business, bro. Right? Like your only obligation is to uh be like Santa Claus in her ear. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! You want a white Christmas, young lady? That's your only job, right? So then she goes, "Damn, that last guy was Santa. This new guy can't do it. Oh, this guy's voice sucks." Ho ho ho! RP Santa. No point proven. <laughs> you don't do it. Why should I do it? Listen, a woman's body is beautiful. For me, what I don't understand is like why it's such a stern no, because why wouldn't you want to please your woman? Because if they can literally get pleased by a fucking vibrating remote. Okay. They can get pleased in a billion different ways. The one way where I'm submissive is retarded. Right?
No, the max you can do is kiss her there. I don't even recommend that because it opens portals. Demons come out of there. You know, because have you not ever like seen... Like I said before, it's a woman's job to please a man, not the other way around. No, that is actually ridiculous. When it comes to being intimate and in the bedroom, it's not. It's like, when, when, when you do something for someone, have you not seen how... And they like it. Have you not seen how much they perform better? And I'm not just talking sexually, like in general. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but a woman's ejaculation is irrelevant. You <laughs> Gotta love Myron. Wow, that's so based. Only need one ejaculation to create life, and that's the man's. Now, with that said, does that mean I'm not gonna please my girl or whatever? Of course I will, but it's elective. Definitely shit in bed. Just like a woman's, you know, duty to go to work is elective, my duty to please her sexually is elective. That's ridiculous. How's that ridiculous? Because, oh, no. Just... Oh, you know what? How about this? With that logic, I'm just gonna stop paying the bills. Okay. That would be ridiculous. I'll have to go be? work then. Huh? I'll have to go and work then and start paying the bills. Hey, well, and then you'd lose attraction for me, wouldn't you? Mm. So just, I, what a liar. Just don't understand why, like, just, I feel, if you... You know, her stupidity makes her a little redeemable. Like, it's kind of cute. <laughs> like, her copes are like, mm. I don't want to think, I don't want to spend too much time on that thought. Because I'm, I'm losing every part of this argument. If you started doing it, you might have a better, like, relationship. Well, no. I, women I mean, might not, the woman remember, might, your woman might not like it, but I'm just saying, from a standpoint, I don't understand well, why. Arthur Schopenhauer, one this great mind, said, I've come to the conclusion that women go their whole lives never, ever leaving the infant mindset. And this guy, this guy inspired Nietzsche. Like, this guy is no fucking, he's no schmuck. <laughs> Who is this guy? Why did he say that? And why did all these philosophers agree with him? I don't know. Maybe I'm not ready to challenge that guy. Like if that guy went live today, Jordan Peterson wouldn't debate him. Nobody would. Why you have to constantly dominate even in this scenario. Like having sex is an intimate thing. It's an energy exchange. Energy exchange. <sighs> More typical female gibberish. Like, bro, yeah. energy exchange. What the hell, bro? What's funny is she's kind of right. When you read Masonic literature, it is an energy exchange, but 99% of the time, it's a guy taking from her. Every time a dude's inside, he's taking from you. He's taking something from you, right? He's soul damaging. And remember, I say this even if I, in the future, engage in it. I'm not saying I'm above it. I'd say I'd, I'm degenerating, right? So a lot of people are like, well, John, do you remember when you said this on stream, but then you, you, you went and did blah, blah, blah? If I ever degenerate after years and years and just, you know, snap into like some liberal one night stand, not one night stand, but you know what I mean? Like I'd, I'd know them for sure. I would definitely talk about it live, right? But I'd still say I was taking something. Yeah, everyone I've been with, I took something from them, 100%. Get out of here with that. It's a really beautiful thing. So why would you not want to make her feel good? Most women get off on you getting off. That's the Based as fuck. Have you ever seen the panic in their eyes when you don't nut? They start fucking crying and why didn't you nut? Why? 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 And you're like this. Because we just smashed hours ago. I don't want to nut again. I'm done, bro. It hurts. You're training me, bro. <laughs> And they, chicks need to understand if he's shooting nine fucking loads ish, 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 uh, 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 on your face, then the next time he smashes, it's going to hurt him. He's not shooting like some guys sprinkle out. They go, uh, and some guys go, and then some guys go, pew, 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 pew. yeah, that guy who's shooting a bunch, the fertile dude, this guy, it hurts. We shot a lot. The truth. Mm. <laughs> if we're going to be all the way about this. No, 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 no. Women <laughs> thought that. No, no. Women used to think that through porn. Really? Through everything. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. But that, and this is what I'm saying. But women have started pleasuring ourselves, doing things. And so now we know how nice certain things feel. And women so are more miserable now than ever before. True. <laughs> Destroyed. Check this out. It always goes back to the serpent and the apple of sex. Look at this shit. Black Pope. Look at these searches. Uh, hold on. I don't know if I can search this up without getting banned, though. Spare. I'm going to show this quickly. Yeah, you can show this. Look at this, chat. It's a serpent again. 
They always show a serpent, my dude. Every single time. Look at it. It's a serpent. It goes back to the Bible. Every single time. The double helix, everything. No, it's educational. You don't get banned for educational. It's the serpent and the egg, yeah. Now. Women derive their pleasure from serving a man they love, admire, and respect, and their children. I provide. So then you got to provide the ejaculations. Well, how dumb is that? It's a SP. Oh, look at this, bro. World Health Organization. Again, it's the biblical serpent. And Moses raises the serpent on the staff. It's in everything, dude. The serpent is everywhere. Uh, health symbol. There is the kundalini chakras, right? The seven planets, the solar planets, right? The seven wandering stars, right? The seven up, the seventh letter, the G for God, the grand architect or whatever these masons call them, right? The seven chakras that they enter right up into their penile, penile gland when they achieve these psychic states, look at their symbols. It's not chemistry, it's... It's not chemical, it's alchem alchemical. It's alchemy, right? Yeah, Staff of Hermes, the Caduceus. It's always linked to the Abrahamic religions every single time for everything. Billion dollar industries, zillion dollar industries like Vatican. Don't be fooled, bro. This is not just to be cute. Yes, I'm trying to say big pharma, pharmaceutical companies, they know what they're doing. They're evil. The top knows it's evil, dude. They don't sell you cures. Man, I mean, I don't know what's so hard to, uh, to get about I've this. had to work out if you're being serious or you're actually like playing I'm, a game I'm with dead me. Serious. A guy getting his girl off is elective. They should do it, but they don't have to. Just like I think a man has to work. And his woman okay, we'll just do to. it and then just see what you get different results. See, in Freemasonry, it's different. In Freemasonry, you never are supposed to bust. So they can bust a bunch, the chicks, because you're just ramming, ramming, ramming. And like Kevin Samuel said, speak to them, sing to them, man. Right? Kevin Samuel said a lot of guys have trouble because they don't talk to them as they're ramming, <laughs> which is kind of awkward in the silence. People are just awkward nowadays, man. There's no play. But check this out. Um, you, you're not supposed to release it, that electric, that electricity. That's what Masonic literature teaches about how humanity once was. Not that it's satanic or anything, but how humans are designed. They're not supposed to like, uh, 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 unless they want kids, which is crazy. Then you have to just kind of always be frustrated and angry and I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Also, another thing, all that blood magic ritual and the Balenciaga stuff, sperm and semen is blood plasma. It's a Masonic. It's not, a, excuse me, it's a blood magic ritual. When you shoot up on someone's face, oh, you better care for that person. If you're doing those kind of rituals, it's not good. I, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not, and, if that and if that's what she like, needs to get off, well, too bad. I'm not doing it. Oh. Yeah, because that's a submissive thing too. That, like, I'm not... What is your issue with men submitting to women? Like genuinely, I feel like this is a big issue of yours. It's ugly. It's never cool, right? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, no, but I'm saying, but in, I'm just saying, don't go into, don't, don't. Go into what? Don't go into it because you're about go to go what? into it. I'm just saying, <laughs> genuinely, you have such an issue with just. You don't like when men. I use your logic on you. He has definitely got some issues. No, I just don't like the fact that... They always go back to being like uh, kindergartners. I have no argument, so he has so many issues. He has so many issues. He definitely is crazy. It's like, what are we, in grade school? Can I use your logic on you? He has definitely got some issues. That's literally what my nephew says about me. No, I just don't like the fact that you... It's this power dominating thing that you Bro, I can't wait till I'm on this episode so I just flip the fucking table and I go yeah that's right you're wrong I'm right I just start flipping tables and shit I go viral and then I make an apology video I, go, I didn't mean to flip her table I uh I definitely don't have anger issues when I did 400 million views and PewDiePie reacted to it 
I definitely regret all that. <laughs> right. Or I'll just say I had a, I had Tourette's. <laughs> Are you making fun of me because I have Tourette's? Are you serious, lady? Want as a man, like yes, you can have it, but just in some situations, just know when to also submit as a man and surrender. Not every day, masculine man. No, Glad you find it funny. Absolutely not. We will not. Con we don't negotiate with terrorists. We don't concede to women. So women have been dogs, terrorists. <laughs> What's the, um, the relationship like? Yeah, right. Women, Mohammed Atta, they can't even be terrorists if they wanted to, right? Is Mo, Mo and Chad? I don't understand that between the serpent and symbol and sperm. Well, it's not a connection between them. I'm saying everything. Like, biting from the apple is really talking about sexuality, right? That's what it's talking about. Um, because when you were innocent as a child, you didn't care for that stuff. And now you can really damage lives. You can have a girlfriend. You can have a wife. You can have a divorce. You can ruin souls, Right? Because you engaged in that act. So you're biting from the apple. It always is linked to the Bible. I'm saying even the stuff you shoot. You know how everyone says, oh, well, God designed it that way. No, God designed Adam and Eve. This is fallen from grace. This is the lowest form. We're the divided form. We are not just in a fallen state. There's nowhere lower to go besides hell. You understand? All these people who think you, they live in a great life and that God just designed everything for fun, that's not true. Right? Think of your struggle. What is your opinion on the black sun? Yes, that's under the earth. I mean, black sun charges all the solar pathways of Satanism, all the Mars, Jupiter, whatever, Saturn. And um, it was definitely used with the Vril Society, Hitler, and all those guys. Used throughout history, right? Black sun, solar magic. And um, yeah, no, it's real. It's not, it's like confirmed real. But um, I've seen a lot of channels fuck it up. Uh, it's real as in there's very little information on it. If, they, if you know too much about that, it's fake news. Uh, was it as of Battalion 2? They were doing a blood magic <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what the black hole is, the black sun, right? The darkest part of hell, right? And remember, the darkest part of hell is cold. It's frozen. It's very cold, right? The burning that you see e-girls in, that's a different one. <laughs> like with the women in your life, like family-wise. Fantastic. It's actually my mom that taught me a lot of the. I grew up in a Muslim household, so she was the one that told me, don't commit to these Western women, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Um Based so my mom. mom is actually like a very strong... Do you, you'll never meet anyone better than a Muslim mom. A Muslim mom is 10 out of 10 mother. That, and I'm saying this with Jesus in my heart. Nobody compares. Like I grew up around this, friends, blah, blah, blah. And it's like they live in a constant fear of liberalism. And it's so beautiful to see. Right. And and they have a hatred for it even more than some of the dads. Some of the dads become liberalized where they start making more money, hanging out with their like white friends at work. And they start to kind of like become a little watered down. But the moms, they stick to tradition like it's the only thing they have. It's so nice to see. It's so beautiful to see. And um, and I'm not those regular Christians who think, oh, 1950s is the best way of life. No, every woman should be in a headscarf like Mother Teresa. That's how Christians used to be, actually. Um, it's not just a Muslim thing. Uh, modesty is, how you say, godly, right? Modesty is the only thing you can have as a woman, right? <clears throat> um, symbol in my life when it comes to navigating uh, the situation. If it weren't for her, I'd probably be a simp. You know, really? um, yeah, I mean, I grew up in a, but my parents are together to this day. My man, uh, my, my dad, <laughs> my dad was the man. My mom was the woman. My dad led, my mom followed. And, you know, they, they have a fantastic relationship. And uh, a big part of that is because they, they, you know, stuck to their roles. And it was my mom that told me from a young age, don't, don't marry these American women, these Western women. They're not going to cook and clean for you. They're not going to, um, you're not going <laughs> to, my mom said, they're going to take care of you. You're going to come to the home. It's going to be disheveled, blah, blah, blah. And I used to think to myself, like, mom, chill, what's wrong with you?
But as now that I'm 32 versus being 12, 20 years later, I'm able to look back on that advice and be like, God damn, mom was spending some heat back in the day. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So it's understandable why it's like you think the way that you think because of your environment and your influence. Yeah. Moms in general are just great people, right? You could come, you could show them a video of you covered in blood after a street fight. And your dad could be freaking out and calling you a degenerate and that you're going to be a criminal. You're going to go in jail. And your mom will just be like, he made a mistake. Stop. <laughs> he keeps making these street fight mistakes. <laughs> he made a mistake is all. Which is, which is a good thing for you. My, my background, right? Like I, I didn't, like at first it was like, okay. It's funny, you know my dad? We'll talk so much shit with my mom. Like, they'll argue so much. But the second she le she would leave the house, he turned to all three of us and be like, you have no idea what your mom has sacrificed for you three. You ungrateful brats. You have no idea what she's gone through. And we're like, bro, we're playing Mario Kart, bro. <laughs> Where is this coming from? It was, it was crazy. It was like always putting in my head that I owe them like a yacht and I owe them a lot of good stuff. Right. <clears throat> okay, I don't agree with this, right? Because I used to be like, you know. Or cooking, right? If I ever insulted my mom's cooking like as like a joke or something, my dad would just give up. He'd be like, I'm done. He'd get up off the table. It would be the greatest insult on earth. He would go eat your fucking McDonald's, you piece of shit. And it would be like this whole fucking, it would be a whole episode. So I was like, okay, you can't insult the cooking, right? But, yeah. Growing up, growing up American, you I was born in Connecticut. Wrong. I was like, Mom, you're wrong. Like, women aren't like that. What's wrong with you? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you're, you're a misogynist, Mom. And you got some ingrained misogyny, right? <laughs> you even said that. Like, no, no, no. But back then, I don't even think I knew what that word <laughs> yeah. was. Uh, you know, my favorite thing is as, like, soft as my parents are, they'd always look at me and be like, you're going to marry a whore. <laughs> my mom's never sworn. I've never heard her say a swear word. But my dad would say it, and uh, my mom would just nod her head, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, they're like, they're serious about that. They're like, look at the society you're in. Uh, that's like a buzz term nowadays that no one knows the definition of anyway. But anyway, um, so as I got older, right, like, the things that she started to say started to reflect more and more when I dealt with more and more girls. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? And talking with other men, talking with, you know, with women, etc. my experiences, like, and then talking with thousands of men, and then also talking with, I'm in a very unique position where I've talked to both, both genders on, on a podcast, coaching sessions, etc. So I'm in a, you know, very certain situation where I'm able to get anecdotal evidence. I have stati statistics, etc. to back up what I'm saying. And I would say my approach to dealing with women, dating, relationships, sex, etc. is a very pragmatic way to approach the dating marketplace based on today's scenarios. Would this dating advice work in the 1950s? Maybe not, because women were different back then. But nowadays, they're, signi they're significantly different. Like, from a more negative standpoint, not to a man's benefit. Over thir a a okay. Right, it's yes or no. That's a hell no. Unacceptable, disgusting, would never wipe that girl up. Recreational use only, guys. Why a hell no? So what's yours? What's my body count? Oof. What's the uh, the term in England when you don't want to when you want to invoke the Fifth Amendment but you can't? No comment. No comment. There we go. So no comment. So <laughs> is yours over two hundred? Easily. Yes. Three hundred. I use that three hundred. I bet you only. Yours is a lot more. Sparta. Wow, and you want to? Yours is over <laughs> three hundred, and you want to get mad at thirty. <laughs> this this isn't even a double standard anymore. What like, what, what people don't understand is. <clears throat> When people don't believe someone's at a 300 body count, uh, you don't understand how much catch up you can play. Like men who are like, man, I'm 32, John. I'll never do that. I'm trying to do some degenerate shit and have like my body count up. You can get that within two years. Most men who got high body counts like that, they play catch up. They don't start at 19 and do it for 10 years. They do it in two years very quickly. So <laughs> he schedules it. He's a YouTuber, right? Like his whole thing is about women on his thing. He's just taking it too far. 
I think it's more attractive if a man doesn't, because if you can... <laughs> no, it is. Like, if you can show discipline, uh, why are you laughing? Yeah. No, because if, if for me, it shows, like, self-control and discipline. Most men, if left to their own devices, want to have sex with as many women as possible. True. Men are designed to spread seed. Don't we want die. quantity. Women are designed to protect their egg for the best seed. Women want quality. We're very different. <sighs> Do you think you're liked as a person? That's a good question. That's a very, very good question. And my thing is, create a legacy so that whether they like you or not, they respect you. Yeah. That's what I care about. I don't care if people like me or not. Because I'll tell you this, there's plenty of girls that I've had sex with that didn't like me, but they respected me. Because women must respect you to fuck you. Yeah. Um, yes and no. So why wouldn't you? Because I'm the man. You were attracted yeah. to me in the first place because of my lifestyle. I'm not going to change who I am because of a woman. When a man changes for a woman, he grows into something she's going to have contempt for. When a woman changes for a man, she'll grow into something he'll love. That's, that's how I got that. you in the first place. Why would I change? And that's the biggest mistake that guys make is they get in a relationship, they get comfortable, they get fat, they lose their ambition. I got her, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And that woman starts to lose what? Respect for him. Mm -hmm. How have the Masons created this whole culture? Yeah, I forget which book is a mystic masonry. Man, I forget. I should really... I'm sorry for this, but I forget which book they talk about. I'll find it. I know I'll find it because I have to go through it anyway. There's this book where they talk about um, the, so they'll talk about an astral plane. They'll talk about a spiritual plane. They'll talk about a masculine plane and a feminine plane. And these are kind of modes, right? And then everyone has masculine and feminine in them. And your job is like to balance it out. But really, in today's society, you need to just max out, you know, your side. Because everything's trying to take you away from it. But they talk about how to subvert a society through making them believe masculine and feminine doesn't exist. And uh, it's actually interesting. I didn't think it's that powerful. I used to think it's like, eh, it's not a big deal. But no, it's a type of psychological warfare. When a woman changes for a man, he gains more respect for her. Mm. Men and women are so different, aren't they? They are. When you're changing for a woman, that inevitably puts her in a leadership role. And when a woman's... Go back 30 seconds, what? Is respect you to fuck you. Yeah. Um, yes and no. So why wouldn't you? Because I'm the man. You were attracted yeah. to me in the first place because of my lifestyle. I'm not going to change who I am because of a woman. When a man changes for a woman, he grows into something she's going to have contempt for. When a woman changes for a man, she'll grow into something he'll love. That's how I got you in the first place. Why would I change? And that's the biggest mistake that guys make is they get in a relationship, they get comfortable, so they get based. fat, they lose their ambition. I got her, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And that woman starts to lose what? Respect for him. Mm -hmm. When a woman changes for a man, he gains more respect for her. Mm. Men and women are so different, aren't they? They are. When you're changing for a woman, that inevitably puts her in a leadership role. And when a woman's in a leadership role, she's going to lead you all right to the end of the relationship. <laughs> Test him. Yeah. No, why not? I'm not going to let a girl look at my phone. Why? Because I'm going to have other girls in there. 100%. The thing is, is that most women can't handle the truth. So I'm going to be, I'm very big on like being upfront and letting her know, listen, I'm going to have other girls, whatever it may be, but you're the main one. And she's got to accept that. But her looking at my phone is just going to hurt her feelings. So you want an open relationship? Yeah, open on mine, close on her end. Just, that's not fair though. Life isn't fair. I don't know, I just kind of feel like the kind of relationship that I want isn't that. What if I told you women don't know what they want in general? Some don't. Most don't. Some. This has been statistically proven that women don't know okay. what they want. Cool, in your little incel culture podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> women don't know what they want and worse yet, they're not going to be honest about what they want. But you can literally teach them what they want. You could say, F, 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 and she'll turn into a furry. Like, oh, I kind of like that play. Can we do more of that? You can teach them and get into stuff. You know, you can never teach me that. It's like stop barking. You know, it's not meowing. Yeah. Because of strict societal standards, where they don't want to look like hoes. Yeah, because you guys call women hoes. Rightfully so. Not rightfully so. No, you call your girlfriends hoes when they piss you off, and you know about their personal history. What, why can we why call can't guys a, bums, but we but can't call girls hoes? Why can't a woman just like be sexually liberated? Genuinely, why does she have to be a hoe? <laughs> okay, do you want to be a hoe? I don't really care what you... 
<laughs> you think if you're gonna say I'm a hoe? No, and, and, it, but I, but I'm saying. No, I'm asking you. I'm not, I don't really. I don't I'm really, not attacking you. I'm asking you this as a question. I don't want to be labeled a hoe for what you guys paint as but, a hoe. Well, let's peel a layer back. Do you want to go out and have sex with a bunch of different men at the no. same time? Why would I want to do that? Okay. You want to hear something magical? Most oh. women don't want to do that. Most mm -hmm. girls don't even want to be hoes yet. Girls argue and, you know, debate to be hoes. Am I liberated yet? Am I liberated? Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Am I liberated? <laughs> almost done, baby girl. You're almost liberated. Just a few more dudes. Am I liberated yet? <laughs> Oh my god, how did people not go to a club and see the classy, rich wife just being classy? And she's like, got a ring, and she goes, mm, don't talk to me, my husband's right there, he'll beat you up. How do they not want to be that one? Everyone in the club wants to be that one. Yeah, I don't get it. I would watch it and I'd be like, I'd be at the club and I'd be like, how come nobody models them, their lives around the winners? Why do people follow, like, the losers in the club. I don't get that. Be hoes. I don't get it. They don't even want to be hoes. We don't, but it's just kind of, it's just a double standard. We don't want you to... Wham, wham, wham? Sorry? There's a, wham, are we going to cry? Like, I mean, there's a bunch of double standards no, that I'm don't benefit men. I'm just saying, so I feel like this hyper-independence liberation like movement is because we're just sick of men like you that want to just attack women for being able to do something that you guys are doing just as much. I'm not attacking. I'm reporting No, but I'm fact. saying in general, like... I'm reporting a fact. If a woman is promiscuous, she is by definition a hoe. Okay. And you, sleeping around? I am a homemaker. Right. Homemaker. You're just an idiot. Men can't be hoes. Okay. Men that have sex with a lot of women are successful. In your eyes, as men, this is the thing. It's like this brotherhood thing. It's you guys. It's Incorrect. you. Okay. okay, let's okay. go back to biology. Okay. No, no, we're not going to keep going back to biology, actually. <laughs> because no, we're not. That's where it all no, stems from. Why does he keep going back to biology? We're not in a science lesson. So, what would you do if I was going on holiday every other month? Like, You'd be single. Really? <laughs> this fucking guy. Yes. <coughs> I love him. How can you not love him? Hell yeah. One party, one Halloween party, and throw it all in, in, in embers and flames. Hell yeah. Marry the red pill. Are we going together? You're going Sometimes. by yourself. Sometimes. Oh no, you'd be single. What would you do if I couldn't cook? You'd be single. Can you cook? That's irrelevant. No, can you cook though? I mean, can you fight? <laughs> oh my god, I wonder if she thinks she's winning. Jeez. Let's exactly, let's ask pointless questions. How is it a pointless question? Because I'm trying to get how is she not getting it? No, you. Because that's your job. What's my job? To make sandwiches. Did he actually just say, my job is to make sandwiches? You said his job was to fight. How am I going to fight off the intruders if you don't make sandwiches? I need sustenance. <laughs> You're a dick. What would you do if I earned more money than you? It would never happen. How do you know that? Because no girl's going to match my ambition or drive. I'm the only way you'll have more money than him is if you're as smart as evil Hillary Clinton and masculine like her. Or OnlyFans Ho. There's two paths, and both of them end up with no husband. Or a Bill Clinton. <laughs> Quite an ambitious woman. LOL. That's cute, but it would never happen. He said LOL. I earned more money than you. It would never happen. How do you know that? Because no girl's going to match my ambition or drive. I'm You're... quite an ambitious woman. LOL. That's cute, but it would never happen. Men build the world for real. Uh, like, why, why is the girl always about, like, being on top, firstly? Well, missionary is a fantastic position, first of all. And other... Get the fuck out of here now. Blasphemy. Get out. You're done. Those who don't... Those who don't do it from the back, take it in the back. That's crazy, dude. The reason why men have to be on top is because that's the only thing women respect. There's so many people that just like a nice, quiet, humble life. Here's the thing. All women, a majority, you know what? Stop saying all women as well. Okay, now that you said that. All women want a guy that's better than them. 
Why do you get annoyed and so frustrated about men that are simps? They're giving women that don't deserve attention and validation, <coughs> attention and validation, and messing up for everybody. It's nice when you have men that are attentive to your needs. By you being successful and being the man that she wants in general, you're already attentive to her needs. What would you do if your family didn't like me? Too bad. I've made, you know, mistakes in Islamic culture, but my parents trust my judgment and they would accept it. What would you do if I had a lot of male friends? A girl that has a lot of guy friends is a problem. That's a Whoa. A liability. Male friends, big red flag. If a girl has a bunch of male friends and she's not willing to give that up to be with you, for the streets. And another thing, if they got a bunch of male friends, notice how they're always, the chick that has a bunch of male friends is always ugly. Maxing mid. Look closely at the bombshells. They're just with chicks. Just look closely, dude. I'm telling you. You're, you're fogged. Women value a man that has social proof. Men don't care about a woman's social proof. When you have friends, it's a liability. When I have the friends, it's social proof. It makes me more attractive. It makes you less attractive. What would you do if your friends were liking my pictures? I don't associate with men that can't attract women. All my friends are good with women. And there's a bunch of reasons for this, but you can't hang out with simps. You can't have friends that are thirsty for women. True. Yeah, simps mess everything up, but it makes it better for guys like us, man. We just come in and it is what it is. We clean up. Anytime a woman is the focal of a man's life, it's a problem. Remember when I was going to do a PSYOP channel called Blue Pill Zerka that just spreads blue pill messaging and makes tons of money being Hassan Biker just so I could have more chicks for myself? <laughs> like if we went full blue pill and got millions of views spreading the good blue pill word, the blue pill commandments, our lives would be crazy good, dude. It's satanic, though. You're destroying a lot of people that way. No. 100%. And the only way a man can give a woman the best life is when she's not the focus. I don't think so. Exhausting, though, right? Well, there's nothing more exhausting than being red pill. Bro, red pill means you throw away a loyal girl that you're having fun with because she went to one party. That's exhausting. That red pill is way more exhausting than blue. But red red comes with respect, and respect's better than money. You know, like, oh, Circle's in the room. You know, not, oh, DJ Khaled's fat ass is in the room. Well, that's easy for you to say as a woman. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? You're serious? Yeah. You'd be single. Why would I be single? Because I'm not going to have my girl out there on the internet showing her butthole for three ninety nine. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. So many people in my chat hated Myron. I'm like, do you still hate him or is he funny as hell? Your girl wants to do OnlyFans? Bro, you ain't got a girl. You got a 304. To the streets she shall return, I'm telling you, or else your life is going to suck. Yes. But what if I just wanted to make my own money? Can't do it uh, being my assistant or some, something else. Uh, your assistant, an actual paid assistant. Yeah, paid by penis. <laughs> you're getting everything else. You get the lifestyle, you're living for free. That's exactly what I'm going to do with my wife. I'm just going to give her a paycheck. And she's going to be a tax write-off, right? <laughs> be like, here's your paycheck, right? Don't, don't ever do no whole shit. <laughs> Traveling the world, whatever it may be, so you get the title of my last name. It's a W for you all the way. You get seen in public with me. His ego is through the roof. Through the roof. <laughs> Grilling of who? How do you think you've done on the date? <laughs> <laughs> I thought wait, this was supposed to be a date. Yes. Oh, would you like me to be more submissive? Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> would that would that make you feel better? It would, but it's okay. It was a debate. It's fine. Really? So next time, if if you want to date a debate so, date. So if debate a woman date. wants to date you, yeah. she just has to come being a pick me. I mean, giving a man what he wants, there's nothing wrong with that. No, of course not. You're expecting a masculine man that's a leader, ambitious, etc. So I expect a woman that's feminine and submissive. I don't understand why it's a crime for a man to want a woman to the opposite of him when women. You know what's scary is that women think giving the guy what he wants means he just wants more and more and he just starts using you. And Actually, most of them reward you. You know, they're pretty fair people. They don't just start steamrolling you and shit. Most of them just reward the behavior. They go, oh, wow, you're so sweet. I think I'm going to take you here, buy you this, blah, blah, blah. Women want the opposite of themselves. Being toxically masculine is bad, but that's what women really want. So if, if I surrender and be more submissive... It'll make you way more attractive. Really? Holy shit. Yes. Okay. I would take you on a serious date if you were submissive. Oh, wow. Yes. 
say we're just gonna <laughs> but it's kind of too late because if they're submissive for one year of their life you gotta ask yourself what about the other 32 years or 35 years you know is this like why don't i just get a real sub why am i getting someone trying hard <laughs> to be something they're not is this part where we cut the camera no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> that, keep it wrong, Luke, <laughs> exhausting that was heavy it was fantastic i won the debate yeah, you think she <laughs> I think she respects me. This just turned into a debate, and this is the problem. Like, he doesn't let me just challenge him and not every day argue, you know? I don't feel like I grilled at all. Like I said, I'm a professional when it comes to deciphering womanese. And um, I do this all the time. I'm a professional womanizer slash misogynist, so this is what I do. <laughs> I know he's got some deep-rooted issues that he needs to work on, because right now he's projecting it into society in the wrong way. Hmm. Well, I'm not delusional. So I'm going to say a 10 out of 10. Once again, this is the kind of breeder man that I will not entertain. He believes in what he wants and he probably does get women because of his bullshit that he spills. So that's on him. But for me, it's a no. So he's going to get a 3.2. Wait, Sneeko was on this show? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. I'm not going to let a girl look at my phone. Uh, who's someone we know, though? You guys like that? Ed Matthews? Who's this? Who's the best guy to have here? Have you ever cheated? <laughs> Uh, why, why are you stopping? Wait, no. What? Watch Nick and Alex Jones. Is that real? Alex Jones, Nick. Where? That's... so forth so is there any kind of conspiracy theory that you believe in no i don't know i don't <laughs> i always I, I don't even know if i believe in this conspiracy theories like uh flat earth and all this kind of things i'm not interested in... <laughs> not interested elmi you're a flat earth muslim man who says the quran talks about it being flat just like the bible and all the books there's no way you like him after he laughs at this them uh do you know that yeah i'm not really to be honest with you i don't know you can you can give a wink you know if you know, you know i say it out loud just you know, give me the, give us a signal if you if there's any, <laughs> any conspiracy theories that you believe in uh, yeah. only one, only one. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah i i believe in a lot of conspiracy theories so i would like uh, to see the you know the you know not even the evidence i'd like to see some videos like you know about it and stuff Oh, JFK, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, any, like that. any conspiracy theory, not just... Yeah, yeah probably, uh, yeah. A lot of them probably elites. do. But <laughs> a I, lot it's of just them. speculation for me. I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't even... Is the Earth really flat, not trolling? I don't know, is it? This half-Earth, and then you have this moon that doesn't have the same exact compression articles around it, Yet, the little light square that you see here would fit perfectly. Uh, module, uh, when I was uh, at the home of the... He's camera. the junk. Let me just say it that way. You're the junk. For meteorites. Okay. Shutters are closed. The windows are protected. These things from the outside? No. Turning a knob. No. O-ring type seals. No, you don't. With a rotating check. All our hatch seals are O-ring type seals. Yeah, but how... Uh, 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 my uh, my brain. Stuff here. Let, let's go inside. We rings in here and a shaft that you rotate. So, it, I mean, like on the space station, how many of these would you have? Uh, seven, because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. Yeah.
you just have a leak. And, 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 and what you would do you is lose air. Yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off. And then uh, there's probably a plan. I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan for replacing the, the mechanism. Might require. So my question is, how can you operate a lid on the outside of the space station by manipulating something mechanical on the inside of the space station without losing air pressure? It's, it's called real good engineering. Now, please watch the interview. Все повесли герои на Советский Союз и можем довер вам. Герои Советского Союза мы можем верить вам. Вы знаете, вот сказал, что вроде части космонавтов, что они не говорят о том космосе. А им говорить нечего. Я об этом не знаю. Как космонавты договорят за два года стало в космосе? Те просто не знают ничто. They've never been to space. That's an astronaut saying that. Oh my God! Look at this guy. Tak jak oczekują oni. Earth is flat, as some expect. Nie spodziewałem się, co prawda, tego pytania, ale zapewniam pana, że jest... But there's a code of honor where they can't leak stuff. Maska. Generał Mirosław Hermaszewski, jak dotąd pierwszy i ostatni Polak, który odbył lot orbitalny. Dziękuję serdecznie za rozmowę. Dzięki. Dziękuję, kłaniam się. Jest płaska. Tak jak oczekują oni. Nie spodziewałem what do you think of the ancient Greeks who proved the earth was flat, was round? Yeah, the sticks in the ground, <laughs> that's your proof? That's already been debunked? Aristotle's experiment? Fucking retard. You know we have cameras now, you idiot. Look at, look at SpaceX. Looking down. This is SpaceX, bro. This is 10 million people said this is real. Three minutes and counting? Look at this. Below on the landing pad in Boca Chica. When I recorded this, I recorded it with the channel to show you guys I didn't edit it. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Look at this. CGI. Like they shoot real rockets, but they go fucking nowhere. Then they use CGI to like look at the rockets. The only thing that's been to space is your imagination. There's a dome. There is no such thing as space. They launch into the Bermuda Triangle. That's why all rocket tests are from Florida. Don't go to Bermuda Triangle, Chad. It's dangerous. It's a rocket graveyard. Look at CGI the movie. Like you've only seen a curved earth through fisheye. It should spook you. It should actually but another gimbal is added. Yeah, it's just, the ship. It's in my camera. It's overwhelmingly flat. It's like scary flat, bro. It, it hurts your feelings flat. That's how flat it is. Okay, give me that Nick and Alex. Let's see what they talk about. Blame it on my ADD, baby. <laughs> Can you disprove the Coriolis effect? Irrelevant. Literally anything you say does not um, debunk the whole there's no pictures of Earth and you can only have a curved Earth through fish islands. Right? Where there's smoke, there's fire and there's too much smoke, I can't breathe. <clears throat> okay, what's this? SaveInfoWars.com That is where you can donate to my personal legal defense fund. I'm being forced. Yay has started this. Are there more flat earth? Well, Nick is a flat earther, closet flat earther, because half his chat is, but <clears throat> he was not allowed to admit it. Neither is Mohammed a job. Uh, but that's why he's laughing. I couldn't say I definitely believe in any of this stuff because it's all, it's all shrouded in like speculative uh, stuff. The whole thing is speculation for me. Illuminati and uh, Freemasons and these Freemasons. I, do you know? I don't know what they, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, they've got, they've got hierarchies and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, they do black magics and stuff, isn't it? Like, I think they do. Because I met one guy one time that like, he was telling me about it. I had, a, I had a guy at my workplace I was working at. Wow, an intellectual saying they do black magic. I guess John Zerka's not crazy anymore. Thing, Paul. 
and he was telling me that he was uh, he was admitting it. He's doing black magic, and then he gets the woman to come to him, and then he done a magic trick, and then the woman came to him. That's about that. Yeah, I've, I've heard that a lot. Yeah, so if people can do it like on a low level, then on a higher level, definitely. You know, I think there is satanic rituals. I believe in that stuff. But is that really a conspiracy theory? <laughs> Yeah, because they're not yeah, openly yeah, Satan worshippers. Yeah. Yes, they are open about it. What the hell? Absolutely, this stuff is happening, man. How, how is the Balenciaga thing not open? Or do you think? Do you think uh, Jeffrey Epstein killed himself? I don't know, man. That's I. I wasn't really watching the, the whole thing uh, properly. Like I didn't. I didn't. There's, I know there's a Netflix thing on there. I didn't really watch that. And um, man, I don't know what happened. Mohammed Hijab loves his paycheck. He's not allowed to talk about Epstein. Maybe, the, maybe he did. Maybe he did. Good reputational damage. Like once again, we were talking about yeah, Jordan Peterson. Like that's the worst thing you can be in the society, a pedophile and these kind of things. And it was too much. I think he, he killed himself from it. Well, the conspiracy with him is not that he was the pedophile. It was that he was getting uh, the children, in, in yeah, the, girls in the for for the yeah, yeah. Yeah, Epstein Island, and people are flying these elites. And no, the conspiracy is that the footage for the first time ever in the security cameras dropped as he killed himself. As in, they just snuck him out. He's alive. That's the that's the real conspiracy, you fucking retards. Billionaires and politicians are flying to his island and doing these kinds of things with little children and girls, and then they take pictures of it and then use that as blackmail to control those politicians and figures for the rest of their lives. Mm. So that's the whole. That's some people are speculating that maybe uh, Peterson's erratic behavior can be explained by such <laughs> such strings attached. <laughs> no, 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 we couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't say. But I don't know, man. It's like uh, to be honest with you, this guy. I don't. I don't really have any. Don't care about him. To be honest with you, <laughs> this this uh, Epstein. <laughs> But yeah, did he kill himself or did he not? I have no idea. No idea at all. Give me a okay. time stamp. So continuing with uh, some of these um, interesting rapid fire questions. What's your favorite cuisine? Indian. Indian cuisine, number one. Okay. I've got top five, in fact, you know. I've been thinking, this is a question I've been thinking no, about. Mexican is number one. Indian's good. But for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, questions. Yeah. yeah but... Indian's great, but I can't have too much of the butter chicken and stuff like that. But Mexican, I can have endless amounts. Like I could go hard on tacos. I think I could have like 30 tacos like gourmet tacos because like indian is up there that's 100 the, the issue is with number two like where do i put, what, do I put number two but you'd be surprised i actually put american up there as well because if you talk about hamburgers like burgers and stuff like that we always eat that stuff man and that is american isn't it i don't know if that's american or not but yeah, yeah. It's, it's up there then because we always have it like we always have burgers we like it uh, it's I, I base it on the things that i would have on a regular basis one thing that people don't know about and it's very underrated is somali elmi would you call him a sellout because of this flat earth thing conversation with the DEFCON 3 tweet about the Jews, he went on your show. Lag. Was it lag? And he said that he loves Hitler. And what's, I think, the most remarkable about this is everybody is fixated on the remark. What did you mean by DEFCON 3? What did you mean by you love Hitler? What do you love about Hitler? What does DEFCON mean? Is that a threat? And so on. And he's done several interviews. He did an interview with Piers Morgan, with Lex Friedman, with Tim Pool, with you, with Gavin. <laughs> And in all the interviews, it's so focused on the Hitler. It's focused on the Jewish. And for a lot of people... Wait, I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going Death Con 3. Death Con 3 on Jewish people. The funny thing is, I actually can't be anti-Semitic. Oh, I remember reading this. Because black people are actually Jew also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. So basically, I remember him tweeting this and I said to myself, eh, it's going to be watered down. It's going to be some Zionist critique. It's going to, and then it turned out to be literally a fucking movie. And I was like, I've never been more wrong in my life. Like I get a lot of things right, especially politically, <clears throat> a lot of good predictions. But this one was the worst prediction I ever made. This is the most wrong I've ever been about a man is when I saw this tweet, I'm like, it's not going to be that big. And he just turned into like comic book hero. He, he turned into his own comic book hero. <clears throat> they might say, oh, well, of, of course, that's an outrageous thing to say. It's so provocative. And maybe that was the intention. Maybe it was about publicity. Maybe it was staged. But if you listen, if you listen to what the man is saying, he has said, what got us to this point? I think that it's almost... It says something in itself that the conversation is about the remark. Look at Nick's teeth. His teeth are made for biting Jewish people, right? His two buck teeth here. He's like <clears throat> the, he's like the Christian Easter's Day rabbit or Easter's Day bunny. Rather than all the, in my opinion, far more outrageous things going on all around, which is that right now the ADL is shaking down Congress 
for $500 million. I don't know if people realize that. Submitted an appropriations request in response to the interview we did. You're watching the what American the Journal with Harrison Smith. The Alex Jones Show. This is The War Room. This guy's so based. With Owen Schroyer. InfoWars, the most banned network in the world. <laughs> on it we'll be fine they don't have the courage of their convictions and it makes them a tough adversary because it's like fighting a ghost like we are solid in what we believe we believe in the family we believe in western culture we believe in jesus christ that's that's stalwart that's set in stone they're just moving all over the place whatever it takes to win cheating on elections supporting nazis whatever works they do it <laughs> how do you fight them yeah, at this point, it's Nazis versus Nazis. The Azov Battalion is fighting pro-Russia Nick Fuentes. <laughs> it's like, no, we're the Nazis. No, you guys. No, you guys are not the real Nazis. We're the real Nazis. I wonder what Hitler's thinking, right? Hitler's probably like <clears throat> looking up. Phew. He's probably looking up at this and saying, <laughs> remember the last stream? <laughs> He's looking up and he's saying, wow, everyone wants to be a Nazi. This is crazy. You recognize who they are and everything they say is a lie. Yeah. And and every time they're confronted with that lie, they just there is a kind of energy in there, uh, an almost sacred energy in the swastika that it's so hated. It's treated so negatively. It's like the the center of the liberal morality is don't be Hitler. So it's there's so much like invested in no, it. It's you're literally Hitler for anything you do, right? I was once eating a steak and a liberal told me I'm Hitler. I said, "Bitch, I don't remember invading Poland. The fuck are you talking about? Get the fuck out of here. Let me enjoy my protein." It's crazy that it weirdly becomes sacred and becomes powerful. And so when Kanye tapped into that, now what, it, what is exactly does Kanye know? Someone said, is Nick Flint is the fat ass or the pedo stash? <laughs> Neither, dude. This is Richard Spencer and Ethan Ralph, Destiny's best friend. Um, basically, this is who Richard Spencer is. Uh... This is a breakfast club leak. Everyday political thought. White nights that we have blue B as well. Yeah, it's just listening name Heather Heyer, okay? Who was out? Oh shit, you can see the bars of when the audio picks up. This is where Spencer joins. They counter protesting the nonsense of the unite the right, okay? Now I'm gonna play this audio, and after I play this audio, if you don't think Richard Spencer is a cracker ass crack Yeah, he's the greatest psyop on in the right wing the right wings ever faced. Is probably because you're a cracker ass cracker too. Roll it! We are coming back here like a f hundred times. I am so mad. I am so f mad at these people. They don't do this to f me. We're gonna f ritualistically humiliate them. I am coming back here every f weekend if I have to. Like this is never over. I win! <laughs> He's talking about Club Penguin. He's in the igloo right now. It's only white penguins allowed, and look what he does. He's like the right wing villain. We're gonna f ritualistically humiliate them. I am coming back here every weekend if I have to. Like this is never over. No. I win. They fucking lose. That's they fucking lose. That's how the world works. Little they get ruled by people like me. Little lacerones. My ancestors. Lacerones. Is that racist? What does that mean? Those lacerunes, he said. I'm going to Google this one. You're just supposed to do it for me. Laceroon. Laceroon? What the fuck is a... Laceroon? What? Laceroon? I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Enslave those pieces of We're gonna win. He said Octa? Never what? over! No. I win! They lose! That's how the world works! Little They get ruled by people like me! Little Oxaroons! My Really? Ancestors! Enslave those pieces of 
sounds that turn on subtitles. <laughs> you think they'll catch it? Yeah, you a smart motherfucker. We got none. Okay. Me. Little ox runes. My ancestors f***ing oh. enslaved those pieces of Listen to the low energy uh, white nationalists. We're gonna win. <laughs> they get ruled by people like me. Little fing oxaroons. My ancestors fing enslaved those pieces of We're gonna win. I rule the fing world. Those pieces of <laughs> get ruled by people like me. That's how the fing world works. We are gonna destroy this fing town. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <clears throat> and then his career ended. And then he did a my bad speech <laughs> about Hitler. Is he an actual fascist? I don't think so. Is, you know, whatever. He's tapping into some kind of dark energy that's very powerful and maybe maybe destructive and chaotic as well, but is powerful nevertheless. And he was willing to do that in a way that ultimately Alex Jones is not Alex Jones belongs in the Ron Paul era, you know, where it's like, we believe in free speech and our constitution. And uh, we hate the Nazis. The liberals are the real Nazis or whatever Th that in some ways, even as wild as Alex Jones can be, he's ultimately still trapped in that moral cage of the liberals. He despises. He agrees with them on the, their most fundamental issue. Kanye was like going to the dark magic he, he was going there. He was tapping into that energy, a place where Alex Jones dares not tread. So I, I just think that in itself is really remarkable and is it, it, it's demonstrating something. It's revealing something about the world. I, I think it is kind of op taking us to a new place in a way. And you can complain about it all. I mean, of course, the ADL complains about it, wine, wine, wine. But like, what can you say about it? I mean, there he's, yeah, he probably does have some serious, you know, mental struggles. He has some personal struggles. So do I, but you know, he's authentic. He's speaking his truth. He's being real. He's actually having the conversation that people want. So yay. He's like the Joker. <laughs> and he's been saying, you know, I'm like a superhero. I'm like doing something heroic, blah, blah, blah. But he said the other day in the office, he's like, but I feel more like Joker, he said. And I was dying at that. But it's true, you know, because like you're Alex Jones and you're Marjorie Taylor Greene. They're, they're like the other criminals in Gotham and Dark Knight. They're like the mob bosses. And they bring in, they bring in Joker to kill the Batman. You know, they bring in Ye for the publicity. They bring him in to take care of a problem, which is, you know, they want to get traffic or they, you know, whatever it is on their website. And so it's just like how the criminals bring in the Joker and Joker burns all the money and says, all you care about is money. This town is a better class of criminal. And they're all like horrified. They're like, and they're criminals. They kill people and they're murderers. And they're like, who is this? It's the same thing. It's like Alex Jones and Mard. They bring this guy in. And Ye is like, oh, you people care about his money. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. And then it's people like me. I'm like, I'm like the hungry dog. Let's see how loyal a hungry dog really is. You know, I'm, and I'm, and I'm them. You know, try out. You know, he breaks the pool cue and throws it on the floor. Groyper fights to the death. That's just who he is. He's an artist. He's a genius. And above all that, he's right. So I thought I'd play a few of the clips I saw on the internet of kind of the other side. Burn it all down. Bring down the system. You know, Klaus Schwab says he wants an angrier world. They want to bring down the system and bring in a new system. So I've never really been accused by anybody credible of being loyal opposition or getting a call from the ADL and told what to say. And I'm sure when Nick, you know, and others have said that, that's that's tongue in cheek. No, no, I legitimately don't like Genghis Khan. I, I don't like Adolf Hitler. I don't like Mao Zedong. I don't like Joseph Stalin or V.I. Lenin. I don't like the ADL and their incredible authoritarianism. And I've been pushing really hard to stop them destroying our First Amendment. But, you know, you can dislike Hitler and also dislike the ADL in my worldview. And I know it's the naughty, naughty thing to come up here and say you love Hitler. But I, I don't agree with that. I agree with people's First Amendment. I agree they shouldn't be penalized for it. And that's why I created a platform for that. 
one of the biggest things probably ever, definitely the most views we've ever had for one event. I mean, Endgame got watched 100 million times, like 80-something million times on uh, Google Video before they took it down, but that you know, that took a couple of years to do before they took it down. But but this is definitely one of the biggest things we've ever done, but it just kind of, to me, was very interesting. It was thought-provoking, and of course... This is the kind of dad I want to be. I want to be... A, my end game is going to be Alex Jones. Right? Just a bunch of kids and be like, yeah, the Freemasons. It's all about the Freemasons. They're, they're on top. You know, that's a good end game for me. First, we see uh, people like Scott Adams saying, oh, I, I see what Ye did. He's trying to overturn the whole chessboard. So is that really what went on? So, so before we have a debate or an argument. So when is the right wing ever going to talk about Hitler being a homosexual? Why is that, like, for the dissident right, why is that, and they're not allowed to talk about that. they got to always make, John Zucker, he wasn't a dumbass. Dude, there's literal books on this about his gay escapades in Munich. He was a Catholic. No, he wasn't. He was a pagan. That's why, do you know, did you know that the Nazi flag is supposed to have a cross on it? He takes out the cross for the swastika. You're not reading enough, man. This is, this is a Black Sun Vril Society homosexual. You need to read about the black magic stuff. <clears throat> and no, just because the Vatican supported him doesn't mean the Vatican is Christian. Nobody on earth, not even Catholics, believe the Vatican's Christian. They, they're pagan worshiping. They have an obelisk in the Vatican, you fucking retard. They have a fucking obelisk. The Bible says no obelisks. Uh, I, I'd like to give Nick some time to give his views. We really haven't talked much other than briefly Sunday about him coming on today about what he thinks really went on there. Because some people thought I staged that and I was in on it or something. No, I didn't know what was going on. It's kind of like Trump didn't know what was going on uh, <laughs> to a greater extent. I knew who I was meeting with. And then I had seen clips of Nick saying he didn't support Hitler. It actually wasn't anti-Semitic. He just didn't like what some... You are so psyop beyond re redemption, kick. You believe everything the left says. What? The left didn't write those books? Conservatives wrote books about how they didn't like Hitler being homosexual. What are you talking about? What, what the hell are you talking about? Matter of fact, the left would lie if they found that out. They wouldn't want him on their team. You're a fucking retard. Some of the Jewish mafia is doing, claiming everybody's a Nazi, doesn't agree with them. So, so I just kind of saw this really as an enigma uh, of what's... The left says he's transsexual with one ball. No, they don't say he's transsexual. What, I've never even heard that conspiracy. What the hell are you talking about? Hitler as a transsexual? I haven't even heard that one. <clears throat> really going on so uncensored unfiltered nick fuentes joins us uh, for the next hour and uh, 42 minutes or so uh nick thanks for joining us what do you want to talk about first or will you humor me and uh, tell me what the hell you think happened a week and a half ago here in the studio yes well hello alex great to be with you um i'll humor you and we could talk a little bit about how the show went down um for anybody that thinks it was staged of course it wasn't um and and people they have all these ideas about where this is coming from, where Ye is coming from with these new ideas and, and with these kinds of things. And people have talked about mental illness and they've said that people like me are giving him ideas or handling him. People have speculated that the walkout on Tim Pool or the show that we did with you was staged. And I can assure you, I've been working with Ye for the last three weeks. Nothing is staged and nobody can handle him. Nobody can influence him. He's his own man. And as far as the uh, mental illness remarks goes, you know, I've met manic people before. I've known bipolar people. He's not a bipolar or an unstable person. In fact, he's highly energetic, vigorous, works all day, creative. Uh, I really can't say enough positive things about him. Um, but with regards to the appearance on your show, what I've noticed is that Ye has started this conversation with the DEFCON 3 tweet about the Jews. He went on your show. And he said that he loves Hitler. And what's I think the most remarkable about this is everybody is fixated on the remark. 
What did you mean by DEFCON 3? What did you mean by you love Hitler? What do you love about Hitler? What does DEFCON mean? Is that a threat? And so on. And he's done several interviews. He did an interview with Piers Morgan, with Lex Friedman, with Tim Pool, with you, with Gavin. And in all the interviews, it's so focused on the Hitler. It's focused on the Jewish. And for a lot of people, they might say, oh, well, of, of course, that's an outrageous thing to say. It's so provocative. And maybe that was the intention. Maybe it was about publicity. Maybe it was staged. But if you listen, if you listen to what the man is saying, he has said, what got us to this point? I think that it's almost it says something in itself that the conversation is about the remark rather than all the in my opinion, far more outrageous things going on all around, which is that right now the ADL is shaking down Congress for $500 million. I don't know if people realize that. Submitted an appropriations request in response to the interview we did. Now, you've got, you know, whether you thought it was entertaining, whether you thought it was revolutionary, you have Ye with a mask on, with a yoo-hoo and a net saying, I love Hitler. And the ADL is shaking the cup with Congress. We need $500 million to fight anti-Semitism. It's outrageous. He's been banned from the bank. He's had his deals shut down by Nike and Adidas to the tune of billions of dollars over 10 years. And the list goes on and on right, and stay on. There. I and hear it, what you're saying, but then that's the what, what people ask. And I don't think this is the case. That is, yay, secretly like an ADL operative to get them funding. So we're going to talk about that when we come back. You know, I guess what I want to say here is Alex Jones and, and, and you know, well, this being my broadcast is, I really didn't know that Ye was going to come here and do that. I, I, I didn't know that Nick Fuentes was going to agree with him. Uh, I understand their First Amendment. I understand when the ADL on the left says it's inherently racist and evil to be white or to be Christian, that they've crossed that Rubicon and basically become what they say Hitler was. So at that point, you know, uh, yay is it taking people's bank accounts away and spying on folks on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and uh, wanting $500 million from Congress for this hate task force to basically silence anybody that criticizes uh, any of the leftist operations. So I don't like any of that. I'm a big enemy of it. The, the ADL singles me out at their big events and wants me destroyed. My only frustration is I legitimately, Nick, have studied World War II and also had family that was in World War II and know that a bunch of the top Nazis tried to kill Hitler, like Erwin Rommel and people, and uh, that Stalin admired Hitler and, and, and you know, all the rest of this. And I don't like Stalin either. And so j just because what was done to Germans was wrong in World War I and, and, and there were also war crimes against Germans, in my view, just let's just get the Hitler thing out of the way. Do you actually admire Adolf Hitler? In some ways, yes. And I'm not a national socialist and I'm not, a, you know, I wouldn't identify that way because I'm a I'm a Christian. So I'm not any kind of a socialist or a fascist. I, I like, yay, believe we should have a Christian government. It's a Christian country. God runs the world. We should have a government in accordance with that. But but honestly, I, I don't share this uh, histrionic Jewish view that Hitler is this exceptionally boogeyman, evil figure. Uh, the 20th century is full of, of violence. The 20th century is full of authoritarian ideologies run rampant, and, and that's a product of modernism and liberalism and all kinds of trends. Um, but but this idea that that I, my life is in any way impacted by Hitler, I, I have a lot more animosity for the ADL. I have a lot more animosity for the ZOA. I have a lot more animosity for the groups that have actually made my life and the life of my family materially worse personally and across the board with the society. Uh, I'm, I'm sick of being expected by Jewish media and Holocaust museums to to beat my chest like you kind of did the other week and say, oh, I hate Hitler, I, Hitler's, a you know, it's it's like this weird, it's like 1984, you know, when they put the face on the TV and everybody's got to get all wound up. Uh, he's he's you're an You're talking iconic about 10 minutes, figure. you're talking about 10 minutes of hate. Well, I legitimately hate Stalin, hate Mao, hate Hitler, hate the ADL, hate Barack Obama, hate the Democratic Party. And and I've always, remember me on Pierce Morgan? I didn't get a call from the ADL when I was on Pierce Morgan, the most popular thing he ever did, the biggest thing CNN did that year. They had a the, the, the ratings. They had like 50 million viewers for that. Their average show had like 10 million back then. And I said, Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. And if you try to take our guns, 1776 will commence again. I've did. always criticized Hitler. I've made documentaries about the Bush family helping fund Hitler and, and the British royalty. So where we have a sticking point is, is that 
Alex got the call as you as you sent out on social media. It's not just British royalty, right? Swedish, all royalties throughout Europe, the business moguls of France, the Harriman brothers, Wall Street. And I'm just curious, do you think I actually got a call to come out and criticize Hitler? You think that's a new thing for me? No, no, I know that you're very uh, vocally anti-Hitler over the years. I know that you're more of a libertarian. <laughs> what the fuck? Aryan, and so you have this view of history which which lumps in together Mao, Stalin, Hitler as authoritarians versus uh, freedom fighters, capitalists, you know, George, George uh, Washington, Thomas Jefferson. So I, I'm familiar with your show and all of that. And, and honestly, it was a little bit glib. You called me baby Hitler. I said, you got a call. You know, quite honestly, it's banter, but it is well known that you don't really talk about this issue. You're you're more talking about New World Order, Bill Gates and, and these sort of obscure conspiracy theories like Bilderberg. My show is a lot more focused on, you know, what you might call the Jewish question, which is what are we to do about this Jewish elite? These Jewish gangsters that run our Christian country. These and, and, I don't think, and, and I think that's a debate that should be had because. There's no doubt that leftism and the whole globalist power grab has wrapped itself in Judaism as its defense. And, and I would call the FTX folks and the federal regulators who all uh, you know, involved in this basically are Jewish, uh, who are out there doing that, are criminals who happen to be Jewish who are hiding behind Judaism. But I don't then blame the average Jew for that. So I think that's the difference. Kind of like when Ye and you were on uh, with Gavin McGinnis, and, and he's like, well, you know, blacks commit as proportionate more crime than the other group, but you don't just blame the average black person. Do you just not trust a Jew when they come in the room? And Ye goes, yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't, you know. To me, that that's what I'm saying is, I do believe in Martin Luther King, that we judge individuals by who they are uh, and what they do, not by what color they are or where they're from. But go ahead. Yeah, I agree with that in principle, but we also have to understand that it's it's not that these people happen to be Jewish. I think that's the big source of the disagreement is these are what we're told in, in the last few weeks uh, when Ye makes these remarks about the Jewish media or Jewish Hollywood or so on is, well, these are individuals. These are people that we've got to name them individually, and these are people that happen to be bad, or rather they are bad and happen to be Jewish. But I think there's something about their Jewishness that that makes it this way. And, and I think that that is really the source of the disagreement. My morality is not bound up in, in this authoritarian versus freedom thing. It's about God versus the devil. And the curious fact about the Jewish religion, which all all the Jewish people that came to America in the last century as immigrants were religious. When the people came over at, at Ellis Island in the late uh, 19th and early 20th century. They came from these rabbinical communities. They were all very religious. And so you've got all the Jews in America, elite, not elite. They're one, two, or three generations removed from these very religious, rabbinical Jewish communities. What's curious about the Jewish religion is it's the only one that has an extreme antipathy for Jesus Christ. Muslims revere Jesus as a prophet. Buddhists, Hindus, they review Jesus as, as a, a wise teacher. We all agree that Jesus existed. It's only the Jews that say that Jesus is burning in hell, boiling in semen and excrement and say that his mother is a whore. And so you take these people that come from Europe and, and again, it's their children, grandchildren, great grandchildren who are now in charge of the elite institutions. Well, sure. I mean, Nick, I'll say out. this. Ethan Klein came out on his huge podcast and said, I would murder Jesus again. Jews should you know, basically kill Christians. And you didn't say kill Jews. So he went further than you and yay, and no one decried it. And that is wrong. He said, I'm Jewish. I want to kill Jesus again. We should kill Jesus. We should basically kill Christians. And when he did, when he said it, it was like cute and funny, and the media loved it. You didn't call for violence against anybody. So on a scale of me disagreeing with you, you're a one, and Klein and the ADL are a 10. I, I, look, I'm not friends with the ADL. I get what you're saying. I'm just saying that any authoritarian movement, I think, is extremely dangerous. And we're not faced with Hitler today. We're faced with the ADL and other authoritarian movements. So I think coming out and invoking Hitler almost gives those groups cover. And now, as you said, they're trying to get $500 million from Congress. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. I, I think maybe that's more of a tactical disagreement. I, and, and I told you uh, over the weekend, maybe this is my youth. You know, I'm willing to humble myself and say I, I'm young and zealous and idealistic, as, as everybody can relate to that. Uh, but I do think I might be onto something here, which is that We've watched for 20, 30 years, and things just keep getting worse. And and we saw what happened in 2020. The election was stolen. The whole first term was rigged. And Trump comes back even weaker than before. And I'm like, when are we going to confront head on 
the fundamental problems. When are we going to head on? Uh, stay there. We'll talk about look. what you think the fundamental problems are when we come back. And then I'll give you my response to that and more. Nick Fuentes is our guest. We're having a debate. We're having a discussion here, which the system doesn't want. But we're having it, and it's unfiltered and uncensored. He's saying whatever he wants. I'm saying whatever I want. All right. Remember, we're still on over 400 radio stations. That's why we have 14 minutes of ads an hour, the industry standard. Though I do enjoy doing a lot of the commercial-free podcast that you find at Bandot Video as well. We did a three-hour one commercial-free this last Saturday with a major whistleblower from the Wuhan lab, the vice president of Eagle Health Alliance, proving Fauci created the bioweapon and released it and more. So incredibly important why the system wants us shut down. Now, Nick Fuentes is here with us, and he said going after Bill Gates and the Bilderberg Group is kind of this esoteric, little-known thing, but he's going up against the Jews. Well, I mean... Folks, in case you've woken up and looked around, the entire WEF is calling the shots. The big mega banks are running the show. They're coming after our bodies. They're trying new lockdowns, new force injections. That is not some esoteric little side issue that we're covering. In fact, no one was really covering it until we started hammering it in the last 28 years. So I'm very proud of that. And that's what my films and books like The Great Reset and The War for the World are about. Now, I'm not saying Nick Fuentes doesn't have a right to say what he's saying or bring up what he's saying because separately, the ADL is brainwashing school children on record that being white is inherently bad and teaching kindergartners and first graders they are bad because they're white. Well, I mean, Hitler taught people people were bad because of what group they were. So I, I, I'm like, I see the ADL as Hitler and then people that are supposedly opposing it say, well, Hitler, you know, uh, compared to them is good. That's where I have the real breaking point. And so I asked the question earlier. <laughs> He's so cute. It's like when you ask your dad about sex. Like, oh, I just thought, uh, well, it's uh, it, the birds and the bees. It's just a complicated thing. <laughs> I don't want you to be able to get back into your point about the power structure and what you're doing. You'll have the floor for a few minutes. I'll shut up. But what about what I asked earlier that I forgot to get back to? The ADL wants $500 million. They want more control over society because of Kanye West, Ye's little comments here. I get he's obviously not a threat. He doesn't control people's bank accounts. That's a joke. But then people say, is Ye really working for them to first wear a red hat, say he's a Trump supporter, and now come out and do this? I've been around him. American movies always showing killing Muslims before they enter into a new Middle Eastern war. You're just taking takes from me and repeating them in chat to farm based but it's like you're just stealing what i said another thing muslims need to stop in my fucking chat okay you guys are so 2004 okay the whole muslim thing ended with fucking trump okay it hasn't been about muslims for a while you guys need to stop right we hate bush they this channel hates satanic bush more than anything we're the real right wing but stop stop okay Ever since 2016, it's about white people, white people, white people, right? It's our turn to get fucking stuffed in the locker, okay? So we're not doing that anymore with the whole... No, we're not. Look at the red string around his hand. Yeah, I see it. I've talked to him a lot. For a long time, and I really don't think that's the case. Just to clear this up, I saw some of your supporters saying, you know, Nick is so nice and, and, and got Kanye to his ha office and got him on air and introduced him to Kanye and, and to Ye, and then Jones did all that to poor Nick. I, I, I've been talking to Ye for a long time. He never come on the show. I gave his number to other folks to come on, to Milo Yiannopoulos, he got Nick Fuentes in touch with him. So people want to blame me for this whole fiasco. I guess I'm involved. But that was me saying, here, get him on their shows. That's fine. Go where you want to go. They wanted to talk to him. I gave him the number for all of the groipers out there that are living in La La Land. Okay? So, so that's another little point I want to get to. Now I'm going to shut up. But what about this issue of him actually being the biggest fundraiser ever for the ADL? What do you say to that? Well, I would say it's ridiculous. You know what's the funniest thing about all this is uh um
You okay. know what's the funniest part of this is a lot of people think Nick is the rightest that goes, but there's actually a – I've talked about this before. There's a more right-wing group. I forget what they're called. I forget the names, Adam and all those guys. There's a more right-wing group that says it's actually the Jewish plan to be hated and be the new white guy for end times that they're going to be rulers and da-da-da. And so they're screaming in their um, – channels you're falling for their plan they want to be hated and then there's people like nick who go no no they want to keep it in the secret and it's like they fight i don't know if you follow politics you, you would see the right wing as just like fragmented like there's so much infighting when you look at lefties they go hey you touched the leisha's elbow at a party so you're a rapist we have to disassociate from you and then, you know, that happens once in a blue moon. But when you look at the right, it's, no, we're with fucking Hitler. No, we're... you know, it gets fucking intense on this side, bro. This side's terrifying. Ridiculous. I think anybody that knows Ye knows that he doesn't work for anybody other than God. And his, his actions prove that. And I think if you've had a conversation with him for more than 10 minutes, you know that. He's uh, one of the most authentic, sincere people I've ever met. And, and like I said, people that meet him for 10 minutes, they come up and hug him in the street. They know that. As far as him being a fundraiser for the ADL, it flies in the face of the fact that if there were no ADL, he would be leading a great awakening. But it was the ADL that wants to shut him down. If the ADL was so in love with what he was doing, why would they go to Twitch as an example and say that Nick did a political compass and was left of the middle? Well, yeah, he's a national socialist. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Nick's position is that uh, economically he doesn't care. He, d he just doesn't care what system. It's just a vessel as long as the virtue of the people is upheld. So he doesn't really care if it's a commie system, a socialist system. He doesn't care if it's a capitalist system, right? Which, by the way, the capitalist system is the worst system because what pure capitalism is, the byproduct of it, is liberalism. Meaning top dollar to get your daughter to strip on OnlyFans. That's what's paying her. That's getting the most money out there. So when you look at capitalism, it is so fucking disgusting, right? Right? When it's all about trade and that the, there's no Bible, it's the free market is the greatest degeneracy tool there is. And a lot of righties hate when I say that. And it's kind of like, I don't think you understand what you're fighting. <clears throat> so what's the alternative? Well, it would be socialism if you think about it, because humans are not born as individuals. You're in groups. You're in a group system with your family, your community, your Christian community, hopefully, your religious community. And you need to keep these creatures socialized. You need to keep humans social and working in a, in groups. You have to. They're like fucking cattle. Uh, the, the, do you know what this um, individualistic mindset's for? It's for naysayers, or excuse me, not naysayers, outliers, for people like me, for people like you guys, you bright individuals, right? People like us, that's the individualistic mindset is for winners, but 99% of society is a fucking loser. You can't move a society like that. Imagine if I treated everyone in chat like an individual. You think that would work? Just do a media share where we watch everyone. Every clip everyone ever sends in this chat, your Hassan arc is beginning. No, it's not, because I'm more for a barter economy. I'm <laughs> old-fashioned, actually. Uh, and by the way, I critique Marx, right? I think communism's the dumbest shit on earth. Abolishing private property is the highest retard position you could take. And that's really what communism is. A lot of people try and confuse it for other things, right? There's God, family, and private property, and nothing else. There's nothing else. Everything else is noise. So I'm no commie. I'm, this is not a fucking tanky channel. And it never will be. Why? Why? Because I'm... Politically, what are you selling me? Right? So Hazel look me dead in the eyes and say, 1950s America is not the greatest time to live. And I'd say he's a liar. I'd say he'd... I think Haz would love to be born in that time 
right? Even as an immigrant, yeah. So if you don't understand where you are politically, ask yourself, the streamer you watch, what package are they selling you? So if, if Zerka is selling you the Twilight Zone package, what the hell is this guy selling you? What's the commie package, right? Is it China? You want everything to be like China right now? Really? Godless? <clears throat> appreciate you, man. Uh, stick, stickle, I appreciate that. Why private property, though? Everything should be in service of the greater good. Okay, but again, who is serving you? The flawed, sinful human. If you understand how evil humans are, I don't think you want the top to have everything, right? You, you want the government to control everything? Did you know that... Um, Humans don't even need police forces. And before you attack me, just hang on. Police, why the policing system was made was to protect banks. Go on Wikipedia and check it out. You're not meant to live in a, in a city. You're meant to live on a fucking farm. Regular, God-fearing life. Right? Where everyone in the neighborhood is your family. And everyone got a fucking shotgun and they say, Hey, you can't come rape our daughters here. You understand? Police don't... The, the police thing is so... It's, it's like the city pill. And it's like, dude, if you have a strong Christian community, very, a lot of bad things are avoided, actually. And, you know, I talk about a theocratic system a lot, but I'm saying that's if the, con if, if the king believes in Christ, right? That's the whole point, is if the king is afraid of going to hell, it's a good king. And there have been good kings, right? Not these Masonic puppets that throughout history. There has been good kings, right? Uh, there, I forget what year, man. There's a time where people are having like 12 kids working like a couple hours a day. And everyone had a big plot of land. There's been way better systems than the one you think. You think because you have an iPhone, you're born in the best time. That's not even true, right? You have anxiety. You have depression. You hate your life. But you defend the free market like it's your fucking god? It's ridiculous. And now you abolish mon monopolies and all these disgusting systems. And the free market can work. But it would still have to be under a Christian rule. It would it would have to be like, hey, you're not stripping you're not stripping on Twitch, bitch. You can't do that for money. Why? Because you gotta give the boys hope. You can't get men to think you know, everyone's a hoe. My life sucks. I'll never get married. Blah, 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 blah. What about standardized tests like in Imperial China? Let the test filter out the smartest and the... It doesn't matter about IQ. Remember, knowledge is biting from the apple. You could be the smartest murderer on earth. You're still a murderer. I d building a system on IQ is satanic. It's eugenics. It's gross. What, what you want to do is build a society that rewards the most righteous and spiritual man. The man who follows the book closest. The Khabibs, right? The, let's say Mother Teresa, a lot of you guys hate her, but she's my Albanian, she's my Albanian Grammy, grandma. <clears throat> Bro, most sociopaths are low IQ. It requires high IQ to be empathic and kind. You're a fucking retard. That is the most retarded position ever. <clears throat> Do you know why low IQ people shoot up places? Because they don't have God. Like, a lot of you guys think that these um, murderers have chemical imbalances. Oh, Ted Bundy, who was, you know, U.S. military. Most psychopaths throughout history were connected to military. Go look into it. Right? That's why you don't see... Is there a school shooting in Albania? 
or in any of your countries? No, they might have gangsters shooting each other on the streets, but they don't walk into sh schools and bam, 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 just light up children. But that happens in this nihilistic, I mean, what is more godless than America right now? Can you name a more godless country? And they, they were the most God-fearing. 1950s, they were beautiful. They were just a great people. Um, I'm talking about the average guys. I'm not talking about the military-industrial complex and stuff. I'm just talking about the average American wasn't bad at all. I think demonic possession can manifest in chemical imbalance. Oh, that's based as hell. I like that. There is usually a logical reason alongside the spiritual reason. Yeah. But again, then you're pretty much saying like the love you have for your brother is just chemicals. And I don't when you start seeing the world in chemicals, the Masons laugh at you, ruling class laughs at you, everyone laughs at you, and you feel smart because you read it in a science book. Oh, it's just a chemical imbalance. Yeah, that guy murdering a pre pregnant woman. There's no devil involved there. It's just a chemical imbalance. It's like really? You don't believe in good and evil? I think that's the number one thing. That's the number one lesson you have as a young adult is good and evil as a teenager. Why are you loving your brother? Because of God, right? I have a spiritual connection to my brother. Uh Yeah, old American accent is nice. Yeah. The most cruel people you will ever meet are low IQ. Really? Bill Gates seems low IQ to you? I don't know any criminal that's uh, that savage, right? Just take, would he take all the farmland now? It's just never enough for him. The most greedy person. I mean, some people believe these guys are philanthropists, but it's like, dude, they quadrupled their net worth in a couple of years. I don't think they're giving money away, bro. Right? Bezos, none of them. John Zirko, what percentage of Pizzagate was real? Um... 98 percent 99 <laughs> look into james elephantis i don't like to talk about that because you don't get banned for stuff like that you just go missing there's this guy named isaac cappy that's not a topic you really want to like deep dive live that topic is terrifying that, that that's like that's end game that's like when i have a millions of followers and a bunker and and all this security around me but that's not something i want to deep dive live because uh, at the top, they're going to revisit these clips of mine and be like, well, you talked about Pizzagate. Why don't you talk about... You unironically believe in mediocrity, mediocrity. Um, that's the biblical um, opinion, actually. That living a simple farm life low IQ or mid IQ, yes, that's a better society than we got to build the new iPhone and just fucking be pro-abortion. <laughs> no, your, your way takes you to hell, my dude. I mean, you can be like, I'm going to build the best system ever where everyone's smart and everyone can do this and that, but really it's just murdering a bunch of babies. Wow. You, you know, your system is great, bro. Yeah, you're definitely going to hell for that. Uh, Christianity is done for. Islam is the last religion with morals, brotherhood. Trying to try having a drag show in a mosque. Da, da, da. Yeah, but throughout history, people have said that, and you don't understand how religion works. It always comes back stronger when the pendulum swings too progressive, right? I'm not just predicting a red wave for the next couple of years. It's gonna get hectic, um, and then it's gonna swing somewhat back. Not as not as far as child child drag shows. It's not gonna come back to here. I know it won't. You know, people are fed up. Oh, you said meritocracy. I do believe in it. It's just to what point, you know? To what point? 
You know, I really want a society of Khabibs. I want a society of just simple folk. And I want to split up these big cities. I want to make it so a girl doesn't have to go to a city and be a whore to make money. I think that would be be best. I mean, this whole like rat-like living, it is rat-like living, right? City life in a little apartment and shit. Now, I'm not saying they deserve to be on top. In a perfect Christian system, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton would visit the guillotine in a video game. <laughs> I mean, these people are murderers. The Clinton body count. It's kind of crazy like that no one talks about. How do you have 30 people who work for you die in a couple years? What did they hear, bro? Uh, no, I don't believe, and no, no, dude, I don't believe in Christ because of Paul or any reason a Christian believes in Christ. I believe in Christ because it's the greatest fear to the ruling class is that name. And those are the rapists, pedophiles, and murderers, <laughs> right? Those are the people you're fighting. <clears throat> Like if someone told me, "Hey man, Christ doesn't exist," I'd still hold the I'd still hold the Christian sword because it's the best way to battle globalists. Like they hate anything to do with the Bible. Like go read their stuff. They don't really give a fuck about other religions. Not that much. Very little actually. They don't even do mock rituals or the raising of harem abif or any of those. They don't do mock rituals for other religions, just Christianity. Uh. Now, yeah, well, you look at it, Muslims are our greatest allies. <laughs> Israel is our greatest. Al no, Muslims are our greatest allies for sure in this, but they're not end game. They, most Muslims even know it. They know they're only Muslims because they're families, right? Like, my family's not Christian. Actually, they'd laugh at it. They'd be like, yeah, it's kind of like old mumbo jumbo stuff. They're very, like, secular. That's why Elmi is the greatest mod. He's the greatest Muslim I've ever met. He's just always at the computer, just going. This guy does fucking coke and just goes through tons and tons of conspiracy for you guys. And then he links us. Mm. Christ is the Messiah in Islam. Yeah, I mean, Christ is, like, everyone's main character. Right? It's just everyone weakens it a bit. They go, well, actually, he was just a man. He was this, he was it. But they're all afraid to talk shit. Yeah, I believe in the Antichrist, the false prophet, which is different, and the beast system. I do believe in that. I mean, it is accurate, right? And it didn't really have to be in the Bible, but it's pretty accurate what's going on. Uh, okay, let's say Jesus wasn't hated. You're going to switch religions, bro? No, I don't think I'd switch religions. If the if Freemasons were not talking about uh, mocking Christ and doing all that, if they were just saying all religion bad, all re I don't think I would subscribe to a religion like that, right? If you want godly society, why wouldn't you put highest IQ on top? What's Because highest IQ are philosophers who are bisexual pedophiles. Look throughout history who's the highest IQ, dude. You're a fucking retard. Okay, look at your Plato, look at Aristotle, look at all these guys. They're fucking pedos. They're all fucking pedos. That's who you want on top? Whoa, how the hell did you do Sabidi that? Sabidi, I donated five dollars. 
1950s cannot return when the theology taught in every church is from Jesuit run seminaries. True. Seedbeds since the school of Alexandria. That guy is so base. Who is that? Subby D die? Subby die? That is so base. The Jesuit Vatican order. Can we finish this? At any streamer that platforms yay on their channel is going to get banned and have Twitch remind everybody, tap at the sign and say, we prohibit hatred. We prohibit hate speech and so on. The ADL is working overtime to make sure that he's deplatformed from Twitter, deplatformed from Twitch, that nobody can have him on their show. If it was really such a benefit to them, you'd think that they'd be going around promoting that stuff. And that gets back no, to what we were talking about. No, that's why I raised the point. I know I, I don't think he works for the ADL, and I agree with you. Right. And, and it gets back to the point which I was making before the break, which is that there is this, I think, very pernicious mindset that a lot of people have that if you if you start to really go after the power structure, if you really say, you know what, it's Jewish gangsters, you know what, it's the Zionists, it's Israel. People have this idea in their head that there's something that's not clever or not subtle about this. That Has Nick ever critiqued the Vatican? He goes hard on conspiracy, doesn't he? We've got to hide and be and be careful and play games. I don't want to play games. That's why I'm up with. Like, I know he's a Catholic, but he's never talked about the Vatican. Yay, because Yay's not playing games anymore. I know that Yay's not going to be at the Republican Jewish Coalition retreat. He said with destiny, he trusts the Pope and the Vatican. No shot. Wouldn't Nick's position be that they're actual Zionists? He actually said he likes the Pope. What about all the pagan ceremony and stuff that they're into? Why do you believe in the Trinity? Because the Trinity is everywhere and it's been in every single religion, right? You believe in the Trinity. You, your parents. You, above and the earth. The, the Trinity is everywhere. The three colors that blend into seven of the rainbow. The Trinity is everywhere. That's the magic number is three. Everyone believes in the Trinity, right? That's you, your wife, and your offspring, right? Or male in in Masonic literature, it's male, female, and the orgasm. That's how they word it because they're degenerates. He defers to the Pope on religious matters. Wow, I didn't know that. He said that on Destiny. Why do you think the high IQ royals were depicted as sensitive, contrasted with the cruel low IQ peasants? Well, who do you think wrote that? Hold on. Are you on my team where you think the royals drink blood adrenochrome and do organ harvesting? <laughs> they don't sound that they don't sound that sensitive to me. I don't even get where you are politically. You're like on my side, but you don't, you believe that the royals were not inbred murderers and psychopaths? Like how can you be on, in my channel thinking that? This channel's built off shitting on the queen. No, it'd be a ton more money if I was a Muslim. You know, I love Muslims because they've supported me more than anyone, right? It's just, um, I can't do it in good conscience. You know, I can't, I can't, it's just, there's way too much hatred for Christ for me to be like, you know what, I'm going to switch teams. You know, the same people who hate me and destroyed my life hate Christ. It's a no brainer for me. <clears throat> mm hmm. Now, one thing we're not going to do, we're not going to shit on allies. No way. This channel, you're never allowed to critique Muslims and Christians. Hell no. Take that shit to Hassan, bro. Don't ever bring that shit here. You know, it's fun. It's fun. It's cute. I'm not really those guys who start crying. Oh, I insult your religion. But it's so fucking divisive for no reason. It's such a waste of time. It's so it looks like a Hassan Piker chat. Such bad optics. 
And, dude, you got a war to fight. You don't have time for that shit, right? You, both of you guys don't want to be cucks with your wife. Just agree to disagree. Huge, it's just horrible optics. It just makes me look like a bad leader. Don't do that. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been saying this since the Samira Haas thing. I put it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> what happened to my thing? It broke. That looks kind of cool, actually. Um, appreciate that. Sincerely, Fate. Um, there is way more hatred for Islam than Christ. Well, the Muslims in chat disagree with you, too. Uh, but Okay. No, no, I don't do that thing where it's like babies are being bombed Because th this channel, we talk about abortion too Which is the same thing Okay, it's like we're all of our Both teams are getting it really bad Jonsergo, why do Muslims always get butt hurt over Christians then? I don't know if they do. This is just an aggressive chat. I don't know if if Speaker's Corner is that disrespectful to Christ. I think they're pretty like, they see him as a prophet, dude. I don't think they're screaming, Christ is this, Christ is that. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to see him as a prophet. At the end of the day, listen, at the end of the day, one team got it right and one team's going to heaven, Okay. Now, let's finish this. Street in Vegas begging the Jews to endorse them for the 24 run. I know he's not going to be at the ZOA begging the Zionists for their favor, for their patronage in the race like Trump did. I know he's not going to take $100 million from Sheldon Adelson and do all kinds of favors for Israel and leave Christians and white Americans out to dry. So, you know, we have to have the fight. Eventually, we've got to lean in and go in. We're in a war, not, of course, violently, but we've got to lean in and actually fight on the battlefield and have the confrontation. So many people in politics want to rationalize. And this isn't you because you're you're a courageous man and, and we love you. We see you as an uncle. Quite honestly, I've been watching you since I was in high school and all the Groypers have. We love you. But there are a lot of people in the institutions who are going to rationalize their cowardice by saying, oh, that's just not smart to say that. Oh, well, it wasn't strategic to say that. Well, at some point, whether it be now. You know what's weird about Nick is the Groypers, before they were called Groypers, were called something else that was very bad optics. And then the optics changed from super racist to super like sexual being groped, right? It's like so childish when you think about he's the he's at the front of this um, Kanye political movement. Well, then later we've got to say, you know what? The Jews are not going to control the destiny of America. Israel can no longer control the destiny. You, you know what's funny about Nick is I used to identify with this guy so much because he I remember tuning in. People are like, yo, you got to check this guy out this years ago. And he'd just be talking about SpongeBob, right? He'd be talking about the hash slingy slasher. And I'd tune in. I'd be like, it's supposed to be a political show. What's he doing? Is this the same guy that they told me to check out? <laughs> and he's talking about SpongeBob for 20 minutes. And I knew every single episode. I was like, whoa, it's so weird seeing a Zoomer do politics and like incorporating SpongeBob in it. Destiny of America. 1776 happened because we wanted to break away from a country thousands of miles away, dictating to us what was happening in our own country. But now we're subordinating our subordinating ourselves to Israel in exactly the same well, way. Well, sure, Nick. I mean, so, there's, sure, sure. So let me have a few minutes now. There's no doubt that there's foreign powers and corporations controlling America, and there's no doubt that there's a couple different big Jewish lobbies that are powerful, and there's the Chicom lobby and a bunch of other lobbies. But when you said earlier, well, you cover Bill Gates and the WEF and some obscure, you know, stuff. Those guys literally have penetrated the governments, the cabinets. They're running things. They want a eugenics, depopulation, world government operation. And if you actually look who fills it up, it's a bunch of former, you know, Nazis, grandkids, and German royalty. And I'm not saying it's a Nazi conspiracy. I'm saying the real power structure is a scientific transhumanist movement. And while we're all down here battling over all these different ethnic... 
John Zirko, why does the Bible say two men cannot lay together, but two women is okay? Because the Bible is based as fuck, man. Right? Two fucking baddies. Just fucking, and you're just sitting there watching with the Bible on one hand. You got two baddies making out. Right? Damn. That's too fucking base, right? As soon as two dudes kiss, is no! But two baddies start making out, and you're like, shit, bro. Shit. I don't even know that part, you know? Like, when I read the Bible, this was like years ago. All right, now I go to bits and pieces. Systems, they are taking over. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah, and I understand that. I just think that a lot of it is obfuscation. I think that, like, for example, the World Economic Forum is a forum. And when you look at who goes to Davos for the retreat, it's all the top government leaders, it's all the business leaders, and, and they all are beholden to Jewish interests. So that'd be like saying, you know, we're going to hold a conference in a Sheridan hotel and say the Sheridan hotel is the problem, not not the people occupying it and giving the speeches and their background. Sure, but I mean, uh, the, the Bilderberg Group is the most powerful organization in the world from our research. The, the, the World Economic Forum is the... John Zirka, why isn't the Jewish religion ever talked about on this channel? John Zirka, I've never seen you do that. You are bought. I'm the only channel who ever spoke about the Holy Talmud and Zohar for 12 hours straight with documentaries. I'm the only channel on Twitch who ever did a four-hour anti-vax documentary during the fucking pandemic. And I said, guys, let's go emote only mode. Let's just watch our steps. Whoa, whoa. But am I a fucking idiot that chooses to get banned to look what? Controversial? No. It's politics. I know how to navigate. I'm not a fucking retard. Okay? And th that's really what it is. It's like, if you really think getting banned before you're powerful is smart, you're an idiot. Point blank, you're an idiot. Right? You're an idiot. That's like if I told you guys to just start a channel and go hard day one. What use are you to me if you can't even host me? You're an idiot. Their mouthpiece. So when we, we say that, I mean, this is the, the, this is the real supreme mafia, in, in my view. You know, George Soros is there, all this. So let me raise this. You bring up. And by the way, the, why I focus more on Jesuits and the Vatican is because it's true. I'm not going to sit here and say, I swear to God. Uh, look, follow the Satanism to its logical conclusion, and it's in the fucking Vatican. And I, Christians hate when I say this, or Catholics hate when I say this. But you Catholics are being subverted by Jesuits more than anyone, you fucking retards. You guys are going directly to hell. I don't... You can see my private group chats where when I critique Zionism, it doesn't end with me going on a huge rant. It always ends with, but all the powers in the Vatican and no one's allowed to talk about that. Well, they're allowed to talk about it, but no one does. No one will talk about the Jesuit oath. No one will talk about how the exact same rituals are in Balenciaga and Freemasonry. And it's like, what, what am I, why am I going to attack one, one uh, capstone of power? Why not the top of the top with the black pope? Why? Because the right wing is not allowed to do that because then they alienate a Catholic market, right? And they want the Catholic dollars. Me, I don't want to go to hell just taking money from people who support the fucking pope, right? Like, I'll take Catholic money. I'm not taking Jesuit money. Never, right? And it's weird because when you look into it, there's not one channel who talks about the Vatican at all. Not, Alex Jones barely scratches the surface on it, you know? And to me, it's scary because you see the far left who critiques Israel for other reasons and the far right who critiques Israel. They'll never touch uh, Switzerland or the Swiss Guard that's in the Vatican and how it's connected. They won't touch any of that. Why? Because it's boring to them. Why is it boring? Because it's not about Jewish people. And it's like, really? Walter Veit is the only one who got it 100% right. I mean, he's really, when I, I knew the truth, but I didn't know it like him. I have no idea who sent me it or if I found it myself. But Walter Veit, I don't know if I'm saying the name right. That guy, that Angelican. That guy goes so deep into uh, Vatican lore, it, it'll scare you how satanic it is. I remember when I f first got interested in that was like a year ago. Was it Walter Veith? Walter Veith. God damn, I can never remember this.
Yeah, Walter Vieth is the first person to put, turn me to the Bible fully. The fr and this this guy I kept calling gay. That I kept making fun of this guy with long hair. I forget his name. He did a whole thing on uh, masonry and Satanism, and he was nailing it. And he was getting more based as he went on. And then he looked at the camera as we're all making fun of him for his long hair and all that stupid shit. And he looked at the camera and he's like, "How can they hate something that someone that's not? Uh, how can they hate something that's not real?" And he's talking about Christ. And he that's after he explained all the rituals, all the mock rituals, blah, blah, blah. Forget that guy's name. But that guy is the first guy to make me raise an eyebrow. And I'm like, you know, my first prayer was like a Christian prayer and it worked. But uh, I can't do this. This is an old book. Then that guy. <laughs> and then Walter Veith knocked it out of the park, right? Because I'm like, as an Albanian, I'd have to be a Catholic and some of those rituals are fucking weird and then walter veith was the first person to, he just literally can convert anyone i know muslims who watch them and they're like whoa this guy's he don't fuck around you don't want to debate that guy right but he slaughters catholics pretty much in debates and he slaughters muslims in debates he slaughters everyone or he would but uh i i can show you guys him right after this i'm in the mood actually uh, the head of the ADL going on programs, and here's a clip, saying, well, since Ye says we have power, we had to use our power and crush him. Why would he even say that? Talk about a dog whistle. Here it is. Y'all are proving somebody like Kanye, right? And yeah, why I took him super serious is anytime someone's just preaching Islam to me, I find it very one-sided and like, oh, you might be lying to me. Anytime someone's just preaching Christ to me, I go, you're lying to me. But when a dude is going against uh, Islam and Catholicism at the exact same time, I go, this guy cannot be lying. Because he has like so much anger for every single, everything, every religion. Anytime he sees anything pagan. So I was like, there's no way this dude's fucking lying. Um... But I did have one question for Walter. I just forgot what it was. Man, if I could get him on a stream, that would be great. Right. Because Kanye says, hey, Jewish people have all the power, and then he loses everything. Well, look, the, the, insidious, the insidious nature of anti-Semitism and these tropes about power. No, Islam's not pagan, but he points out a lot of subversion that happens with royal Saudis, um that video where he talks about the kaaba um and then he also goes after catholicism and the vatican with how they have phallic worship obelisks which are really buildings too right that's why they don't make beautiful designs anymore and um and you know people laugh they're like a penis a phallic symbol how's that satanic because that's all there is to life is pussy and dick that's what creates life Okay, that's it. There's nothing else. Your video game don't matter. Your job, your career, nothing is more powerful than that. That's everything. That's what wars are fought for. You understand? So yes, it would be an obelisk, a phallic symbol. Uh, Muhammad Ajab washes this guy. Well, Muhammad Ajab recently has been exposed. So I don't know about that. Right. By the way, if you want to be a Muslim, if you're halfway turning to a Muslim and you don't want to hear this nonsense, you're like, oh, I just don't like Zerka. Go to Elmian chat. That motherfucker will convert you. That's the only Muslim I'll ever trust in this chat. That he is so fucking good at what he does. Like he does not beat around the bush for any question you have, blah, blah, blah. So if you're a Muslim who's just like, that's your go-to, that's all you want to do in life. Go talk to Elmi. Don't talk to me. And guess what? Elmi is a flat earther. He doesn't deny reality. Yeah. Elmi in chat. And Elmi, there's another guy named Import who memorized the whole Quran. He's a Saudi young kid. Get that guy on. Because that guy is also the biggest flat earther in the Discord. <laughs> Because if there's one thing that Muslims cannot do that Christians can is ex just they can't call out NASA. They're like, oh, NASA wouldn't lie to me. I don't know why Muslims are so connected to NASA. It's fucking scary. 
They they you talk to them about any NASA deception, and they're like, no, I just can't. No, no, bro, they're in space right now. It's like really. That's how hard you'll defend an American military wing. Is Kanye can say these things. Jews have all the power; they're controlling everything. And if we don't get him, you know, if we don't deal with that, the myth spreads mm -hmm. and it takes root. If it, we don't get him, if we don't shut him down, the myth spreads. Wow, what what a he's saying exactly what what Ye is saying. That's right. Well, and, and that's exactly what I'm trying to get at here is uh, when you go on uh, Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, and I'm not saying you meaning you, but anybody for that matter, when anybody goes on Twitter and says, you could say Bill Gates runs the media, you could say the World Economic Forum runs the media. We have to acknowledge there is this strain of thought in conservatism where it's it's taking us in a direction that the elites are not afraid of, the elites don't really care about, and, and we know that because of the enforcement. We know that it's like that plane with all the bullet holes in it that comes back and they say, you know, where are we going to fortify the plane? Well, the planes that are coming back with the bullet holes, those are the places where the plane can afford to be shot. And it's sort of the same thing when you go on Twitter and say, you know, Bill Gates runs the media, the Chai comes runs the media, crickets. But you go on Twitter and say the Jews run the media and you have the ADL chairman going to Adidas, pulling your billion dollar deal. Gap, well, Nick, I got to disagree with you deal. there. They've been he, really suppressing he us. He went with after the Chai comms in front. Alex, Alex hates this. Dude, you can't attack Alex Jones' chai composition. What the fuck? No. For the WEF and the New World Order and Bill Gates. They've been sent, that came out in the documents. They have been censoring a living hell out of people challenging that. We'll be right back. Stay with us. All right, Nick Foyne. Oh, Alex wasn't even mad. His chai composition. No. Tez is our guest. We're having a debate here, a discussion about these issues. Uh, he, he says he's good to take phone calls coming up later in the next hour and hit some of the other big issues. But, but So, Nick, watching what the ADL is doing, watching what the left's doing and, and, and their racial-based political system, how do you see this shaking out? What do you see happening uh, the next few years with all of this? Because i got to tell you, I actually saw the corporate media come out against you and Ye on the air, and 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 I personally, you know, don't like. I think they're gonna get killed. I think Nick and Ye are gonna get killed. I keep it one thousand percent on this channel, God fearing channel. If I don't tell the truth, I'm going to hell in a handbasket. I think they're getting killed. Like any flavor of authoritarianism, and, and thought it was uh, more of a publicity stunt. Just what I picked up from it. I, I mean, I don't know what was planned. You're saying it wasn't planned, I believe you, because it felt completely unplanned. But at the end of the day, people have their First Amendment. How do you see this attempt to crush everybody going? Elon Musk is, is I think, not perfect, but he's going a long way. Uh, the power structure is totally discredited. And what I saw on Twitter and, and Instagram and Facebook, everywhere else, without even trying to look, was most people liked it. They... they can someone cash out me $3 for food, please? Well, we are a good Christian channel, so no, you're going to starve. You're going to starve, and we're going to ja 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 in the chat. We're going to Mexican laugh at you. Everyone ja ja's in the chat for this guy. You are going to starve, all right? Christians and Muslims are laughing at you right now. There is no, none, and there's no, uh, what's, a, what's the Muslim uh, charity called? Uh, Zakat? Fuck, man, I forget. This is years ago. Then there's none of that here, okay? All that money goes to me, all right? All that fucking money goes to me fighting the globalist agenda. They, they weren't even anti-Semitic. They weren't even a, a, against the Democratic Party and all that. But they were really, really just sick of the censorship saying, screw it, burn down the whole world. Is is is? By, by the way, for the love of God, someone upload some of these streams on YouTube channels. I don't like to upload just bits and pieces. Just don't let these streams die off. Like, this week's been good especially the Dunkel War. Whoever makes a documentary of Dunkel War with all the laughs, I will fucking subscribe to your channel live with everyone. Is that Whoa. It's broken.
let's get some non 07s in the chat. Thank you so much. Uh, it's something like that, but it's a little bit bigger because it, it is poignant. It's not just sort of this directionless, hey, screw it, burn it all down. It's it's a lot more directed and precise, which is we're, we're going to finally say it with our chest. Uh, you know, a lot of people, I think, were dissatisfied with the Trump uh, presidency in the first term and, and seemingly how little progress we made. That's something I'd sort of told him at the dinner was, look, in 2016, the message was sort of insufficient. Here we are in 24, coming up on the 24 cycle, and it's it seems like it's been moderated. It's more moderate than it was in 16. Things are getting worse, we're running out of time, and we're retreating, we're moving backwards. So in terms of uh, joining up with Ye and, and getting on board with this movement, it's about getting behind a guy who's saying we need to hold America to a Christian standard. It's about saying we need to call out the Jewish media. And and he's been saying, look, we don't care about your, uh, honestly, we don't care about your grandmother that died in the Holocaust. I'm sorry. That's always what they come with. It's always the guilt trip. It's the emotional propaganda. I know that sounds callous. I know that sounds insensitive, but it's no different than any of this other racial grievance politics over slavery or over colonization or genocide. I see no difference between AOC calling us colonizers and these Jewish groups calling us Holocaust deniers. It's the same weaponization of racial grievance to, to browbeat us into submission. We've got to make our country free and independent and strong. And that means so what you're Christian saying is coherent. what you're saying is the left keeps calling everybody Hitler. The left keeps saying all white people are bad. The left keeps saying Western civilization is evil. And so you're saying, I didn't kill your great-grandparents, your grandparents. I don't deserve to, 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 to be called this. So if you're going to call me this, I'm going to go ahead and embrace it. What you're saying is I'm, you're not going to live in guilt anymore. No, what he's saying is, what about the grandparents in Syria, in Palestine? What about the babies? That's happening today. You can't do this. You can't. You go to stifle every conversation with uh, tears. Is you can't do this in politics, especially. It's too much. And you know what's funny though, politics is emotions. Like nobody runs on a logical campaign. It's all emotion run. That's what sucks. It's like you have to play this game. That's exactly right. We we can't change the past, and God bless all the victims of every tragedy in human history. But. That's 2022. We live in America. Well, I mean, I mean, let's country. talk about this. They've got national statistics out that are pretty accurate. Two percent of the South owned slaves during slavery. That's a very conservative number. It, it might have been lower, uh, but but two percent and something. You see Peterson talk to Netanyahu. Fuck Netanyahu, bro. Like maybe 10 percent of white population in the U.S. had some ancestor involved. Oh, fuck Peterson. It's like But somebody getting off an airplane from Poland or from Russia or from Czechoslovakia or from Germany or from the Netherlands who never had an ancestor involved with slavery or from Iceland is immediately told you owe reparations and you're a bad person for what you never did or your family never did. That is preposterous. Uh Sila, what the fuck, bro? Isaiah chapter 49 verse 23. Uh -huh. And king shall be thy nursing father. Now this is when the role switch. Because at first, we was your nursing father. We were kings, but we was your nursing father. You took care of your children. Our women nursed your children, your babies, right before they were nursing their own. Read. And their queens are nursing mothers. Uh -huh. They shall bow down to thee. Now, this is where the good part gets to. This is what you can do. So since oh, our kings were your you nursing father, just in case our you queens come. Was your nurse and mother? This is when the roles switch. This was when your kings is gonna be our nursing fathers, and your queens our nursing mothers. They shall those those your your kings and queens shall do what? They shall bow down to thee uh -huh. with their face toward the earth. So that's the first thing you can do. You can bow down to the priests and prophets of the Lord. That that proves that you love black people. So you got to get down on your knees. Go ahead, I'm waiting. <laughs> See, that's approved. That that, that, ain't, that ain't no money. Ain't no money involved. Look what a godless person does. Imagine getting on your knees for anything besides God. Ain't no money involved. Brother, brother, brother. Move it. <laughs> you understand? Continue. You understand? You got to get down on your knees. You understand? You got to get down on your knees. Go ahead, read. With their face toward the earth. 
with your face toward the earth. Ah, no, no. Now, <laughs> here's, here's what you got to do next. Just give him a hand. Give him a yeah, hand. Now, let's prove it. Here's, here, I would do the same thing if he asked me, right? I would just be like this, right? I would lay down right to the ground. And then you see Tapia, my moderator. He's in the mod position, run behind me. And then he jumps off my back with a spear. Shoo! Throws the fucking spear. And then, you know the movie 300? They prove it! God damn it! You understand? Give him a hand, man! That's right! Give him a hand, man! That they love black people, man! They love black people! They love black people! They love black Come on, I have fun! Come on, I have fun! Come on, I have Come on, officer! Come on, man! Come on, man! Look at this! Look at this! This is the end. This is the, the crossroads of your liberal destiny, okay? This is where liberalism takes you. You have to choose. Are you going to be the badass liberal that doesn't kiss the shoe and just walks away? <laughs> That's fight language, if you ask me. A simple deed to prove that they love black people, man. That they respect Come the on. peace and promise of the Lord. Come on, I Come have on. fun. Come on, are you thun? Come on, are you thun? Come on, officer. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yes. Why are you allow her to be treated like this? I, mean, I have a voice and I can make up my own mind. She's attractive. What in the fuck? Oh my god, they asked the boyfriend. And she's like, I'm a strong, independent woman, actually. Oh Come my on. god, she's suffering. Officer, come on, man. Come on, man. Yes. Why are you allow her to be treated like this? I, mean, I have a voice and I can make up my own mind. Oh my god. Oh my, she's not a 3 out of 10. Any woman kissing shoe is just, that is the most attractive shit ever, bro. Do you know which channel you're in right now? This is the Hate Woman Network, okay? You guys are lost. Are you guys fucking lost? It's a joke. I do. I'm Dave Chappelle. Give him a hand, man. That's right. Give him a hand, man. man. They yeah. proving that they not like they forefathers, yeah. man. That's right. To give respect. This right. is how you salute a, a priest and prophet of the Lord, man. That's right. This is how you salute a priest and prophet of the Lord. Man. You just Damn, look at his face. He's like fuck. Watch too much destiny. And you guys shouldn't watch that blue hair fucking bitch. <laughs> it's like with the tier three when he realizes, fuck, I should have been on that Zerka train. Right? You just gotta do a simple thing is bow down and kiss the boots of the prophets, man. Right. It's an honorable down, thing you're doing, Mr. White, you're Miss White Woman. Jesus. Right. White man, and white man, hey, hey, look. Oh, the white man won't do it though. Yeah, he had no, to do it. Too. You gotta do it. Oh, you wouldn't know most of the time. It's kind of attractive what she's doing, right? In a sick way where it's like they're submissive, you know? Like, I don't want, I wouldn't ask someone to do that to me, but I'm just saying the submission I haven't seen. Of course, it comes from a black guy. White chicks love black guys. It's like proven. <laughs> Now this channel needs to get shut down. Ban me already. I'm too funny. I'm too funny for this fucking Twitch shit. Bow down and kiss the boots of the You're prophets, down, man. Right. It's an honorable thing Jesus. you doing, Mr. White, You're Miss White Woman. Woman. Right. He said Miss White Woman. <laughs> white man, hey, hey, look. Oh, the white man won't do it, though. He's like, now they're pressuring him. He's like, holy fuck, we just came out to get some Jewish bagels, bro. What the hell you got us into? And look at her. She's like, I'm bored at home. I've been bored a while. You haven't been smashing me against the wall, so I guess we're going to... Form the greatest tra traumatic experience of your life, honey. <laughs> and he's like playing it off. Yeah, he had no, a You got to do Oh, you wouldn't know most of the time. Oh, if you don't kiss the shoe, you're literally racist. Do you hate black people? You have to kiss the shoe. If you don't kiss the shoe, you're pro-slavery. You're a slave owner. You have to kiss it. 
Look at him rethinking. He's like, God damn, if I just grab the Bible, bro. Grab the here. This could have saved you, bro. This could have saved you, but instead you chose to play StarCraft, you fucking idiot. Greatest trauma of your life's happening right before, with the love of your life. Get it in. Come on, man. We're going to get it in. Come on. Come on, man. You got to step up, Mr. White, man. Come on, Mr. White, man. Don't let white, man. I'll step down. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the Joker storyline. What are you, Arthur, what are you doing, Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, and that's how you create a Nazi. That guy went home. <laughs> that guy went home and became a Nazi that same night. That guy went, that guy subscribed to Ethan Ralph that same night. <laughs> that guy, oh, my God, dude. Imagine in front of your girl, bro. In front of your girl. Jeez, man. He even made the kissy sound. We gonna get it in. Come on, man. We gonna get it in. Come on, come on, man. You gotta step up, Mr. Come on, Mr. White, man. Don't let me. This is how you handle this, right? You just go up to these guys and you go, guys. I know Jesus was black, but you don't gotta do all this to me, man. You don't gotta. Do and then that's that's kind of giving them like, you know, that's kind of giving them the energy of like, hey, man, hey, I'm not a hater, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Okay. What else would you do? There's fucking ten of them and they're big, right? You're pretty this is like you're stuck. You I would be on my knees too. I just fucking kiss the boot. I actually I take the boot off and I lick it. I'll lick the boot to show that I'm in solidarity solidarity with black people. Matter of fact, IRL stream, we're going to that block and we're kissing every shoe. That's what we got to do, bro, because I'm not racist. But after I kiss those shoes, <laughs> after I kiss those shoes, I will be the greatest racist the internet ever sees. Like the fucking most, the craziest arc of my life. <laughs> Elijah, are you in chat? <laughs> Panda, I have to, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but really, guys. Let me tell you something. If the, if there was a sword to my neck, I would have kissed that shoe, right? <clears throat> Jeez, man. And people are like, why do you hate liberalism? That's liberalism right there. Look at the submission, right? Look at her. You know this girl does yoga and reads Aleister Crowley. We're no more we going to get it in. Come on, man. We're going to get it in. Business, come on, come, come on, on, man. You, you got to step up, Mr. White, man. Come on, Mr. White, man. Don't let me white, man. I right. step down here again, bro. I step down here again, man. Ouch. Most high in Christ. Hey, I ain't feel it. I ain't feel it. Damn, Come on, now, Damn. He didn't even feel it through his shoe, dude. Damn. Hey, no, 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 no. There Come you go. There you go. Group. Come on. Come this on. is a hate That's group. That's right, man. This is That's right, God. man. Most high in Christ, man. Right. Come on. Most high in Christ. Come on, right. man. You want to line up? Line up. Come on. Line up. Right. Come on. Right. Come on. Right. Come on. That's right, man. This is where Reddit irony humor takes you, chat. Where he goes home with his girl and he goes, <laughs> I mean, it's just kissing a shoe. It's not a big deal. So, I loved kissing the shoe, actually. <laughs> He goes back to Reddit. We're laughing, but really, this is a sad thing. <laughs> this is a very sad thing. You know, these same people report me I'm kissing shoes. That's right, man. That's right. Give GG donated five dollars. Give GG loves BBC. You understand? Go ahead, young man. This is get how you salute kissing, a prison and prophet of the Lord. That's right. This is how you get mercy. That's right. You understand? You want to get some white people, you want to get some mercy when the Lord comes back, man, seeing Christ back. This is how you get some mercy, man. That's right. Now, this white man and this white woman was going to get mercy when the Lord, Lord returns, That's man. Right. This is why I roll with Muslims, bro. Right, because they'd all be like, yo, we're fighting these guys, Zerka. We're going to fuck these guys up. They're trying to get us to kiss shoes. Kiss shoes, are you serious? This is why, this is why my buddies are Muslim, bro. We go to war, bro. We go to fucking war, right? God, if you're a Christian and this happens to you, right? A liberal, I understand, right? You guys will fucking 
do anything. <laughs> but if you're a man of faith and this happens to you, like, wow. You understand? Everybody got it. Everybody got it. That's right. That's right. You understand? That's right. You understand? Not the, now the next step is to go empty out your bank accounts. And <laughs> There's more. Damn, what part of the Bible is this? <laughs> I, yo, I gotta learn Hebrew, man. What what part of the Bible is this? Contribute to the to the prophets of the Lord. That's man. right. You ought to contribute something, God. man. You understand? You're gonna be needing this. You understand? You ought to contribute something to the prophets of the Lord, man. Kiss a man. Hey, you understand? Listen to me, Mr. Like Mr. White Woman and Mr. White Man. Mr. He's White a Sambo coon. Don't pay attention to him. That's Give him right. another hand, man. Give that's him another right. hand. Yeah. 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 That's right. You are credit to a, na to a nation. You are credit right. Because at least they were willing to accept that your forefathers did something wrong that's to right. black people. That's right. right. Whoa, I got to be here. Yo, mark my words. If this is ever close to me, I'm going with my own microphone and saying, Hey, fuck you, man. Fuck you guys. And we're going to have like a million views. Because I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be like, fuck me, fuck you. That would be so fucking badass. Even when I lose and get jumped, I come out like a fucking hero, right? People go, holy shit, you just stood up to those guys, right? Or <laughs> you see me like this. <laughs> Yo, chat, they're a lot bigger in person. <laughs> They're fucking huge in person, dude. He should have been there. <laughs> Can you imagine if it all went wrong? Right? I'll just pretend. I'll go red pill the next episode. i go, yeah, guys, don't take shit from anyone. Right? Well, John, what about that time you kissed the... <gasps> Bannon, Bannon, Mods. Bannon. Better than your president. That's right. You That's understand? right. That's, That's right. right. I'm going to show you better than Donald Trump. Right. You understand? And this regime... Get on your knees. That's and do right. what these white people did, That's man. Right. That's right. They showed you all today. They showed up all of white America today. That's right. That's right. You understand? Is this? It was Kanye talking about these Jewish guys. <laughs> That's, That's what you gotta do to show that you're different from Christopher Columbus. That's, That's right. right. That you're different from Andrew Jackson. That's right. That you're different from all these white devils on the face of the earth. That's right. how. Black people, man. That's right. Prove yourself. Prove yourself. Prove yourself. Jeez, bro. You give a black guy Judaism. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. <laughs> that guy's overdosing on Hanukkah, man. Those guys need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That star Rem fan type energy, man. At the same time. You know, I am sad that George Soros helped round up Jews and get them killed. I am sorry <laughs> that Hitler did things, but I didn't do it. Both my grandfathers went and fought Hitler, and then I get the ADL up there saying I'm Hitler. So, so I understand that perspective. I just don't get then using Hitler as a touchstone uh, because that, I don't see Hitler as a good person. Well, it's uh, I like what Scott Adams said about it, which is that it, it sort of reframes the entire debate. I mean, have you considered and, and Richard Spencer said this as well? And I think uh, we disagree on a lot. You know, he's not a Christian and, and that's a big source of disagreement. But but what about this fact that our entire morality and our whole political spectrum is defined by Hitler? It's like reductio ad Hitler. Every argument has to come back to, well, Hitler was the most evil one. So whoever's the most proximate to Hitler is the worst one, is the bad one. I'm a Christian. I'm from Chicago. I was born in 1998. Hitler, the Holocaust. What does this have to do with me? What does this have to do with our no, country? Again, it's what a rejection the of the Hollywood fathers? ethos that we're all Hitler and Hollywood is God. I, I get it. Let's play a clip of Scott Adams, the creator of Dilbert and Philosopher, uh, since you raised that point. Here it is. Dilbert. I would not rule out the fact that Ye is trying to break the system, and he might. It, like, in, instead of, he's not trying to win the game. He's trying to thro uh, throw the board up. You know what I mean? He knows he can't win the game because he didn't make the rules. The rules are made by other people, and they're, you know, he doesn't have an advantage there. So if he plays the game by its rules, he loses. But Ye is not the person who loses. 
<laughs> it's not in his it's not in his nature to not think he can succeed. So he just takes it to the next step. What is the next step? Next step is you throw the whole board over. So he came into Twitter with a Raelian logo that he might have known was not provocative in that context or as provocative. He may have tested the limits of Musk's free speech and broken. In my opinion, he broke Elon Musk. Elon Musk. And it wasn't because Elon Musk is dumb, because he's not. It's not because Elon Musk is uninformed. And I'll tell you what the big takeaway here is. The media grabbed this story and then dropped it very quickly because they didn't like the way it was going. Uh, Did you notice that too, Nick? Absolutely. Yeah, they're terrified. They don't want to have the conversation. And and it's interesting because he goes on these shows and they browbeat him and they say, why did you say the death con? Why did you say, don't you care? And he says, well, what about me? What, what about my contracts? What about what's going on in my world? And they say, well, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll follow up with that. You know, we'll, we'll circle back in a minute, but nobody's circling back. They don't care. And, and they see that in the comment sections on Twitter, they see in the polls, people agree with, yay, more people. It's the same effect that there was in 16. They called it the silent Trump vote. I know you remember a lot of the Zoomers who follow me, they, they were too, they were like in middle school and the election happened. I was freshman in college, but they called it the silent Trump vote where people agreed with Trump. But you know how the culture was. If you were a MAGA hat, as I did on a college campus, people people attack me in public. They threw stuff at me. You know, they said nasty things about me online. And more people than than many would care to admit feel the same way. They're like, we don't care about this, this Holocaust Museum business. We're sick of this ADL coming around and saying there's six million and all this. It's ridiculous. It's in some sense, we're already past that point. If we're at that point of ridicule, if we're at that point of indifference, All that needs to happen is for the rest of the process to play out where types like Ye, people like Ye, visionaries, courageous people are going to stand up and say, you know, we don't care. Do whatever you want. I I mean, I just got to say, though, again, the other polar opposite should not be Hitler. It should be like George Washington or, or, you know, Jesus Christ. What do you want to cover next hour? And we'll also put your websites uh, cozy. Killing God's animals and consuming their flesh and blood is satanic just because they are not human doesn't change nature and the act itself in God's eyes. Bless up and eat fruits and vegetables. You'll live longer for it. True, true, true. But those animals are rapists and I like slaughtering them. I really enjoy it actually, right? I enjoy slaughtering those rapists and those pedophiles, okay? Yes, chickens are rapists. If they were your size, they'd be raping humans. That's what they are, okay? And I love the taste of chicken. TV, where people can find your show and other shows. We'll put that on screen. We're at Infowars.com and Bandai Video uh, for the new viewers and people that are tuning in right now. But what do you want to hit next hour? Uh, Well, I just want to say I agree with you about Jesus. It's Jesus first. He's our leader, not Hitler. Okay, We love Jesus, and we want Jesus to appoint a leader to follow in 24, and I think we'll get one. Uh, you can find me on cozy.tv slash Nick. And for the next hour, I, I'd love to get into some of the other things Ye's been talking about. You know, he said a lot. He said a lot on the show. He talked a lot about pornography, talked about the family, Instagram, trafficking. There's a lot that he's putting out there. It's such a shame that people are so hung up on the taboo, political Sure, but he had to know stuff. the taboo. I get it. But you guys did bring up the taboo, and I think that's the whole, that's the whole point. But I think, you know, I have a clip of you saying that you didn't like Hitler. But then you— yeah. So were you a okay, and? were you a closet Hitler supporter before and now you're a full Hitler? <laughs> I'm not a closeted Hitler supporter. And I, I want to say this. Are you calling me baby Hitler so the time travelers will kill me? You ever hear everybody <laughs> always says, <laughs> if you went back in time, would you kill some moral dilemma? Would you kill Hitler as a baby? Are you trying to confuse the time They're travelers? Said, so I didn't think of that. All right, Nick, stay there. First All Amendment, right. folks. People don't like it, but it's here. It's alive and well. And... The people are waking up. They're saying no to censorship, and that's why we should have every idea out. We have an open, free debate about it. We're going to go to break. Please don't forget, do your Christmas shopping at InfoWarsTour.com. We're fighting the globalists toe-to-toe. We need funds to stay on air. InfoWarsTour.com, InfoWars Life, incredible products, DNA Force Plus, vitamin mineral fusion still in stock but selling out quickly. And the new line, InfoWars MD, is so amazing. We've got 95% of humanoid with the new product. That's it? Is that bedtime? Six, seven hour stream. Sheesh. These streams are bangers, dude. The shorter ones are so much better.
<sighs> That's everything. I covered everything, so you can't say I'm hiding. No, oh, you didn't cover this, therefore you're afraid to talk about it. <clears throat> I think I got everything. There's more? Turmeric 95. We've also got the great nootropic mushroom blast, mushroom boost. It's all there. So many other great products this. at InfoWarsStore.com. What is wrong with Band? Um, or call toll free 888 253 3139. But seriously, that whole line is amazing. The first 10 products are out Turmeric 95, Libido RX, Better Mood, Nitric Boost, Mushroom Max, Angels Vitality, Superfood Greens, and more. Alex Jones here back live with Nick Fuentes oh, for another yeah. hour. I'm going to give the number out at the start of the next segment for folks that want to talk about that interview a week and a half ago. The state of the world, nothing censored. All we ask for is a good, clean phone line uh, and that you have your points. And we move on to the next person. Your phone calls are coming up. Uh, so, Nick, this is a short segment. Some stations don't carry it. A bunch of stations join us in about six minutes. What else do you want to get into? They ask if Kanye is a Mason towards the end of the interview. Oh, that's so interesting. <clears throat> wow. That's a really good question because do I think he's a Freemason? No. Do I think Young Thug is a Freemason? Yes, because he has photos where he's holding, you know what I mean? A lot of them are Freemasons, but they're not like smart people. They don't, they don't activate psychic abilities or any of that. They're just around real Masons. But uh, nobody asked that question. Fuck, man, I keep getting baited by chat. It's time to promo ban. On the whole uh, Ye interview, and then we'll uh, shift gears into some of the other stuff that you and Ye were talking about. It doesn't matter how much of the debate you missed because all my VODs will be published as soon as I turn it off. Thank the guys in chat who spam VOD, please, VOD, please, and remind me when I'm ending stream. That's why I do a longer outro so I see shit that I forget. You can watch all of it. Don't worry. <clears throat> well, I uh, like I said, I think that um, there's a lot more to the yay situation than than people would uh, than people are saying right now. People are very hung up on this issue, and, and you said, and I think you're right about it. It's would you guys like that a YouTube VOD channel? God, if someone could just run it for me, because I have to make a clips channel soon when I start doing YouTube content. So clips. Regular YouTube, VOD channel, and Twitch. And Twitch is always going to be my favorite, though. It's just so cozy. It's just, it's like a bunch of people doing stupid DJ and shit, and then this channel doing everything correct. So nice. Like, you stick out like a sore thumb. It is provocative. And, and of course, you know, I had some sense that it was going to, the media coverage would go in that direction. Uh, but there's something really special going on with Ye because it's not the only thing that he's talking about. You know, when I saw that video that he put up uh, several weeks ago talking about the January 6th supporters got- and the loyalists that stood behind Trump and how a lot of them were hung out to dry in favor of lawyers and types like Jason Miller and others. When I saw that, I said, this is like a serious political figure. I said, that's a serious political contender. He's saying the same thing that people in Washington, D.C. who worked in the Trump administration were saying for the last six years. And I know you have sources there, too. All the people that I talked to in the White House would complain constantly about how actually it would be a mark against you if you were trying to get a job in the Trump White House that you worked on the Trump campaign in 16. So all the people that supported and believed in Trump, all the people that supported and believed in his agenda, they were hung out to dry. They weren't hired, passed over. And we saw the White House. And and now it looks like this 2024 campaign had been infiltrated and subverted by people that were on the Rubio campaign and, and people in the Bush White House and sort of the worst of the worst, people like Bill Barr and Mike Pence. And, and Mike Pompeo and Nikki Haley, who was in the she was the U.N. ambassador and John Bolton. And so I saw something like that. And, and that's something that he's been talking about a lot. And and in some sense, the Hitler thing has overshadowed that. But when the dust settles on that and it will, it's a quick news cycle. I think people are going to be very, very eager and interested to hear what he has to say. It's a true and a real alternative to a lot of the junk that we've been getting. We're supposed to believe our two options in 24 are going to be DeSantis and Trump. And DeSantis, I think you like him. I'm not really a huge fan. And Trump, like I said, in a very moderated form, sort of low energy. I still love him. I'd still die for him. I, I still 
I think he's a great hero and one of the great Americans, but he's not the same guy that he was in 16. Everybody recognizes that. And so a big part of what's so exciting for me as a young guy in the last couple months with everything that's been going on is here's something out of all the stuff that we were put through, you and I, in the last two years and many others between January 6th and the pandemic and BLM and the election fraud, here's finally a light at the end of the tunnel. Here's finally a North Star, you know, West, but nor maybe a West Star. Here's something that we can finally look at and, and actually get excited about. Somebody sure, what do you make about, of Senator Paul? And what about? I think Paul he'd be a great president. Uh, you know, I like Rand Paul. I like him a lot. I met him actually in 2016, and I actually worked. I, I, maybe I didn't work on his campaign. I think I campaigned with Cruz actually during the Republican primary in 16. But I was an early supporter of it when I'm talking about when I was a senior in high school. But I was a supporter of his. I still am. I think he's very intelligent, but he's a libertarian, and he's just not really my kind of conservative. I, I know you're more libertarian, so I think there's more overlap. But uh, I'm I'm really more in favor of bringing back a very strong Christian flavor of nationalism. And I don't know that I love that term. I feel like it's being hijacked, but I want the government to be Christian and I want us to have a true nationalism. So it's a little well, bit stronger than this. we certainly shouldn't have an uh, anti-Christian government. Nick Fuentes right. is our guest. Uh, just terrible racist things he's saying on a scale of one to ten. He's like a two. And you got the ADL just so pro-Hitler uh, and, and just so anti-white uh, uh, promoting ant racism that I just am so frightened by both groups. We'll be right back. Stay with us. What you want, man? Hey, yay, right after this, I'm going to say you're crazy. I'm going to take your, your family away from you. We're not done with you yet. You cannot cause free thought. We have to control the history books. We have to control the banks. And we have to go and kill people. Also, we're in the... Ah! No, no. Are you suggesting we get rid of two-thirds of the doctors? Not get rid of, like, not violently get rid of them. I think, them. I think that Jews are very intelligent, but they don't deserve to be in charge of everything because they don't put Christ in. in well, how do you legislate that? They need to work for Christians. Jews should work for Christians. I'll hire a Jewish person in a second. If I knew they weren't a spy and I could look through their phone and follow them to their house and have a camera all in their living room. <laughs> <laughs> I want to holler the loud funny words. I like Darren. He is my friend. I like you and him. He likes me. And I like him. He fuck? likes you. Bro, this is like shit Jill draws. Like some satanic ass shit. <clears throat> what is that? Why is Cartoon Network so fucking creepy? Why am I pretending I didn't grow up with shit like this? I hey man, I I like his autograph. It is a nice picture. He is nice. When it comes to the Jews, here's the silver lining. <laughs> It tends to go from zero to 60. Like, they're not wrong about that. But there's a reason for that. And the reason is them, okay? When it comes to the Jews, every society where shit has gone down with these people, it always goes from zero to 60. It never starts with burning all the Talmuds in Paris, okay? It never starts that way. <laughs> but... Frequently, it seems to end that way, and it gets there very rapidly. Doesn't start there, but it frequently ends there. But I would say that the Jews had better start being nice to people like us, because what comes out of this is going to be a lot uglier and a lot worse for them than anything that's being said on this show or has been said on this show. In spite of the fact that I have been bullied by the Jews and I have been oppressed and slandered and lied about and attacked by the Jews, I have been completely precise for the most part and even-handed and nuanced about my view about the situation. And I'm also a Christian, which is going to matter because there it could be a lot worse, I'm going to say, than this show. And what's going to come out of this could be, like I said, it could be a lot uglier 
than what we say on the show. I know that there are other people that are going to push farther than that once this conversation really starts. And the Jews are going to look at people like me in America first and say, damn, I miss when it was just that funny guy. And we pushed so hard and then this and that because... Because history has shown that once this train gets going... You know, blacks are overrepresented in violent crime. But when you meet an individual black person, you don't apply that. You start with a fresh slate every time you meet someone. Do you do that with Jews? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this intervention isn't going very well. <laughs> All right. I mean, I just got to say it. I think basing things on race is really bad news. But the left and the ADL and others are saying all white people are racist and demonizing our founding fathers and trying to destroy our country. And so I wonder why it is what I see is the ADL is trying to conjure this anti-Semitism to get more funding and more power and more control over people. And they, they worship people like George Soros and others that help round up Jews. And so many of the Jews... Uh, that, 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 that have been killed in history under the name of this have been completely innocent people. I really just don't think Jews are one big monolith, uh, Nick. And again, you really, I think, spoke to it earlier in the last hour where you said, well, you're off over there on these kind of side issues of Bill Gates, the WEF, and, you know, this stuff. But, that you know, we're over here with the Jews. The WEF and the big corporations, the New World Order, and Xi Jinping are mass murdering people, are bringing in tyranny and lockdowns and world IDs and controls. And whether they're Chinese or whether they're German or Jewish, I'm just opposing these tyrannical objectives. And I kind of want a big tent for all of that. And I just think it's, 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 it's a First Amendment, but I do think it's dangerous to then sit there and just invoke all of this and say that Jews are the powerful Jewish mafias who basically run the world. I mean, is that what you're saying? Yes, <laughs> and and I think they do. I... <laughs> oh my God, but when Nick does his half listening to you, half mind somewhere else, but always answers on time. Like he always answers quick. It's too funny, dude. <laughs> he had to he had to check for one second with his brain. He's like, wait, what are you saying? I don't even think it's really disputed anymore after what happened to Yay and that clip that you played with Greenblatt from the ADL. I, look at him. I mean, he was somebody who even in 2018, four years ago, was saying things that are regarded as politically incorrect. And people throw that around. They say, well, that's politically incorrect. Like it's this, you know, broad, nebulous thing. It's actually very specific. He said like partisan conservative talking points in 18 and he was just fine. And he, he went on Tucker Carlson and he, he called out China and called out a lot of things and he was just fine. Then he switched up on the Jews. He was banned from Fox News. He was banned from Daily Wire. And you know, I don't have to go through the whole list, but we've all seen the cascading effect of this. Adidas seal cut, gap deal cut. His bank froze tens of millions of dollars. Uh, you know, I mean, it's unbelievable if that doesn't prove it. And then the ADL is going around now. And they're not just fundraising, but they're passing out a letter in Congress and they're demanding that nobody give him a platform. They're getting him kicked off Twitter. It goes on and on and on. And so I don't even think it's even in dispute anymore that Jews have a, a and, you know. It, it is kind of funny how Elon Musk is like, we're for freedom of speech. And Kanye's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> check out this power level. And Elon's like, fuck, man, I can't even do this for one week without Kanye going like, Super Saiyan 10 on us. <clears throat> well, maybe you would qualm about whether it's all of the power or just like a lot of it or a majority of it. But it's true that there are these Jew and, and there are Jewish groups, Republican Jewish Congress, Zionist Organization of America, ADL. These are all Jewish groups. World Jewish Congress called for Apple and Spotify. And, and you know, that's kind of like asking a question in itself. What what is the World Jewish Congress? Did you know that the State Department's definition of anti-Semitism says that if you believe that Jews conspire on a global level, that you're an anti-Semite? Well, then how do you acknowledge the existence of the World Jewish Congress, which is real? They did an article about it in Newsweek last week. Israel? Without being an anti-Semite. I mean, it's. they also go on to say that if you call Israel uh, comparable to Hitler or the Nazis, which you have 20 years ago in 2001, they say that's a definition of anti-Semitism. Well, what I said they is say some of the, yeah, I mean, the ADL has said to take it off their website, but it's on the Wayback Machine. 
said they support anti-race mixing laws in Israel, uh, and they support uh, basically taking lands away from people that aren't Jewish, and they support, uh, I mean, they said we can't have replacement migration or Israel won't be Jewish. So, I mean, you're, I'm not denying that Israel lives by a second set of rules, but how do you square it up that Jews in Israel have been under the most draconian lockdowns in the world after China and have been given the deadly shot and one of the highest death rates from the shot? I mean, if they're all powerful, why is this biomedical tyranny targeting them and doing that to them? Well, I think that that's just a symptom of the elite. I think that's a symptom of hubris. I, I don't know, for example, that the vaccine is created to kill people or something. I think that the COVID thing is very complicated. There's a so lot of journalism think, to so, be done so there. Just kind of like Bill Gates, WF, Alex is off on a side side tangent. Yeah. The, the shot's not the centerpiece of their takeover. It's it's not depopulation, 20 million dead at least, uh, a racist your immune system, and Israel is 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 – the worst country for being given the poison shot. Their lockdowns are the second worst. Well, it wouldn't even make any sense because if they were going around giving everybody the vaccine and that's supposed to take out everybody, well, who are the most vaccine hesitant? Who's who's going to be remaining when they're... And, and don't get me wrong, I think the shot is deadly. I didn't get vaccinated at all. But I, the idea well, that this is some kind of that the Georgia Guidestones are dictating global politics, I think is just ridiculous. And I think it's one well, of these I mean, things a that... a consortium uh, led by the founder of CNN put that up. I mean, they do believe in depopulation. So I was saying, Nick, there is a larger depopulation. Wow. Wow. Nick is, uh, he's not Guidestone based. What well, Nick is a lot more soft core on that topic than I thought. What? This is not making much sense. Oh my God. That is really strange. Globalist agenda. And that gets into who funded Hitler and how they set him up and this power. Well, one thing that's throwing me off is that even politically, it's against talking to his base. So why would he say that? Powerful group that's, 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 that's next level. Uh, it's the transhumanist, man. It, it's, you know, to me... Nick doesn't know about the cult. Yes, he does. He talked about it on the Sneako Destiny one. He talked about black magic. He believes in all that. Uh, that's what's going on. Yeah, I just don't know how convincing that is. I think when you look at these raw demonstrations How convincing? Power, Hitler like was for government push euthanasia. Hitler was for abortion. Hitler was for all these things the left supports today. Yeah, but I, again, I just think if you look at the conversation these past three weeks, it's pretty clear who's who's in control, and it's not Bill Gates, and it's not China. And, and take a look at – and listen, I don't mean this in any kind of offensive way, but you went on Crowder. They tried to Hold get on, a lot I'll let Schaefer you finish fired. when you come back. We, we got a hard break. All right, we got hard satellite breaks. I'm sure the Gropers will say that was all a big conspiracy, but our breaks are at 16 and 29 and uh, like 46. So we had to go to break there. The point you were making, Nick, when we went to break, uh, please continue. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I, I, between you and Turmeric ninety five, I'm getting killed in this debate. <laughs> it's no, 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 no. You were bringing up. There. You were bringing up Stephen Crowder. <laughs> I know, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> um, but, but the point I'm trying to make is. I'm somebody who everybody knows me as like the Holocaust denier, anti-Semite. Yeah, I talk about other things other than that too, you know, but that that's sort of why what I'm billed as, labeled, categorized. Um, and and I'm not permitted basically anywhere. I'm banned from everything. I'm banned from all social media. I'm also banned and basically not allowed. I'm ostracized in the entire conservative movement. The point I'm trying to make, and again, I'm not trying to, it's not a competition. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, but you did a show last week with Crowder and Crowder's talking about, I've been in many a synagogues and Crowder's a guy who hasn't, you know, he's pretended not to know me for the last two years. Now that this big news story came out, now he knows who I am and he hates me and I'm, and he's doing oppo research and I'm a rabid anti-Semite. I was on Elijah Schaefer's show on The Blaze almost a year ago exactly, and he almost got fired for having me on the show. And so clearly, clearly there is some disparity in treatment between people that are talking about this very heavily and people that are not. And I think everybody knows that there are, you derive some benefit and there is some cover. And we hear, I hear this refrain my entire career, well, it's those left-wing Jews, and they're not even really Jews, or it's those atheists, but that, they're atheists. They're not Jews, they're atheists. 
But these uh, Hasidic Jews, these Orthodox, these religious ones, they're our closest allies. I mean, these guys are really right wing. I think you get a little bit of cover for that. I'm not going to lie. I don't think you're getting calls, but I do think that I'm not out of I don't think I'm saying any telling out of tales out of school here that that does provide some cover for people to hedge and say that. Really? Well, I'm getting cover. Okay. If I'm getting cover. I didn't know it. Take Dr. Zev Zelenko, who early on exposed COVID, had a lot of courage and died recently. And he's an awesome guy. I've actually studied the geopolitics and subpolitics, different nations quite a bit. I find it fascinating. The left wing Jews in Israel persecute the Orthodox Jews and, and take away their kids and do all sorts of stuff to them. So, so like you're saying that Hasidic Jews, I mean, a, 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 one of the biggest groups of Hasidic Jews doesn't think Israel should exist. And, and it is, and, uh, so I think it's more complex, Nick, than what you're saying. I agree with you that there are Jewish factions, but the one thing that they're all on the same page about is that they're all on Team Jew, and they all spit on Christians. And, and this is a well-known thing. You go to Israel, and they literally spit on Christians. And it's so tragic that there are so many Christian Zionists or Christian Philo-Semites. These are not the Jews of the Old Testament. These are rabbinical Jews that, that and I talked about this on the Yay interview, they believe in the Talmud. Their, their rabbinical interpretation of the well, Hebrew Bible has now, it's almost like it's abrogated uh, inspired scripture. And so they're looking more towards the Talmud where you have rabbis correcting God and their interpretation of the 613 commandments laid out in the Hebrew Bible. They, they defer when there's a conflict between God and the rabbis, they defer to the rabbis. This is not the same people. This is not the same book. They're not our people. They do not share our best interests, and they don't even see us as equals. And 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 you said this. I saw a clip from you on um, the day after 9-11. You said that they call the Palestinians goyim. They call us animals, and that's how they regard non-Jews. It's Jews, and they're in a big club, and, and there's a lot of fighting in there. On September 11, 2001. What? I was three. <laughs> Man, I'm getting old here. Uh, Wait, who owned that? The Solomon Brothers, the Solomon Towers, Boaz. <gasps> nah. This guy's getting to me. As I've had enough of you, Nick, and I've had enough of you, Alex, okay? Everyone knows those black guys did 9-11, those black Hebrew Israelites. Well, look, here's where I'm at on this, Nick, and I want to take some calls coming up. Imagine what happened to that guy who kissed that guy's boot. Who kissed the black guy's boot. What do you think happened with him and his girlfriend when they went home, Chad? You ever wonder, like, did they break up? He didn't cry. I think he was proud of it. You know how they do their irony pride? You say this whole thing about Bill Gates is a side issue. No, that's the central issue. And I see this whole leftist thing saying America's Hitler and, you know, the leftist groups are Captain America. I see it just as what it is. And I just hope that all of us can come together and transcend the cashless society and the world government, the forced injections and the imploding borders. And I'm just trying to get everybody together on those issues instead of obsessing about different groups all day. You know, there's whole groups that think Catholics run everything. And I don't think that's the case. And I, and, I, and I don't think that Jews run everything. I mean, who do you think runs China with a billion, 500 million people? I think the Chinese run China. And I think that's why, I mean, there are problems in China, but China is a country that is fighting for its, it's fighting ruthlessly for its own self-interest. And you could say that it's a tyrannical state, but China's always been a tyrannical state. They're a different kind of society. The, the Chinese people are very collectivist. They're very um, societally minded. They're very obedient and, and deferential. And that's their culture, and that's who they are. But there's no question that the Chinese Standing Committee and Xi Jinping are going out to bat every day Sorry. to get great trade deals for China in the way that our, our Jewish leaders in America are not working for people in Oklahoma and Iowa. Does anybody believe the Hollywood Jews in L.A. and the finance Jews in New York and the government Jews in D.C. and the ones in South South Florida? Does anybody think they, they care at all? They give a damn about people in Texas or people in Kansas or people in Iowa? They don't in the same way that you could say Putin or Xi Jinping care, I think, about their countrymen or Assad cares about the people of Syria. And that's really the conflict is we've got this separate nation 
on top of ours. And, and they're not the only one. There's other Saudi Arabia is influential. The Qataris, the Emiratis are influential. Chai comms are a real problem. They spy on our country. But there's only one that no one's permitted to talk about. You can hear about all those issues on the war room and you can hear about them on Tucker Carlson and Fox and, you know, Mike Pompeo can say them. But there's one very powerful gangster group that you talk about it and it's an instant ban. It's an instant kill shot. In some cases, they literally threaten to take your life. So I agree. I, I don't mean to reduce it all to, to something that's so simple, but we can't describe the society without bringing that into it. And and that's one oh, of the things well, that I wanted I, to I, have the actual intellectual side of this discussion here today. And, you know, I personally think that everybody that gets sucked into this black hole is giving power to it. And that that's what some of the sinister forces manipulating groups want. And I think we have to transcend things on policy and ideas and actual issues and the fruits of the tree. We're going to go to break here in a few minutes. It's your chance. Unfiltered, folks. We don't screen the calls. Just have a good, clean phone line. Tell us where you're calling from and don't cuss. Because we're on a lot of radio stations. We can't have that. The toll-free number is 877-789-2539. alex 877-789-2539. We're talking about the Yay interview, Nick Fuentes today, censorship. We'll talk about Elon Musk coming up, what uh, Nick Fuentes thinks of what he's really doing. Look, he, he, he's keeping me banned, but overall, he's bringing a lot of great folks back and exposing the death shot, and the medical tyranny. So I like that. I, I, I like the Santa's talking about they're, they're setting up a statewide uh, prosecution through uh, these grand juries of the vaccine makers. I mean, that's where I'm at. And, and, and so you can say who runs it or who's behind it. I'm just going to oppose pedophilia. I don't care who's uh, you know, behind it. I'm going to oppose fractional reserve banking. I don't care who's behind it. I'm going to be issue-oriented, and that's what I do. Uh, but uh, we're going to take your phone calls coming up, 877-789-2539. 877-789-ALEX, Infowars.com. Tomorrow's news today. We'll be right back with Nick Fuentes straight ahead. And then in 30 minutes, The War Room with Owen Schroyer. Well, we got loaded phone lines for Nick Fuentes here. I'm Alex Jones, your host. And let me just make my point here, and then I'm, I'm basically done debating and arguing all this. I don't judge Nick Fuentes, even though I disagree with him on some issues here, because you can't have the left viciously saying that white people are inherently the devil. I have stacks of articles here where major universities in Michigan, California, New York are going to make white people wear badges that digitally track them and don't let them go in certain areas. And who's running that? The ADL. The ADL at their last three conferences said, I'm the number one enemy. We track the lawsuits, the attacks, everything to them. But I'm not going to blame the average Jew for what that horrible mafia is doing to me and my family who actually use Hitler tactics. My issue here is I've studied eugenics. I've studied the New World Order. Francis Galton, 1850, founds the eugenics organization. They develop the whole plan. They create the Rockefeller Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, the Cold Springs Harbor operation. Hitler is a spinoff of that. Hitler's for euthanasia. Hitler's for planned societies. I oppose that because it is an offshoot of this eugenics operation. And I'm an expert on it. I know all about it. And I don't just read history books. And I'm not going to tell the whole story here. And I've never even told the whole story because it's amazing. Uh, but again, Dallas, Texas, uh, one side of my grandfather's family were old Texans. The other side, the Hammonds, were Germans who'd come here pretty recently, and they were not Jewish. They were blonde-haired, blue-eyed, and they were in World War II, and they know what went on, and they told me, no, Hitler was bad. And they told me what went on and how the rich Germans in Dallas, once Hitler got into power in '33. They would blackmail German family members, not my family, but people that my, uh, my grandfather worked with and suck money out of them. And what, so when I heard about Hitler doing that and blackmailing people and sucking money, my family told me went on. So I grew up actually hearing about all of that. Then my grandfather worked in secret weapons programs. Um, and I only heard a little bit of it that my mom heard him talk about. It. He would never talk about it. But I remember him bitching when I'm like eight years old about in weapons projects and how he you know, he knew he went and he knew Werner von Braun all of it, and how he had to deal with these damn Nazis and how arrogant they were and how he didn't like them. So I mean, I grew up with both grandfathers had been in World War II. They both uh, dealt with the Nazis and they both didn't like Nazis. And so I didn't get it from Captain America. I didn't get it from Hollywood. I didn't get it from any of that. I got it from my badass grandfathers who now look at people today like I look back. These guys were freaking badasses. 
And, you know, they don't make men like that anymore. So that's where I'm at. But that said, you can't criticize Nick Fuentes for what he's saying when the left is literally redlining the engine when it comes to race-based politics and the ADL is captaining it, teaching elementary students they're inherently bad because of what color they are. But my issue is I'm not going to sink to the level of the ADL. But I say, mess around, find out, like Nick Fuentes said earlier, you think Nick Fuentes is your ultimate enemy. The support for what Ye said was 50-50. I wanted to demarcate the fact that I'm not for authoritarianism and I don't agree with what happened, I, what some of the things he said. I don't agree with the censorship and what's happened to him, but I'm not in league with that whole worldview. So that's where I'm at. We've got loaded phone lines for Nick Fuentes and myself right now. Daniel called in earlier before I went to you. He wanted to bring up Bible verses and synagogue of Satan stuff. I said, why don't you hold till Nick Fuentes is on? Nick's here. Go ahead and make your point, Daniel. So um, I wanted to say that there are a lot of different sides to the question, and when you don't have all the sides, you end up with um, evangelical Zionism or you know other over-emphatic views that they emphasize one or another point of the discussion of the of the um, Jews. And the fact is that the Jews do have a lot of blessings just inherited from the righteousness of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, from the forefathers. They have callings and blessings. But in Malachi, it says that um, God will curse their blessings because they have not honored his name. So here you have people who are lost but they have inherited all these blessings because of their forefathers, and these blessings are just being shot in every direction, and they fight against each other, they fight against the world. It says in First Thessalonians 2.15, they are displeasing to God and hostile to all men, which includes themselves, which is the answer to your question, Alex, how come they're killing so many people in Israel? You know, they, they are aiming their weapons blessings at everything and everybody, including themselves. Why? Because it says that in Galatians 4, 21 through 31, when it uh, describes how they are our persecutor, they are the Ishmael to us Christians, the I Isaac. We are um, allegorically Isaac. They are allegorically Ishmael. And if you look at who Ishmael is in Genesis 16, verse 12, it says he will be a wild donkey of a man, his hand against all his brothers. Uh, so this is really the answer to a lot of the questions. All right, I got to jump to a lot of other through. callers here. Let me get Nick Fuentes' uh, take on what you just said, Nick. Yeah, I think that's all great. And, and I think it's so important to emphasize, and this is something I want to get to before the last break, is, Alex, you said you wanted to transcend all these things. There's only one way to transcend anything, and that's through Christ. The answer is not Hitler. The answer is not National Socialism. The answer to what's going on right now and, and the Jewish influence or whatever, all the influences, is for us to follow people that follow Jesus Christ. And, and it's that simple. But so was I Jesus love the Christ biblical. not born a Jew? He said, I came to fulfill the Old Testament, not to destroy it. So, I mean, I love how people that hate Jews then follow Jesus, which I do. Jesus is the Messiah. Don't you see there's a paradox here? Uh, it's not a paradox at all, because Jesus Christ was the fulfillment of the law. And so who are the Jews that remain? It's the Jews that are still holding on to old sacrifices and old ways of doing things. And and like I said, that's where you get the Mishnah, and that's where you get the Talmud, and that's where you get the idolization of the law for its own sake, and the idolization of the law and ritual for its own sake, rather than the lamb, rather than the But the than, leftist than Jews the are literally at war with the Hasidic Jews. That's not a fake war. They're literally persecuting the hell out of them. Look at New York, how New York attacked the, the, the ultra-Orthodox. The Jews are not at war with each other. The uh, only times they even credit, they're not. They're simply not. There are they're rival factions, certainly. But at the end of the day, they're all on the same side. The only reason the ZOA criticized the ADL is because they, they said, hey, ADL, your anti-white hatred is actually confusing people, and people think Jews are white, and they're not liking Jews, so could you please stop it? But they didn't say that on behalf of the white people, and the ZOA is considered a more conservative Jewish group. So um, so I, it's not to say that they're they're a monolith. They're not a monolith. Like you said, there's intense factionalism. All right, let's take another call, then. Let's get the calls. Chris in Kentucky, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. I just want to talk about this whole interview in the context of uh, my daughter and I listened to that interview together uh, later in the day after I picked her up from her basketball practice. And I just can't, uh, I can't say how much empathy 
just can't express how much empathy she had for you, Alex. <laughs> I just kind of felt like you were hijacked. And uh, I really feel like this whole conversation stems from being, I, I hate to say this, but spiritually immature and uh, and not truly understanding uh, the Jewish people. Uh, I've, I've heard rabbis talk about Jews in particular and drawing the distinction from secular Jews and the, the evil that they're doing in this world. Um, you know, they've all had a—we can look all throughout the Bible. You know, Jesus is not just the, the God of the New Testament. He's, he's the God of the Old Testament, too. And they are God's covenant people. But I do know this, at the end of the day, uh, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, and that includes everybody, not any specific people groups. But I, I And really by the way, you see the attack on Christ, the Antichrist spirit knows that. Don't hang up. Chris, I want you to finish up. And William, we can go for 10 hours. Nick, you got to come back and take like two hours of calls. And we'll do a commercial free podcast some Saturday. And we'll open the phones up and take like 50 calls. We should do this. You got your own show on Cozy uh, TV as well. Give people the URL Cozy.tv slash Nick. Yeah, I'd love to. Yep. Don't be afraid of the info, folks. Check it out. And band.video band and infowars.com. We'll be right back. I'm an expert on how the globalists operate. Their main mechanism is hegelian dialectics so they'll create multiple sometimes two three four opposing forces and they'll run them together like waves in the water to create the storm they want and so i love everybody whether you're christian muslim jewish old young black white it doesn't matter to me as long as you support liberty and freedom and there is a major battle in the old testament and the new testament that the caller chris was talking about in kentucky where God is telling the Jews, but also all of us, stop being evil or you'll go into bondage. Stop doing this, stop doing that. And so I, I that's the reality here for me, and, and, and that's what I'm trying to promote. Chris, finish your point, please, here with Nick Fuentes. I, I guess probably the most important point I wanted to make was, you know, in the context of my daughter, she's a 14-year-old girl, and she was sitting there listening to this conversation, and people need to realize, especially you know, people like you, Nick, that have an influence over younger people need to be very careful with their words, extremely careful. You don't realize what kind of influence you have. Uh, I think, honestly, this is my personal opinion. You can do what you want to, but I think you need to read the Bible cover to cover two more times before you make any more comments about this subject. And I'll, I'll go back to kind of your back and forth between each other. You know, we... We try to pinpoint problems and find solutions. I think Alex has been pinpointing the exact problem on a growth on a man's big toe. And, Nick, I think you're trying to cut the, the guy's whole leg off. And that's just the way I see, you know, what's happening here. But we need to be very careful with our words. All right. Thank uh, you, Chris. I appreciate your call. God bless you for tuning in and spreading the word. Comments on that, Nick? Uh, I would just say that uh, I just don't really, um, well, number one, I am very precise with my words. If you watch my show, it's, it's very precise and very nuanced. Um, but look around you. The problem in this world, if you are a Christian, is not that you have guys like me being careless with words, which I'm not. The problem is that children are being exposed to pornography as young as nine years old, and they're being filled, their heads are being filled with all kinds of propaganda about violence and sex and sin. That's the problem. So I, I find it to be a little bit rich, and um, I'm going to be respectful, but Christians have got to toughen up. We're in a war here. Our adversary is the devil, and he's like a roaring lion looking for people to devour, and people are coming up against people like me who've given everything, or other people like Yay and saying, you know, could you be a little bit more careful or something? It's like, you know, frankly, we're in a war, and that's not to say that we don't have responsibility. I take it seriously, and I use my words precisely, but right, you know, we've got to call. reorient. I, I hear Let's go to yeah. William in Colorado. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, guys. Alex and Nick, just a uh, good job opening up this dialogue. And before I ask my question, I uh, just want to say, you know, maybe it is time for, you know, the right the conservatives to stop invoking Hitler and the left to always deflect to Hitler. Um, but, Alex, I got to ask, man, um, don't you agree that the Germans were fighting for a better future for all of Europe um, in World War II? I mean, 
aside from like the, the tactics of the war and Hitler, you keep repeating that you're German. Don't you think that Europe would be in a better place now? You no, know? I did not say I'm German. I say I have German ancestors and Hitler got 20 million Germans killed. Well, that, uh, well, that would make you German, sir. Well, what, what it makes me is I'm an American and a Christian, a Christian and then an American okay. and a father. Uh, and I just, okay, I, I just think American that I think Christian. Hitler was manipulated into that war, and I think Hitler did a lot of bad things. I don't think Hitler is the ultimate evil. I don't fetishize Hitler like the left does, but that's where I'm at. Well, you're already deflecting the question and, and going back to Hitler. I'm asking you, would it have all of Germany and all of Europe been better off? You know, no, I don't think Europe would have been Asia. good under Hitler's European Union and Edward VIII is the king of the EU. I, no, I don't think Hitler... Why, let me ask you a question. The first country Hitler invaded was Poland that had a horseback military. He attacked them because they were weak. Why did Hitler attack and kill hundreds of thousands of Poles and bomb their major cities with Stuka dive bombers and, 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 and Junkers? Why? Well, now you're getting into who fired the first shots of the war. World War II was more or less a rematch of World War I. Who started World War II? Oh, Wild. you believe Operation Himmler at Glywitz? You believe Poland attacked Germany? I believe that they both invaded the borders. As far as who fired the first shots, neither here nor there. I mean, I mean I'm just asking you, you know, Europe would be better off now, and for sure. Well, I mean, actually, at Nuremberg, the, the Nazis testified that they— Stage an attack at Glywitz on a on a German radio station, uh, military station, and started the war. I, I appreciate your call, uh, uh, Nick. Let me ask you that question. We're not. I know you don't defend Hitler here, but you you think World War II, Hitler invading Poland, was that a good? Did the did the Poles? Did, are they the master group too? Do they deserve it? <clears throat> No, no, but I, I think you got to recognize the <clears throat> situation in Europe. And I would also say that the more relevant fact to me is the secret security guarantee that the British gave to Poland. I think that if you're looking for culpability for World War II, I don't think it rests with Hitler. I think it rests with, uh, quite frankly, the United Kingdom and Winston Churchill. Well, that's and that's right. a view that's shared and, and, and by Pappy You Cannon. show your history knowledge, and the Brits did not back up that security guarantee. <laughs> Right. So so in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of those politics, I, I honestly don't think it's even relevant so much for today, because the thing is, we don't need to be having a big protracted expert history discussion about World War II or the Holocaust. The question is, why is that the crux of the debate? And to me, that's the relevant part for Americans living in 2022. But they always want to get into the weeds on these. No, things no, and I hear you. America wasn't Hitler. We didn't do that. So we should not be have that by the left pushed on us. Let's talk to Craig in Washington. Go ahead. You're on the air with Nick Fuentes. Oh, hey, hey guys. Hey, hey, Nick, just a question for you. Like, like these are all just words, and it's so silly that we're beating each other up. Why don't you start living in Christ? My question to you is, like, why don't you – it doesn't have to be uh, horse-driven. Why don't you become like the Amish? Do your own thing. Why don't you know, – for a group – you know, the Amish live in Christ more minutes of the day than probably any group out there. Why don't why don't you just stop throwing bombs and start living in Christ? That's my question to you. Well, I, I don't know what that means. I'm not Amish, so I, I don't think living in Christ means living in a low-tech society. I'm living in Christ every day. I'm, I'm a Christian. I go to church. I pray every day. I pray the rosary. And what we're called to do, it's we're called to go out and evangelize and tell the truth. There's horrible iniquity and horrible injustice going on in the world. If you're a Christian, you have to be disgusted. At the state of our country, like I said, the filth in the media, the filth in our school system, the groomers, the porn, the media, it's terrible. And, and to sit by and watch all these innocent people and in some kind of quietist, you know, people call this the Benedict option. I think it's a dereliction of duty. Right, I think right, it's an right, let's of jam in more calls. Uh, let's talk to uh, Wild in Wisconsin. Go ahead. Hi, uh, Nick. Uh, I agree with you about like the Jewish mafia stuff, but uh, how you mentioned before about Hitler uh, and being a Christian. Hitler is known for also killing, you know, a significant portion of Orthodox Christians. I don't know really how you can square that, that someone who's killed so many Christians and being a Christian is an idol of yours. And then also I was wondering if um, Kanye on the back of his jacket with the checkered flag, not the mask, but the jacket, had a Masonic symbol on it, the uh, checkerboard. Uh, symbol, which is also the floor that Jesus was uh, tried on with Pontius Pilate. Uh, do you know if Kanye just likes racing or is he a Mason? 
Well, first of all, it's yay. And uh, no, I don't think that was the intention behind the jacket. He wanted to wear a motocross jacket. He said it fit the Texas Austin Infowars. Yeah, no, uh, I, I mean, he wanted he wanted to find a country. He wanted us to take him to a store at night to buy boots. They were close. So I can. He wanted a cowboy. Holy fucking shit! It's for me. They did this episode. That chatter wasn't lying. They're doing it for me. They're coming back to our content, baby. <coughs> Outfit, so he went with that. I can say that's true. Yeah, and, and what was the first question? The first question was about idolizing. The thing is, I don't idolize Hitler, and here's the problem. You bring up this conversation, and people's brains turn off, and they stop listening. I never said I idolize Hitler. I said there are things I admire about Hitler. They're I'm such a fucking pussy, I can't take Frank's red hot. But I gotta say, it is delicious. I put that shit on everything. Frank's Red Hot is... <coughs> it's so good, man. It's just so good. I can't have any meat without it. Frank's Red Cock. Yeah, we're done here. There's things I admire about Joseph Stalin. There's things I admire about Xi Jinping. As a Christian, you understand that we're all fallen. We're all sinners. And so there are no good and bad people. There are people that have good and bad actions. And and I would be... So, so you, you think, know, I you think, think the Zionists are good, too? Like I said, I love everybody. Ben Shapiro, I think he has good attributes. Uh, Dennis Prager, you know, he's, he says I that... I love Dennis Prager. I don't right, go to out, hell. We're out of time. Okay. We're, we're out of time. Um, amazing debate and interview. Sorry to the other callers. Nick, join us again for another one of these. Let's do a commercial free soon, okay? Let's do it. Yeah, thanks for having me on. And what is it? Cozy dot... Cozy dot TV slash Nick. All right, there it is. And we've got band dot video. What did you guys think of that? Look, Alex what is the new channel, Good Lord. <clears throat> and we've also got infowars.com forward slash show. All right, Nick, thanks for joining us. Very interesting discussion. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on. We love you, man. We love the First Amendment. All right. Owen Schroyer, Loaded for Bear, Infowars.com forward slash show, and stations across the country. We need funding. I can shut down and show you how close we are. <coughs> I can't wait because with this red wave, Flat Earth comes back to the YouTube algo. You've already been seeing a bit of it and TikTok. A lot of TikTokers, they they pretend like Zerko isn't holding the Flat Earth front lines for years. Right now, everyone's on TikTok talking about flat Earth, and if you look behind me, you can see a big oh, oh there's a big cock. <sighs> What's the new yay clip? What is this? Oh, this guy talks about the Earth being flat, right? Okay, I'm gonna need subtitles, bro. It's kind of cool they allow him on TV too. He's like a cleric, right? Just save this one for me. God, this audio. Oh, I haven't seen this one. I was thinking of someone else. Turn on YouTube subtitles. Hello, <laughs> I want language, bro. Jeez. What? <clears throat> I go back to Arabic. Yeah, but I don't. I don't I can't read that. <clears throat> Click CC. What? Y'all not making sense. <coughs> CC? Oh, 
ولهذا لو تكرمتم بتسليط الضوء على وجهة نظر الشرع في هذه القضايا الفلكية الكونية الله جل وعلا أخبرنا أنه جعل أرض قرارا وأرصاها بالجبال وثبتها وجعلها قرارا لعباده عليك يشهون وعليك ينامون وفيها تسليط الضوء على وجهة نظر الشرع في هذه القضايا الفلكية الكونية الله جل وعلا أخبرنا أنه جعل الأرض قرارا وأرصاها بالجبال وثبتها وجعلها قرارا لعباده عليك يشهون وعليك ينامون وفيها يحرثون و... ويغرسون الأشجار وفي بحارها كذلك يعملون ما يعملون لطلب الرزق this fucking retard in chat the guy said the earth is not moving and is stationary he didn't mention anything about flat earth do you realize what you just said you fucking retard <clears throat> Nero has to be the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen in my chat you don't read what you just said You read what you just said. Someone copy paste what he said. Elmi, talk to him. Talk to your boy. No, Elmi, I'm listen, Elmi, you're the general. You talk to the Muslims. I'm not gonna fucking translate for them. You have to do it. Okay? You speak Arabic, you translate for them. I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> Hey, why did he say that? Whether it is a communist, Christian, a Jew, or a Muslim, why did he say Jew twice? I'm kidding. <laughs> I've been I've been going down too many rabbit holes, guys. I've just been watching too much right wing shit. <laughs> Planet. <laughs> Does anyone understand this? How long is this? Hey, 
ومن شاهد اشياء وتيقنها يقين وان هناك حركه لا تمنع وصف الارض بانها غير غير مائده وانها ضرار ويت مو بيست It is movement that does not preclude describing the earth as being not a table. Whoa. <laughs> ونفسه يقدح في الاخرين لانه لم يعلم ما علم وكل له علم كما ان من علم ان الحكم الفلاني هو التحريم او الوجوب والاخر اشكل عليه ذلك ليس له الا من علم من علم فالحجه حجه على من لم يعلم ومن علم وحجه حجه على من لم يحفظ ولم يعلم. Yeah it's flat we got it told you bro. Alright that's everything guys I'm going to bed. Is there anything I missed? Fuck, man, we're just not having enough time with eight-hour streams. Another cleric saying they're at this fight. That's the third one. Oh, I have my own cleric, too, so that's like three of them we have. <laughs> دوسری ڈائریکشن میں چلا گیا کہ وہ روٹیٹ کرتا رہتا ہے تب دوسرے ملکوں کی تو باری آنی چاہیے نا گرمیوں کے لیے زمین روٹیٹ کر رہی ہے جی زمین تو ساکی نہیں بیٹا زمین تو روٹیٹ زمین روٹیٹ کرتی نہیں ہے زمین گردش نہیں کرتی ہولی بیسٹ لیکن ہمیں جیوگرافی میں پڑھایا جاتا ہے کہ ارد جو ہے وہ سورج کا چکر لگاتا ہے یہ لوجک یہ غلط ہے بیٹا سائنس کیا سائنس کی یہ تھیوری جو ہے نا یہ درست نہیں ہے اصل جو تھیوری ہے نا وہ قرآن اور حدیث والی ہے اور آلہ حضرت جو ہمارا نا امام اہل سنت آلہ حضرت نے یہ پروف کیا ہے کہ یہ فکن ریٹارڈ کیڈ تنکس ہیز آن ایس سپننگ بال ہیز جس ایس منکی ہی ایوالفت ایس منکی آن ایس بال ایس 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 زمین ساکین ہے یعنی زمین موو نہیں کرتی ساکین کو ایک اچھا سا ورڈ انگلیش کا ہوتا ہوا ساکین کا اسٹیٹک نو نو ای سیڈ منکی ایز ان فرم ایولوشن نوٹ منکی ایز ان ریسسٹ او کم آن ارت اسٹیٹکس پوزیشن میں ہے یہ موو نہیں کرتی اور سائنس کہتی ہے کہ زمین موو کرتی ہے آلہ حضرت ہمارے امام اہل سنت نے قرآن سے ثابت کیا ہے کہ زمین موو نہیں کرتی تو ہم نے بات کونسی ماننی ہے اسلام کی دین کی آلہ حضرت نے اسلام اور دین کی بات ہی کی ہے ٹھیک ہے بیٹا اور کوئی کوسچن ہے ذہن میں تو پھر ہمارا صبح کے ٹائم پہ سورج آ جاتا ہے پھر چاند آ جاتا ہے تو پھر یہ سورج اور چاند تو یہ تو موف کر ہی رہے نا سورج تو بیٹا دیکھیں سورج اپنی گول ہے آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا نا تو سورج اپنے اللہ کے حکم سے اپنا جو بھی اس کا سائیکل ہے اس کے ساتھ وہ موف کر ہی رہا ہے تو جہاں جہاں سورج موف کر رہا ہوتا ہے وہاں پر اس کے ٹائمنگ کے ساتھ وہ چیزیں چل رہی ہوتی ہیں نا تو یہ سورج اور چاند کی جو گردش ہے یہ سورج اور چاند کا جو آنا جانا ہے اب سورج اور چاند کو یوں سمجھے کہ سورج گروب ہو جاتا ہے جیسا ہمارے یہاں سے سورج گروب ہو گیا تو کہیں تو سورج تلو ہوا نا بیٹا سورج نظر آیا کہیں تو یہ کہیں چاند سورج یہ سب اللہ تعالیٰ کے حکم سے اپنے وقت کے ساتھ ان کا نظام چل رہا ہوتا ہے ہم نے ابھی کے اپیسوڈ میں آج کے اس سٹنگ میں صرف اس بات کو یاد کر لینا ہے ہم اس کے ابھی ڈیٹیل میں نہیں جاتے ٹھیک ہے 
हमारा टॉपिक आज साइंस I wish I could just bust out there and be like, "It's flat, you fucking retard children! It's flat, it's fucking flat. The Earth is fl- spread flat like a carpet <laughs> in your own holy book, in the Bible, in the Torah, in everything. It's in everywhere, in every ancient cosmology. Don't fucking touch me! Don't fucking touch me right now! Norse mythology, Mayan mythology." Everything, every ancient cosmology with the Egyptians. Don't fucking touch me! Don't fucking touch me, Jesus! This king, don't fucking touch me! And they'd be like, "Kiss my shoe, kiss my shoe." Or Earth, नहीं है. हम इंशाल्लाह कभी किसी दिन साइंस और अर्थ पर इंशाल्लाह हम अपना प्रोग्राम करेंगे. ठीक है बेटा? लेकिन आज चुके एक बात चली थी कि सूरज हमारे कहाँ से हो गया? ज़मीन से दूर हो गया. Do you believe the planet is flat or just Earth? Snap out of it! There's nothing in the universe besides Earth. There's nothing. Everything else is CGI. It's fake news. Those are luminary. Bo- they are celestial bodies above. That's it. You can't land on them. They're not planets. They're solar. They're just like the sun. Just like the stars. Earth is everything. That's it. That's it. Earth is the biggest. The sun and the moon are small. Earth is the biggest. What you're standing on is the biggest. That's everything. Earth is the basement of the universe. That's everything. Everything is Earth. You understand? Your problem is you think it's a disk in space. There is no space. Snap out of it, dude. There is no space. There's a dome. Nothing's left this dome. <clears throat> A disc flying through space, I could never believe. That's fucking retarded. Okay, and you. I don't think you can actually understand what I'm saying unless you watch my YouTube channel where I drop pictures in my debates. That's I mean, some people have reached out and said, "Dude, I've been watching you for a long time. Those new YouTube videos really make a, a lot of sense." Without pictures, people don't get what I'm saying. They said that the Earth is rotating. तो ये चूंकि अभी हमने शुरू में डिस्कशन हुई तो ये ये चीजें दुरुस्त नहीं है जमीन साकिन है जकीन वही चैट आर यू अलाउड टू वॉच ए बैंड स्ट्रीमर दिबेटेड मी वन टाइम लाइक डेस्टनी दिस ऑन दिट टेन के व्यूज दिस चैनल यूर अलाउड राइट Look at how funny this is. We have around probably. We did have missiles. Listen, we shot fucking rockets all the time. They they couldn't they couldn't Hollywood fake it, but they have the technology to go to the moon. Number 2. That's right. I destroy this fucking guy. Hold on, hold on. Are you telling me that it's less likely? Are you telling me it is time now for the final round. 5 minutes left. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my late game real quick and then I'm good. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I'm ready. All right. 100% of my 5 minutes. Flat Earth is the Earth flat? No, 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 Raj. He doesn't want to do this. Right. He doesn't want to do this. This is the. I'll do that. Yeah, we can do flat Earth. Flat Earth, Earth topic. Final round. Five minutes. Starting okay. with John. Go ahead. Five minutes. Good luck. Destiny, uh, why do you believe in the heliocentric model? Because we've got navigation charts that have relied on it for hundreds of years. The sailors have relied on the Earth being uh, round. We've got mathematical formulas and all of physics is relying on Earth being round. In order to believe that the Earth is flat, you literally have to believe in a conspiracy that millions or hundreds of millions of people have been forced to buy into for literally. On the flat Earth. Okay. Yeah. 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 True. True. That's true. Yeah. Okay. At any point in history, and it is absolutely fucking absurd that you think that that could be true. So uh, you don't think it's gotten leaked and it didn't I mean it got it became popular in 2014 but you said airplanes air plane that flies over a motionless plane like Einstein said the earth is an observable motionless plane do you know an air do you know what a gyroscope is I know what a gyroscope is but the earth is not motionless the earth rotates on an axis yikes oh, okay okay there's six scientific experiments that all failed I know what you're talking about but do you know you know what a gyroscope is right yeah I'm aware of what a gyroscope is on an airplane What what about a gyroscope on an airplane? What does it do? I I don't know. I've never tried it before. It measures the plane level to the earth because it'll fight gravity, right? That's what the <clears throat> that's what the instrument does. Okay. So I'm, I'm wondering why you said airplanes when they fly 30,000 feet in in altitude and NASA says you can see curvature at 60,000 feet, weather balloons double the height and don't measure anything. The only time you've seen a curved earth is through government propaganda, NASA or Hollywood. 
I mean, so we can believe that every single shot from space is doctored and every single astronaut that's been involved with that are all involved in the doctoring process. And None of them released anything. NASA's Rob Simmon made this. Colored it dark blue because they're low mostly in mid-oceans. And then where it's a little bit higher, it was like a little bit brighter green. Then add the clouds back in. There's a small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. So some of those are painted on. It is photoshopped, but it it's, has to be. Then? There was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too see-through. So I just take Command Z a lot. There's artistry to creating the world. What I imagine it to be. Um, unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> I've never been to space. But I've looked at these images over and over again, trying to sort of get the essence of it. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. The reason why I bring up airplanes is because if you look at the paths that airplanes fly from one place to another, it's never a straight line. Why don't you actually debate a physicist, says a cuck in chat. We've had physicists, doctors, lawyers lose debates. We've had even Mushi, the new doctor. You know what's funny? Is Destiny not enough for you guys for this debate? I thought it's clearly round. I thought, you know, Destiny would be enough. How, why do they always try and get someone else? You guys have lost in every single debate line because the maps that we see are flat but the earth itself is curved what right right you said you'd have to believe that nasa doctors their photos and fake the moon landing wouldn't it be interesting if instead of spending all the money to go to the moon they fake it and make a hundred billion dollars in tax revenue every year from it wouldn't it be personally nasa better? has been criminally underfunded for the past 50 years okay. so if their goal was okay. to make a, if their goal okay. was to make a fuck okay. ton of money they failed okay. miserably okay. that's firstly okay. Okay. secondly okay. it is okay. actually it would be cheaper to fly to the fucking moon than it would be to try to fake the moon landing. Yikes. We don't have the technology to fake the moon landing. You're, you're, how would you even do that? How yeah, would you fake the moon yeah. landing in a studio using the technology of the 60s? Yeah. How? Hey, yeah, and you, you're saying with the 1960s technology, they went to the moon before an iPhone, you fucking... Yeah, idiot. because in the 1960s, we could fucking, shit, in the 1960s, we didn't have the, all the digital you, shit we have around you, today. We did saying, have missiles. Listen, say, we shot you, fucking rockets all, all, all the all time. All so you're, you're saying they couldn't, they couldn't Hollywood fake it, but they have the technology to go to the moon? Number two. That's right. Number well, hold two. Hold on, hold on. Are number you telling two, me that it's no, less no, likely? Are you told? No, 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 no. Wait, you think that it's less I likely you, bro, on, on you a planet clipped. where we're already firing off missiles all over the place that we can't engineer a rocket that yeah. can take somebody to the moon, but when yeah. we have none of the digital technology required to fake hours yeah. and hours yeah. of footage going to I'm the moon, you, that yeah, we yeah, wouldn't yeah. be able to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, you said missiles. Have you ever seen the trajectory of all missiles, all rockets that go into leave low Earth orbit? Have you ever seen that they arc? That's interesting. Person? How is that uh, interesting? No, 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 no. I, I'm going to ask you the final question okay, yeah, just to it. test your IQ. The most corrupt president we can agree with the Watergate scandal is Richard uh, Nixon, right? You, mm -hmm. So now it, it, in my world, he faked the moon landing. Uh, there's a clip on YouTube where he talks to astronauts on a telephone. That would be a landline based telephone to, to talking to people 200,000 miles away in 1969. Do you believe he spoke to Neil Armstrong on the telephone from the White House? Yes or no? Yes. You are the smartest guy on Twitch. John, here's a question right now. Ready? I'm done, are, you ready? Wait, wait, wait. are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Yeah. John, I know you're listening to me. Walk into your house right now, pick up a landline phone, and see if you can call your cell phone. Fucking checkmate, dude. You're, you're, hold on. Cell no, phone. no, no. How does it work? How does it work? It's not connected, is it? Yeah, no, no, no. It's not I'll, connected, I'll tell you. It? I'll tell you. Yeah, tell me. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Right. 97%. 97% of all Earth Wi-Fi is done through triangu triangulation cellular towers. We can both agree. Why do you lose connection in the mountains if there's satellites and stuff, right? It's because, because there's not satellites. No, 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 no. Hang, on, hang on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Destiny. You lose connection when you're outside of the grid because it's done through cellular towers and weather balloons. It's all on Google, too. It, this it's is all, it is all on Google. Oh, and I'm know. sure they've and got I'm... special relay satellites that they have set up to ensure the communication so, exists. Right, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You, you believe in the Mars rover. That means you believe in magical space Wi-Fi that sends photos 200 million miles away, correct? It's not magical space Wi-Fi. It's physics. You're there are close. frequencies you're... that we can broadcast from you're really getting... far away. Yeah. How do you yeah. think, wait, okay. how do you think you're we see stars cooked. and other solar you're, systems? You're, you're, getting, you're getting cooked. All alone on Mars. And so would her human handlers. The globalists think this is an achievement, right? CGI achievement. This is the guy in chat crying like a bitch right now.
can you please show on the Discord a picture of a star that's not computer generated? For most people who have never heard of this argument, this is their first time actually seeing what stars and planets look like. A picture of a star that's not computer generated? I mean, I would have to crawl into the fucking Hubble telescope to, to show you no, that. No, How no, can I you, possibly do that? No, you, you said they took pictures. They would be on NASA's .gov website, right? You can go outside when it's night and you can look up at a star. No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you the picture of the sun. Is that an authentic photo to you? What do you mean by authentic, John? Come on, don't don't do the wordplay, please. I'm. Well, I don't. I mean, you tell. Is it? A, it's. They're all digital images. The way that they're trans. It's not like they give you a fucking Polaroid. Right. So so if I bring up a Google picture of the sun or from NASA. Yeah. I'm... There's no way you Berlin Wall. We've got all these proxy yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tremendous mm. amount of time, John. Go, please. Destiny, close where did, the, the word planet comes from the word plane. They added a T to confuse Destiny's dumbass because it's a motionless plane, right? What I'm trying to say is uh, if you look at how the horizon works, the higher you go, um, like all of the mathematics check out in my version, not yours. We have the scientific method with curvature, with constellations, with everything. I don't know why you say we're crazy. You, you believe in water sticking to a ball when water always seeks its level. I mean, like, it's never been proven. The only time you measure gravity is outside of your realm of existence because you say you have to leave low Earth orbit. You have to go to space. It has to be as big as Earth. You'll never find... If it's scientific method, you should be able to test it repeatable in nature, correct? So gravity is your God. It's your theory. It's a faith-based thing. There's a lot of things that are faith-based, but you're getting dominated. Go ahead. I mean, I think we can summarize this whole debate with you saying that planet is plain with a T added at the end. Planet comes from an, an old Greek word, and it means wanderer, like wanders around the solar yeah, system, yeah, yeah, like I'm isn't a, like heliocentric at the center of the fucking universe. I mean, we can talk about any of these water finds its level. I mean, like these are all like the same conspiracy theorists that have been no, brought no, up no, and no, debunked no, a no, billion no. times in the past. I mean, Destiny, does water always seek its level? Has it ever stuck to any triangle or ball ever in history? I mean, if that triangle or ball is generating enough gravity to keep the water on it, then yeah, right, it right. Would. And, the, and the only way you can measure gravity is on a planetary scale. So technically, you can't repeat that science. It's not real science. You can't do it in nature. You can't do it in a lab. Another thing, rainbows. If you look at how do you re recreate with a scientific method a rainbow in a garage? Wait, what do you mean yeah. we can't measure gravity? We've, we've, we've measured gravity all the time. I, I, I just We just agreed that it's on a planetary level. It has to oh? be on a... So the, the scale cannot be repeated in nature. You what do you mean? It? Like we can't make a planet? I mean, like you can look at if yes, you want. We can look up videos. Wrong. Wait, wait. We can look up videos right now of astronauts in space that like pool water around a ball and watch it like congeal there and float. I mean, we can do. We can look I, at the I, YouTube you know videos what? right you now. Know what, you want. No, yeah. we'll go. We'll do it. We'll do it on your channel and we'll send each other two, three videos for like twenty minutes yeah. of the day. I, I have twenty minutes of my day for you. So what I'm trying to say, Destiny, is uh, how do you recreate a rainbow in a garage? Rainbows are dome shaped because it is a dome. Nothing's left low Earth orbit. You recreate a rainbow in a garage with water vapor, a light source, and a glass dome. That's why sun dogs, rainbows are dome shaped. They're not spherical in any, any sense. But you can I, create a rainbow. Hold on. Anybody that's ever been outside knows that you can create a rainbow without a glass dome no. anytime you want. If you turn a sprinkler on, you can see a rainbow appear. You don't need a glass dome for that. Exactly. And what what is the where how is the rainbow appearing in nature? The rainbow appears in nature because when light passes through water, the water no, no. causes the different wavelengths to refract. But what do you mean? The dome shape is being caused by the dome. Dome shape is being caused by the dome. That's why rainbows, small or large, are all reflecting off. If I ask you to recreate a rainbow in a garage... Could First you of all, it doesn't make a dome shape. It makes a spherical shape. It's a, it, a rainbow is a sphere. It doesn't what make do a, it's a... Did you say a rainbow is a sphere? Yeah, they're, they're, well, it's a circle technically because it's a two-dimensional plane, but... Do you disagree? Do you, I want, do you want to lock yes. that in, that a rainbow is spherical? Have you ever seen a full rainbow before? Yeah, uh, it is. Just say just say for the- Yeah, a, a, ra a rainbow is like a, a spherical, spherical thing, yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you've heard okay. the gentleman speak. It's now time to vote. Hold Please, on, Raj. No, no, 
no, no, no, Gifter, come on. This is not CGI. He said shit music for shit CGI. No, no, CGI is... This is real. This is actually what rockets are doing. How can you not tell what CGI? Dude, you're scaring me. Why are you calling the flat earth clip CGI? This is penetrating the dome. This is the real deal. One of the strangest places on the ocean's floor was only just discovered in the 1990s. And my degree is one of a handful of people to ever see it in person. Without a doubt, one of the most amazing things that I had ever seen in the bottom of the ocean, and it was while filming for Blue Planet, was in the Gulf of Mexico. And I noticed there's something out in the distance, couldn't tell exactly what, but it looked like a dark band. And as we approached it, the dark band became a donut. I saw this donut that was black in the center. What the heck is that? And so, as we get closer and closer to it, I noticed that the black band had what appeared to be kind of steam over it. And then I looked, and there was water lapping against the shoreline. This band was a ring of muscles. And inside the ring of muscles was a lake. And it's like, wait a minute. I'm already underwater. And we went out over the water in this lake and tried to descend in it and bounced off. It was so super saline and dense that the submarine couldn't go down in it. We literally bounced off. And as we bounced off, we sent ripples heading back to the shoreline. It was insane. I've never seen anything like it. I was about six years old when I went on my first official trip. I was going with my father and my grandpa Sinclair up to the North Pole. It was a very glamorous destination. This guy's a but cop. The best thing about it was that I was going to be spending lots of time with my dad. Yeah, not... Fidel Castro. Yeah, I gotta speed this up. I want to get out of here. By the way, he just worked so hard. Let's go, cock. One day, we were in alert. Canada's northernmost point. Scientific Gaius. military Gaius installation that seemed to consist entirely of low shed like buildings and warehouses. Let's be honest, I was six. There were no brothers around to play with. And I was getting a little bored because Dad still, somehow, had a lot of work to do. The bitch ran out of adrenochrome. A frozen, windswept Arctic afternoon. And I was bundled up into a jeep and hustled out on a special top secret mission. I figured I was finally going to be led into the reason for the existence of this high security Arctic base. It was exactly right. We drove slowly through and past buildings, all of them very gray and windy. We rounded a corner, came upon a red one. We stopped, I got out of the jeep and started to crunch across towards the front door. I was told no, to the window. So I clambered over the snowbank, was boosted up to the window. Yeah, he taught in church room. My sleeve against the frosty glass to see inside. He taught in my high my school, this cop. Drama I teacher. Punched over one of many work tables that seemed very cluttered. He was wearing a red suit with a furry white trim. And that's when I understood just how powerful and wonderful my father was. You are a globalist. Oh, I'm a globetar. Brilliant. Well, boys, that's everything. I'm going to kick it. Shorter streams means quality. And I finally mastered streaming. What a good time to quit. Quit streaming YouTube now that I've mastered it. And... Guess I can have a smoke with you.